Daddy's back, you bitches! Hello, uh, Daddy's Talk back, to you me, bitches! Follow uh, Dave, oh, come on. Nero, I believe! Come on. Oh. Nico, what are you doing? Dave is not coming. Ah, ignore him. Come on, we gotta get this thing ready before we talk. Let's go. Here, pass me that. You ever been? No. Crazy place, Nico. <laughs> what you going to do? I might come back on board, or I might try to make a go of it. Like they say, it is the land of opportunity. I always wanted to make it big, on a nice place, get a dog, a house, live the dream. Like my cousin. Oh yeah? Yes, he's got the love. Cows, women, cars, parties. Uh, he writes me these wild emails, and after I got into trouble, I thought maybe. Uh, and then I got this gig, and I spent the next seven months with you fine people, and I forget. After the war finished, I couldn't get a job. Nobody could. Uh, so I uh, did some dumb things, got involved with some idiots. Ah, we all do dumb things. That's what makes us human. Could be. Forget our language? Uh, Capusi? <laughs> Maybe a little. I've been here ten years. You could speak English. Remember, we learned off the English girls with the big. Uh, a little. <laughs> I'm not uh, so good. Ah, will be fine. Better than my Serbian. Ah, so good to see you, cousin. <laughs> I can't believe you made it. <laughs> Shit, I have to tell you, I had quite a night last night. Two women. The land of opportunity. Ah. I've made it! <laughs> mm. Oh! <laughs> Shit, man, I'm still a touch drunk. A touch? <laughs> My cousin is here! Oh, We're Rome, going to Rome, Rome. Come on, come on, right, Alex. Man, Whatever, buddy. Just take over the world someplace else, yeah, all right? buddy! You're in the hey, goddamn world! Screw you! <laughs> Screw you come all! On, My man. cousin is here! Nico Bellic! He's the fucking man, yeah, bitches! Roman, yeah. come on, let's go. Uh, to the mansion, huh? Yes, the mansion! <laughs> 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 maybe you should drive. Oh, maybe I should. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, is this a cab? Where's the sports car? Uh, he's in the shop. Come on! <laughs> Drive us to that place on Mohawk. He's just up the road. I'll let you know when we're there. Would you please, bro? Why don't you show me around the city? Fucking terrorists! What? Terrorists! There's been a big scare and you can't go across the bridges so good. You without the visa, I would stay in broker. Fuck it, stay in Hove Beach. Everyone like us does. Nico, that is my cab depot, cousin. It is where I make all the money. 
You ever had two women at once? Four big titties to be playing with? Mr. Sanda, che umrati? Io tici your right, Chovice. Ne mogu te kaže, da imam. Katsen, <laughs> it's been too long. You should have come out earlier. Think of all the girls you've been missing out on. Our country has women too. Yes, but only locals. Here we have whites, black, the Puerto Ricans and the Asians, Europeans on vacation, scared Canadians, bored housewives from the Midwest. Every possible choice. The city is like a big Udder milk and ice cream shop. 36 flavors of titty. Hove Beach is a little corner of Eastern Europe. Kakoshamantno. Hove Beach, next to the docks. Immigrants here do not make it very far from the boats they come in on. This is the mansion? <laughs> Just a temporary place. The mansion is coming, cousin. That's the dream. Follow me. <laughs> come in, come in! Make yourself at home. What's mine is yours. Got him! <laughs> Little bastard. If he paid some rent, I wouldn't care. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, cousin. It's so good to see you. <laughs> ah, oh. oh, shit. Oh, I need to change anyway. <sighs> so. 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 So, you full of crap or what? What? Uh, where's luxury condo? Where's sports car? Where's Barbara with big titties and Stephanie who sucks like a vacuum? What are you talking about? In your letters to my mother. In your letters to me. All I hear about is Mr. Big, Mr. Roman, living the American dream. Sports cars, condos, women, money, the beach. Opportunity. I come here and the only thing big about your life is the cockroaches. <laughs> That's right. I got the best cockroaches, I got the best dirt! <laughs> Screw you, you idiot! <laughs> okay, I'm an idiot, but you must admit, I have the best line in bullshit you ever heard. Yeah, this I know, asshole. But here. <sighs> All I needed was one good guy. One good guy I could do well. Not take over the world, but uh, do okay. Now maybe I have this. But what about you? What about you, cousin? What? What about me? Well... Uh, why you live home after all this time? First I hear you are running with the wrong kind, then I hear you join the Merchant Navy, now you're here! You never tell me anything! <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? No, I never tell you anything. Another time. Ooh, mystery man, strange and exotic sailor. What happened? Did your captain make you pregnant? <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> no, no, it's nothing like that. The ships were fine. It was before that. Two things. You remember, during the war, we did some bad things. And bad things happened to us. <laughs> war is where the young and stupid are tricked by the old and bitter into killing each other. I was very young and very angry. Maybe that is no excuse. Roman? Roman! Ah! Are you sleeping, you fat no, fuck? No Come on! What's the time? Shit, I've got to get the cab back. It's on the shift. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Tastes Wrong. like a rat shot in it! Nico, Jeez. I've got to run. Uh, come Wrong. meet me at the cab office. What it's easy. Out about? the door, turn left, and the first I left of the diner, go down I'm one block and turn right on Iroquois. Then walk all the way down, and we're right there on the left You're on the corner of Cisco about, Street. Man. It's really flash. We got lots of TDs and some incredible molders. Uh, Nico, give me a hug. Good to have you here, cousin. I've got something for you. Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, yes, Vlad. Uh, sorry. But forgive me, okay? No, no, please don't cut my cock off. Eh? Okay, okay, but yes, no, uh, okay.
Come on, big guy. I'll do some work or get out of here. We don't need jokers. Screw you. Screw you. Baby, when I look into your eyes, it means something. I see little Romans. I see little Mallorys. I see stars. I see angels. In my homeland, we have a saying. Yeah, we got one, too. You're a fag. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Roman, you fucking idiot. How can I take you seriously? Very difficult, I think. <laughs> Hello, Roman. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Miss. <laughs> Mallory, this is my cousin I tell you about, Nico. Hi. Nico, this is Mallory, the beautiful girl I tell you about. See? Not everything I tell you is bullshit. I bet most of it was. <laughs> hey. I hope you're less full of shit than your cousin over here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is the woman that I'm going to marry. <laughs> Whatever you say. I thought you were going to marry me, <laughs> baby. Hey, Vlad. <laughs> Great! <laughs> You're fucking crazy, man! <laughs> you should lose few pounds. Otherwise, this beautiful lady is going to leave. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I'm a fat prick. What did I do? Uh, pay you uh, debts? I will, I will do, man. We spoke of this. No, we didn't speak. You spoke. Then you say your phone out of batteries. You treat me like a bitch! Never! I treat you like an idiot, not a bitch, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's uh, true. The beautiful woman do like the guys with a funny sense of mm -hmm. humor. Ho ho! I'm laughing. <laughs> I'll get you the money. I know. And Roman, tell this fucking yokel here if he doesn't stop staring at me, I'll have his head chopped off and put a film of it on the internet! Ouch. Ah. Oh, good. Great. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Look, say what you like, but at least that guy knows how to speak to a lady. Yes, he's all charm. Uh, come on, Nico, let's go. Uh, darling, I, uh, I'll see you later. I've got to take my cousin around some more. Get him settled. Nico, you're driving us to a hardware store on Dillon Street. Doing some home improvements, Roman. You're going to build this mansion you tell me about? <laughs> oh, funny guy. We're going to get money. In America, you need money to do anything. You're taking me to a backroom game where I'll win all the dollars we need to really see this town. Nightclubs, women, titties! You can play, right? Tisidobar, uovo igri? I am the best. I kick all the asses that play me. They call me the janitor. Because you can't pay your debts and they make you mop the floor? Never of what, no. Funny. No, I'm the janitor because I always clean up. I always win. Get it? Chistach Naravno. I seriously hope your cards are better than your nicknames. Only problem is I'm playing with some money I meant to give to these Albanian scumbags. Here's hoping they don't show up, eh? <laughs> We got loan sharks after us. Oh, Roman, Stasse de Shava. After me. And it doesn't matter anyway. When I've played this game, I'll have enough money to pay them back ten times. Only su slabichu os fakum slochiu. Nico, wait for me here while I go inside to clean up. Shit, uh, I almost forgot. I'm giving you my old phone. My new number's in there. Call me if some Albanian show up in some shitty beige willet. Those are the guys I owe money to. Do, do not hurt them. I know what you're like, Nico Bellic. You and your debts, Roman. Uve kisto, Nika Drugacie. It's all quiet out here, Roman. You winning? Molinte Retsida. Don't worry, I'm getting so many bullets, it's like I'm an AK. Miss Maku. And this must be the loan sharks. That's his cap! The fat Roman must be in here! Cousin, two guys are going in the store. I think they are the loan sharks it's you speak of. Shit! What's I'm be down! Bad. You better get out of there. All right, all right, I'm coming! Shit, Nico, what's them? They must have been told I was here. We'll get our money, Balik! Please don't hurt the men after us, cousin. They hate me enough as it is. Get us back to the depot, quick! 
All right, cousin, I'll lose them. Sadani e taco tesco. Just like the old days, eh? In the old days, we were dodging bombs, not lawn sharks. Just drive. Leave the funny comments to me. Do you think they saw me? Of course they saw you. I mean, you're a distinctive man, Roman. That is why the ladies love me. Fuck those Shylocks. They'll get their money. They just have to wait. We should stand up to them. Gideti e ponus. Nico, you're new. You don't understand the way things work. Oh, yeah? We are at the bottom of the ladder, man. These thugs push us around, but they are not to be feared. It is the Russian mobsters, Vlad's bosses that run everything. Be careful of them. You tell me to behave, Mr. Janitor? If you understand it all, where is the money? I lost it this time, but when I go back, the last thing they will expect is for me to take everything. Then I really will clean up. Povere vachu, kad vidim, Roman. We're here. Oh, you like your phone? Maybe one day you get a premium quality one like mine. Then you will have really made it. I can only wish. See you later, cousin. The splitting of bones is like music to me, you know? I'm with you. How you doing? Good. Thank you very much. <laughs> good. Yes, comrade, I am doing good. There is no I, there is only we. <laughs> it is a glorious system, comrade. <laughs> excuse me? You're excused, comrade. You're excused. Now go and mind self for 50 years. <laughs> You're a dick. I'm a rich dick, friend. I'm young and rich and loaded. Tell you what, I have a hundred bucks on Uncle Sam. Benjamin motherfucking Franklin. Freedom! This coke is okay. Come on, Daddy, what's your problem? I don't have problem. You do. Don't be a dick, man. Come on! Where's your Russian friend now, huh? He's not my friend. He's huh? my lawn shark. Huh? Stop this! Huh? Who are you? Get out of here. What? Yes. Huh? What? Ah! 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 My arm! Oh! oh! What about you? Help me! Help me! Come on, oh, Supak! Let her! Help me! Get out of here now! Oh. And if you come back, oh. I'll kill you! Oh. You understand? Oh. You forgot this? You Albanian pricks! Stranya! Shit, Nico. What did you do? He was going to stab me! Now he's going to kill you! Fuck him! Look at this mess! Screwed! Again! You want to know why I'm not <sighs> living in a nice condo, banging for women? It's because of shit like this! Assholes, threaten Shut me! Shut up! <whistles> oh, great. Mallory. Hey, beautiful! <laughs> huh? Yeah, great! <laughs> uh, listen, I I'm having a bit of a problem at the office. Um, I can't do it. Nico can do it. Huh? Um, what? Well, why would you want me then? But, uh, well, screw you then! Great girl. Can you do me a favor? Mallory uh, needs a lift. Uh, can you go pick her up at the Hove Beach subway station? Yeah. Take the cab. She's got a friend with her. Maybe someone you can date. Uh, Fuck you. Oh, man, look at this crap. My computer and everything. Get in, ladies. Hey, Nico, thanks for coming. I should have known Roman would find some excuse not to turn up. This is Michelle. Hi, how are you? My place is over on Mohawk Avenue. How are you finding America, Nico? Not exactly what I expected. Nico, you know what? You need someone to show you a good time. Michelle, how about you? Mallory, stop it. Come on, you guys. You're both single. You're adults. Take a number, Nico. Hey, I'd like to see you again, Nico. You look like that kind of guy I want to get to know. You look like you just jumped off the boat, Nico. Handsome man like you should get some new threats. I think he looks fine the way he is. I don't think he even chains out of those things on the journey. How are you going to impress a classy girl like Michelle? I'm easily impressed. 
I know you are, sweetie. <laughs> and I just don't get it. Thanks for the lift, Nico. Yeah, thanks. Give me a call sometime. See you soon, Michelle. Cousin, I dropped the girls off. The friend gave me her number, but I don't think Mallory likes my clothes so much. I know just the place for you. It's on Mohawk in Hull. Go and get something a bit more 21st century. I have good clothes, no? You see, I have good clothes. Tell your wife I say hi. Hey, Roman, I got some clothes. It looks like they brought the stuff in from the old country, though. We must take what we get. When the big money rolls in, then we will look real classy. Anyway, you have Michelle, classy girl for your arm. You should definitely keep dating her. wanted to go out with me sometime, you know, on a date. Yeah, sure. That could be fun. Yeah, I'd like to get to know you, Nico. Uh, why don't you come over to my place whenever? See you soon. It was a misunderstanding. Oh, hey! Oh, shit! There he is! Keep on fat boy here, and I'll talk to him. Our problems with your cousin. I told you to stop. Now it's too late. I don't want this to get really ugly. Joe. You all right, cousin? Yeah. Fine. Fucking lawn sharks, man. If one more of these gangsters tries to... Speaking of shitheads, here's Darden. Come on, my car is over there. Let's get him. You drive. I don't feel so good. Get in! These guys think that they're better than me. They think they can fuck me around and beat me up because there are more of them. Not any longer. Me and you, Nico. Me and you are going to show them fucking dirt and smashing my fucking stuff. Who does he think he is? Just some fucking petty Albanian hood. If I wanted to buy a stolen TV, I'd go to Dark. Who does he think he's fucking with? Malik Enterprises, that's who. We're going to the top, Nico. The top. For now, let's just try to survive, cousin. Darden is stopping. He's trying to get away on foot. Motherfucker, stay away! You broke my arm already, man! You should have run away from me. There's what we owe you, Darden. 
nothing else. You want some more? Darden ain't a problem for you no more, cousin. Nice one, cousin. Drive back to the depot. These bruises are starting to pain. These men, these Shylocks like Darden, they always try to squeeze you for everything. A man in Europe, another Russian. Bulgarian. He live on the Adriatic. Believed I owed him money when I did not. It made my life impossible. There was no avoiding him. Did you deal with him like you did Darden and Bleeder? He had too many connections for that. I had to leave. He is one of the reasons I came here. And to see your cousin, of course. Of course. We will have no more problems from now on, cousin. It is all plain sailing straight to the top for you and me. We will see if things are that simple. Thank you, cousin. I'll see you later. Hey, it's Nico. Hey, I'm just finishing my hair. Come in. Thank you. I'll be with you in a minute. Did you just move in? No. Why? All your stuff is new. Some even still have tags on. Yeah, well, I like things clean. I can see that. But uh, everything is new. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with cleanliness. Things get on my nerves and I just throw them out. OCD or something? Oh. So, where are you taking me? Uh... You look good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm new here. I thought maybe we could go to the, uh... Fun fair. Yeah, great! Let's go! Love the fun fair! Actually, we call it, um, carnival here. Just a little difference. Uh, whoop de doo <laughs> So, Nico, why couldn't you come on the date earlier? What happened? Roman got himself into some trouble. I had to help him out. Really? Does Roman get himself into a lot of trouble? Is he involved in criminal stuff? Roman? <laughs> He's made some mistakes, got involved with people he shouldn't have, but really, he is a legitimate businessman. What about you? I'm just trying to make the right decisions. You know, the carnival isn't open this time of year. I, I don't know if it would pass safety regulations anyway. There's a bowling alley over on the boardwalk. Why don't we play a few frames? Sure, bowling sounds like fun. Thanks for taking me out. I haven't been on a date for a while. I'm kind of lonely here. I thought you were doing me a favor by going out with me. You're the local. I'm not a local in Liberty City. I came here from somewhere... Where? Oh, the Midwest. <laughs> you probably know more people here than me. More assholes, maybe. Welcomes you. Our balls are big. Please choose a lane. Go on. You are my good baby girl. Yes. In your dreams. You're good, Nico. That was fun. Will you take me back home now? I'm not going to make you take the subway. Let's go. Ivan, it is 
So, you don't know many people here in Liberty City? No boyfriends or husbands or anything? No, I guess I'm married to my job. Well, what do you do? What do you do? Come on, I asked first. I work with Mallory. What do you do, exactly? You're a hard girl to talk to, Michelle. I guess you're not used to talking to American women. I guess. So what are you doing here in Liberty City, Miko? What's anybody doing here? I don't know. I think you do. There must be something that made you leave your home and come here. Roman's bullshit stories, maybe. I just felt like I needed a new start. There's nothing else about Liberty City, then? Just Roman? Maybe there is more to this place. I'm not sure yet. That was nice. I'm really interested in seeing you again. Yeah, that would be good. I'll give you a call. Please do, Nico. See you soon. Come on, Hattie. Forget about the fat sir. Vlad, shut up. But he's a serf, and you're a countess. Uh, talking about serfs. Oh, hey, Nico. Where's Roman? <laughs> Good question. Hey, Yoko, your dumb cousin isn't here. Go get me a coffee. What? Get me a fucking coffee! Come on, I'll get you one. What? You keep staring at me. I'll burst one of your eyeballs. Gorgeous, this guy's a fucking creep. Give him a break. He's new in the country. I can see that. Did you walk here from 1985? Yeah. Excellent. Now stop fucking staring at me. I mean, I know I'm good looking and everything, but come on. Uh, hey, Mallory. Hey, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> About time. Vlad, Vladdy boy, what's going on? Roman, Roman boy, you tell me what's going on. Nice aftershave. What is that? Sex pest? No. <laughs> it's where is my fucking money? I, I had it. I, I had some of it. Then those Albanians you said you would deal with came and smashed my computer. <laughs> so it's my fault? I, I didn't say that. Good. Anyway, Nico dealt with him. He broke Darden's arm. Then we up a couple more. Then we teach him a real lesson. <laughs> is that so? I tell you what. While you don't pay, Maybe you and Nico can do me few favors. Sure. <laughs> Good. Why not? Later, Vlad. What? The phone's ringing. Hey. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I can't do it. My cousin will do it. Yes, he can drive. No, he's not a cop. His name is Nico. You'll be right over. Nico. Sorry to ask, cousin. Can you go pick up Germain, one of my regulars? He's over on Rotterdam Hill on Mohawk Avenue? Whatever. What was this all about? Nico came in looking for you, and Vlad told him to get him a fucking coffee, and Nico didn't want to. Coffee? What was he thinking? I know. For company. Can you take me over to Masterson Street? Masterson Street it is, Jermaine. Shit, I thought Roman was gonna pick me up. I need someone I can trust for this run. I'm Roman's cousin. If you can trust him, you can trust me. Ah, uh, he told me about you. You're Nico, right? The hotshot ladies' man cruising around the Mediterranean, breaking hearts and making millions? Yeah, I traded in the yacht for this cab. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of bullshit I can imagine Roman making up. You've got to give him credit for his imagination. Yeah, you got him. I had a feeling you sounded too good to be true. The question is, are you willing to get your hands dirty? My hands haven't been clean for a long time. Being here in Liberty City is just making them dirtier. Okay, okay. I gotta pick up some hot parts for my locker. You down? I ain't got no problem with that. 
Just don't tell me if you stole this shit from a hospital or a school for sick kids. My conscience is troubled enough already. That door isn't meant to be open. Wait here while I take a look. The cops are on to me. Get us out of here. Lose the cop, man. Lose the fucking cop. Shit. Cool. I think we managed to shake him. We just need to lay low for another minute. Great. We lost. This is my block. Shit. Would you Roman's not help? gonna like that. So what brings you to Liberty City, Nico? Roman, I guess. And some other things. I'm looking for something. Good luck finding them. How's the hunt been going so far? It has not really started yet. I'm getting settled in, you know. Roman has had some issues with loan sharks that needed to be resolved. There's this asshole called Vlad, who he owes money to as well. Good luck with that. Okay, we're here. Thanks, man. Keep looking after Roman, all right? Roman, I got your friend Jermaine where he wanted to go. Good, Nico. Thanks. I can't talk. See you soon. Headed to town. I don't give a fuck if the bridge is busy. You're a cab driver. Hey. Hello, Roman Bellic Enterprises. Uh, no, uh, Mr. Bellic is stepped away from his office. Can I take a message? Okay, great. No, I'm not gay. Yes. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell him. Car 7, head to South Slopes! Come on! Where are you, Mohammed? Hello, Roman Bellic's up. Shit. Fucking battery. This is chaos! Capitalism is a dirty business. Yeah? Like war? Not exactly. No, maybe not. When are you going to tell me properly about what happened? I'm not going to judge you. Uh, when you got time. There, I have time. Another time. Can I help? Okay, yes. Go pick up my friend, little Jacob. He's a good man. Likes to smoke a bit. Look after him. He's on Oned Avenue in South Slopes. Nico, man, we should talk sometime. Oh. I'm a good listener. Whatever, man. Mohammed, what the fuck? Are... Oh, Miss Weinstock. No, no, not you. I, I, what can I do for you today? All right, brother, follow that Dillon Street in Shatla. Yo, Nico, the one man Roman been talking about all this time. Cousin Nico, gonna help Roman take over the world and thing. I guess so. Respect, all right, all right. We're going to the spot where I needed to wait for it. See? I gotta ask you another favor, too. Go for it. Can you take this piece? You hear anything bad going down? You come and help, side. Are you worried about this? I know how to use a gun if you want me to keep watch on things. Realness, brother. You're my man Roman's cousin. Thanks, respect. This rascal that I rock is with my bridge and real bad man the other day. I want to make peace, but John know what type of shit they might pull off. All right, there be the spot up there. Watch out for any badness. Sure.
Watch this. I know there's only gonna be one of you who's coming. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. We have to teach a bad man his lesson and thing. Shit, nigga. Get his blood clots. Right. There be another one, Nico. Check in. Bow on one of this blood clot far enough. Me have a clear shot far far enough. Sorry for Magadag. Magadag, turn around and bite you. Come here back at home, bro, cafe. The real creation step on Nico. Righteous with that piece. I have had much experience. I think we can do some work together and thing. In the future, you know? I am always looking for work. If it pays. Here's my number. I could link up soon. Thanks for everything. You can keep the peace. I think you know if you use it better than I do. One love. Hey, we Rasta. I don't need to talk. I could do it. I took Jacob where he wanted to go. Driving for you ain't as boring as I thought it would be. Jacob is a good man. Watching glue dry with Jacob would not be boring. Thank you, cousin. I'm sorry. You better start remembering the important people, you dumb peasant. Your cousin owed me a lot of money. If you don't want to make things real difficult for him, you are going to come to Kamrat Bar in Mohawk. I have a work for you. Ah, fuck you! You're a bunch of pussies and fags! Nice. I'm going back to the meeting! Good! I'm going to be somebody! Yeah, yeah. See you later, Mel. You always were an asshole, Mickey. Hey, watch where you're going. Hey! Hey! I tried to tell you. Fuck to do you! It. Excuse me. Позвони мне когда закончишь, хорошо? So, Ivan, I see you later, okay? Yoko, Fetty Roman's cousin. <laughs> What's your name again? Big Mouth Prick. Very catchy. Sit down. Cousin... Uh, Nico. That's it, Nico. Not Big Mouth Prick. You funny guy. I try. Yes, and these ones, I'll let you take the shit out of me. Take the shit? Yes, me give out. I don't understand. Ah, people who fuck with me, get fucked with! Okay, fine. Calm down. Whatever. Some old man not paid me in months, and I'm not kind of person who is treated this way. Old bastard owns a china shop in the Campton Avenue in Dukes. Here you go. Don't hurt him. Just teach him a lesson. I don't need a bat to teach a lesson. Hey, let me in. You have Vlad's protection money, old man. Big Vlad and his protection money? I'm so scared. What I need protection from? You think this door is going to save your shop? There's shit I can break out here. Vlad should pay me to tell punks like you to go away. He get no money. Stop it, shit brain! I pay up now! I pay up! Here's your money! I hope you and Vlad choke on it! Sure, whatever. Hey, Yokel. You managed to do the job? Get Vlad his money? He paid up. I had to smash the shop up pretty good, but he paid. Don't worry your little peasant head about it. Stupid jerk made a mistake of telling me how much he gets that shit for back east. He's the biggest crook in the neighborhood. Lucky I don't tell his customers what they're paying for. That it? Can I go now? Sure. Get out of my face. You want me to kill you? You are a dead man! Dead! Nico, how you doing? 
going. This is so much fun. You know, Roman, I haven't been having that much fun since I got here. Has been a lot like hard work. Well, you should hang out with your cousin more often. Maybe that is the problem. <laughs> I'm sitting here with Brucey. Well, we're sitting here and calling the cops and watching them show up and look around. The fucking stupid bastards. You shouldn't cry wolf, Roman. Who knows when you really need help? Fuck! I think they see us. Have to go, Nico. You're going to have your license revoked. What? My friend, smoking in a bar is a crime. Plain and simple. Well, you're joking, right? This is a joke. Yeah, you're playing hey, a joke on me. Mallory, right? tell Fadig his cousin is okay. He just walked in. Great girl. Yeah? Stay away from her. Of course. Now listen. You did good with the business the other day. But now one more peasant is trying to avoid pain. Who? Moskovsky jerk who owns the laundry in the Masterson Street. Thinks in this country business is done differently. Says he will call cops on us. Okay. So? Jerk needs to be taught a lesson. Give him a beating. Let him know might is right. Hey! Stop that smoking back there! Bushel! Easy, Wait. buddy. <laughs> Did you hear Go on. This? Do what you gotta do. But remember, you see a cop? You don't know me. I see anyone, I don't know you. Ho, ho. Hello. Vlad говорит. Да, да. Что ты хочешь? Быстрее. Я очень занят. I have a message from Vlad. Shit! Stay away from me! you owe him. I'm going to. I've just been having the trouble getting it together. Vlad is an impatient man. You will be getting the money to him soon, or your wife shall be using your washing machines to get blood out of your clothes. Do you understand? I do not ask twice for a favor. I understand. I will get it to him. I thought this country was different. I spoke to the laundry mat owner. He gets the message. He will pay you now. I like your style. You can be an intimidating guy. It's a shame everybody knows what a stupid yokel you are when you open your mouth. Huh? Come back to the bar, so. <laughs> so she sends me out <laughs> to the bar. Hey, Frank, let me out. Where can I get Oh, yokel, there you are. Okay. Glad. Come on, let's go for a walk, okay? Right. Okay, come on. <laughs> I don't even like this. <laughs> Where are we going? To my car. Why? Because of your cousin. What? Owe me a lot of money and until he pays me, you're fresh off the boat. Yeah, your ass is mine. What the fuck you mean why? Hey, you are a pretty relaxed guy, huh, Vlad? Come on. But I mean, it's just start I wait, Mark. Come on, Yoko. What's wrong with you? You gonna Watch jump me? It. No, I had a late night last night. But it is Mikhail. Great. Yeah, wild! <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. That's so who the hell one. is Mikhail? Hey, Mikhail's a man! What the hell's that guy Shit! My nose is bleeding. Is my nose bleeding? No, not yet. Fuck this. Come on! Wait! I'm walking hey, here! Wait the fuck Let's go! Up. Damn city, always trying to run you down, huh? Hey man, can I Get that job, hey, you deadbeat crackhead! Just a little change, man! Man, hey, where do these people whoa, get up? Whoa, whoa. Like I'm gonna pay for their drug habits. Well, say something. You are so fucking laid back. Warren, come on. Want some? Good. We walked all the way over here so you could snort coke? No, listen. 
Ah, oh, that's better. Huh? That's better. Man, Michal gets the good stuff. It's a got some laxative in it, though. Gives you a stomach problem. <laughs> nice detail. Yeah, listen, huh? Where were we? I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, I need you to head up to Duke's and get a car for me. It's a silver blister. And it's packed in the projects by EIC subway station. Okay? Sure. <laughs> you got keys? Uh, no, Yokel. I need you to take the car. Asshole owes Mikhail some money. Take his car instead, huh? We're gonna <laughs> drive over there? What? Are we gonna drive over there? No. You're gonna take the train, buddy. You think I wanna be in the car with the peasant? Come on. I'm gonna go meet somebody. <laughs> Have a little okay. party. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Have fun, dickhead. This car belonged to Vlad. No, it's mine. Who asked it? That's Jimmy's car. I'm gonna put you to sleep real fast. I have your new car, Vlad. It's not pretty, though. Real dirty. Dirty? I can't sell a dirty car. I know your cousins like them dirty. Maybe your whole local family drives around in a dirty car, but it's not the way over here. Fucking peasants don't do nothing right. Hey, I could fuck this car up worse than a little dirt. Relax, man. You should lose your age. There is a car wash over on Saratoga Avenue. Just to take it over there, and then to my lockup, just of Mohawk. Did they give the car up easy? It was easy. I didn't even have to hurt the guy. Good. Dead guys can't pay interest. You are learning. I put the car in your locker. You're not as stupid as you look, Yoko. Come back to see me at the parcel. You have arrived. Come and Yo, Nico. Walk one. All right, you know, getting by. Yo, we need to help with something, you know? Will you come on my place at Dillon Street? Sure, I was looking to branch out a bit anyway. I'll see you soon. Hey, Mickey. What do you have? Glass of water. Glass of water. Bang, bang, you are dead. Wake up, you moron. You got me. Come over here. Sit down. You remember Ivan? No. Guy you saw me talking to. This guy. Uh... This guy. Oh, yes. You guys had the little kiss. Very funny. What would you say if I told you he was going to rob your cousin? I'd say, what problem has he got with my cousin? Hold on. Hey, 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 gorgeous. No, I can't talk right now. What are you wearing? No, I mean underneath it. Great. Listen, I'll call you back, huh? Sorry. Who was that? Never you mind. Was it Ivan? Ooh, that's funny. You know, for a dumb yokel, you're a very funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and for an annoying dick, you're really an annoying dick. Well, it's a real shame, then, that I'm the guy with the powerful friends, and you're the little punk whose only friends is some fat weasel who drives a fucking cab! So, why is Ivan going to rob my cousin? Because I want you to kill him. What? He's angered Mikhail, Mr. Falsin. Offended him. He think he's stealing some paperwork from her mom. You catch him and kill him. Then we say it was just a robbery that failed. And what if I say I don't want to be your hitman? <laughs> that Mr. Faustin will be very angry with you. And your cousin. 
Hmm. Okay. I knew we would understand each other once I put it in this simple way. Now, go wait for him by the car depot. Hey, gorgeous. Yeah, where were we? Okay, now listen. Let's talk about tonight. One, aren't you? Ah, there ain't nowhere left for you to run. to know that I'm alive, not even my mother. I'll stay out of Hove Beach. I'll be a ghost. I promise. Please. Get up. Once you're dead, you can't be all bad. Stay out of Hove Beach. Thank you. You won't regret this, man. I am out of here. Wanted to live anyway, get away from all these people from back home? Get into the real America. You're never gonna see me around here again. I owe you my life, man. You're a good man. You're a good man. Thank you. You won't be seeing your boyfriend Ivan no more. Oh, are you going to miss him? No, I'm not. I'm getting enough pussy at the moment. I tell you, it's so much better if women already have a man, because you don't have to deal with all this shit all day. Take Mallory, for example. Fuck you! You say this to my face and I will break you! Yo! What are you telling me best, uh? What are Uh, it's Nico. Nico? Yeah, me bleach hard last night, you know. The sun come, yo. That's what I... What? Uh, oh, 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 Nico. Hey. Glad to see the man, you know. I'm to my man, Roman. Roman? Eh. Yeah. He's okay. Eh. Yeah. He's still waiting for his big break, eh? Yeah? Big break. So, I promise I'll come for to a fool, you know, Nico. A boy for creep before him can walk, you know. Yeah. Anyway, let's go for a little drive. Come. Yo, I have a deal for me, you know. You have to go down to Saratoga Avenue in Willis. The man taking this way, this herb don't do too well for my honor, my eye coordination. You sure you don't want some? I'm sure. You might like keep the windows closed. Keep the gun in the car. Hot box, see? So what's the deal? I'm buying some Kali off a new sauce, you know? Don't know if it's all this herb, but... I'm major paranoid, I don't trust them. Who arranged this deal? Some armor shots in the crew. 
bad man know them a long time, but I think them faced it. And if this goes wrong, I don't know what kind of shit bad man going to lay upon them doing, you know? You think this is a setup? I don't know. I've been smoking hard, you know. Fucks with my brain and everything. Make me think all type of shit. I dread you don't trust yourself, can't trust no one else. See? You can't shake no hands when your fist be clinched. You hear me, brother? Sure, I hear you. Go around the back in case one of them try to get jumped and run off with the ganja. Keep hold of this vehicle, we might need to get out of here quick. I got them. You're real bad man in a Nico. Respect. Follow the Savannah Avenue in a metal spa. You're a bad boy, Nico. I don't know what I will be doing without you. Know. But I say I got to get the blood class to set I up. All right. Drive while I black up some more, you know, brother. Ross I think you can call a bad man. You're a fool. It's a dead fool. The boy has no match for I and I. He's nothing. Here we be. Are you with me, brother? Yes. I'm going to put some road boy in the ground. All right, bro, get behind me. All right, you ready? I was set this place for fire to blood clot. We can't get a shot on the boy. Check the window. You see him up there? Ricky, you see it? And I get them all. Yo, make we broke out here. I think some more soon turn up. Ricky, I'll tell me back at the cafe and thing. Real bad man gonna be happy with this and thing. Janua, thank you, my brother. Don't mention it. It was a pleasure. I look out for bad man like how you look out for Roman. He's my cousin. Blood be the thickest band there is, you know? Light is not always an easy thing in a star. But man tell me, say, yo, Jacob, kill him. Jacob, show that, etc., etc. In always logical, but I and I follow. See? That idea? Him call stab a man for giving a school face. Orders are sometimes hard. They must be sure you agree before you follow. I have made that mistake myself a long time ago. For real? I know you're right, you know, brother. But Batman is my bro. I follow him wherever. We're there. Thanks for everything. Keep this little something and say, yo, we appreciate your assistance, see? We talk to you soon. See you later. Hey, what's wrong? Hey, cousin. Bullshit. What's bullshit? Mallory. Oh, what about her? I like her. I really like her. But you keep messing around with other women. Yeah. No. 
I think she's messing around with Vlad. I saw his car parked outside her place the other day. Yeah. You knew? I had suspicions. You fucking knew? What was I going to say? You knew my woman was banging this war dog and you didn't do anything? I didn't, didn't say anything? I didn't know. You're an asshole, Nikobelik! A disloyal user! After what I did for you, you dick! You fucking dick! I'm sorry! Screw you! All right, so you want me to deal with it right now? No. Sit down. No! I'm not going to stand here and have you call me disloyal. You might let some Russian asswipe bang your woman, but I won't. But you fucking did! That was before I knew you cared! You always were a hypocrite. Nico, wait! Don't do anything stupid! Wait for me! Tell me you're just blowing off some steam. You're, you're going for a little try. You're going to leave Vlad alone, right? Don't do anything stupid, cousin! Nothing is stupid as letting that fat swine give it to Mallory. Hey, it happens! I, we, we have an open relationship! I do my thing, she does hers, uh, maybe next time I might watch them at it! Oh, don't watch this fat, hairy, sweaty back going up and down! I can't take it! How can she do this?! I knew you cared. I have to do this. Wait, Nico, you have to think this through. Stay out here. Let the big boys have their conversation inside. Give me a drink. Anyway. You got it. I say to you, about capusto. Why do you need to drink capusto if it's from cartoshka? Hey! Cartoshka! Bloody boy! I'd like a word with you. What are you doing here? Did I summon you? Boy, I told you to stay away from Mallory. Ah, go away! And now Roman is upset. Oh, Roman is upset. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you think oh, I give a fuck, yeah, peasant? A oh, really there he is. Day. Hey, Fatty. I'm, I'm so sorry you're so upset. Oh, poor fucking ho. <laughs> hey, Vlad, can't oh, we no. just talk about <laughs> this? You stay away from Mallory. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn for a minute this ratty little yokel told me what to do. <laughs> Did you hear that voice? Yeah. Now, get them out of come here. On, come on, come on. Get back outside, I Roman. Pick your brains out. He's running away. We win. Let's go home. I'm not walking away until this thing is finished. It is finished. He's running. We won't see him again. He'll come back. The only thing that will hold him down is six feet of dirt. Forget about Mallory. Plans change. And, you know, when Vlad is done with her... Grow a fucking spine. You think Vlad won't come after us when I am chasing him like this? I have to end it. Here and now. Shit. I don't like this. Fuck. Fuck. Keep your head down. I'm going to finish this. Stop! Nico! Shit! You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. You are dead man. Fucking Yokel! You think you can get away with killing me? I guess I'll find out! You think this is worth it? You are throwing you and your fatty cousin's lives away for that bit of Puerto Rican chocha! I'm throwing your life away, prick! We'll do all right! My friends will track you down. You won't last a moment. I'll last longer than you will, shithead. Fuck you! I wish I could be there to watch Mikhail cut your peasant balls off. You've killed yourself and your cousin, Yokel. You are dead man. Mikhail Faust is thought of me as a brother. He will get revenge. Half beach is a small place. My friends will find you. You were the stupid one, Vladdy boy. Nobody fucks with my family. Ah, you're a big boy, Vladdy. Nico! Uh, Nico! 
Well, I guess this is over. What have you done? What does it look like? We're dead! No, he's dead. We're fine. He has powerful friends. Serious people. I told you to be calm! You hold it in jail! I am calm. He tried to kill us. He screwed your girlfriend. What do you expect? I give him a massage? Shit! Shit! Shit. When I was in the army, we were going on a mission. To ambush a squad who had killed a lot of innocent people. They were our enemies. But we never did it. There were 15 of us, all boys from the village. But one of us betrayed the group. It was a setup. For money. Twelve people died, three escaped. I know the traitor was not me. So for ten years, I've been searching for the other two. One of them leaves here. Why are you telling me this now? Do you always get sentimental after you kill people? You kept asking. Wonderful! You're here on some revenge mission for something that happened ten years ago, and you don't care whose life you ruin anyway. No. Well, what? I don't know. I just want to know why they did it. Well, right now, I don't think you're going to find out. Let's hide the body, at least for a while. Put him in the river. <sighs> if he'll fast, then he's going to kill us. Shit! We should get out of here. You go. I'll catch up with you later. Where are you, Roman? Psst, Nico! <laughs> Roman, what are you doing in the dumpster, man? Are they there? What are you talking about? Get out of there, man! I'm freaking out, man! I'm being followed! I saw them! Don't be ridiculous! You're being paranoid! I'm be... Fuck you! Fuck you! Everything was fine, and then you show up, and now we're dead! Because Faustin is a psychopath! He's going to kill us! Because we killed Vlad! Vlad was his man! That's how it works! You kill their guy, they kill you! Roman! Get out of there, man! Listen to me. Vlad was a piece of trash. They don't care about him. All they care about is making money. So, we say we work for them. Now get out of there, you smell like cabbage. I don't want to, man. I'm shitting myself. Oh! Get out of the dumpster, Mr. Fat Man. Come on, Fatty. The boss wants a little chat. Wake up! <laughs> We had to gag him to stop the screaming. You shouldn't have brought them here, Andre. Why not? You've been a bad boy, Mr. Balkan. And the boss is not happy. Oh, no. I shit my pants. Not yet, but you will. Who are you working for? Uh, my cousin, Roman. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. That's not good enough. I'm gonna saw off your fucking arm. Speak! Okay, okay. Your dad likes it up the ass. 
What do you want me to say? Huh? <laughs> Very funny. Do you think you're so smart? <laughs> no! I tied up in the basement a long way from home while some ape threatens me with a hacksaw. So no, I'm not that smart. Shut the fuck up! My fucking wife is watching television. <laughs> Good Lord. What are you doing? Nothing. Uh, I mean, uh, I was finding out who he is. And? Who is he? He is his cousin. You were about to cut up some guy in my house, making all that noise to find out he's his cousin. Where did you find this idiot? He was a friend of your sergeant when we were in Vladivostok. He's an imbecile. So, Nico Belli, you think it's okay to kill my employees? If he is an asshole, yes. Do it! Oh. I agree. Mikhail! Asshole, look at me like I'm a piece of shit. Bozo my. Now listen, Nico Belli. You are very lucky Blood was an idiot. The only reason I keep him around is because I fucked his sister. Look at me. You owe me. I got some digheads in my neighborhood trying to run a shipment, yeah? And we found a buyer for the TVs. Yes, a buyer. But you got to get them for us so we can make the sale. Can you untie Roman? Хорошо. Help! Shut up. Shut up. Help! Roman, shut up. Shut up. Help! Shut up, Roman. Shut up. Roman, shut up. Roman, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Stop shooting people, you maniac! My wife doesn't like when people shout! Whatever! You better get those screens soon! Or I will personally pull your cousin's stitches out, one by one, and watch his gut spill onto the floor! Clean this shit up! Listen, we'll take care of your cousin, but you better get a police car. And then you call me! Roman! Roman! Go! 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 I, I'll take care of him! Fuck! I have the police car. What now? The van is driving around South Broker. Pull it over, take it to our lockup and do the drive. Be more specific. How many vans do you think there are in South Broker? That is a problem for you and your cousin, not me. Keep pulling vans over until you find the TV. Oh, Goodbye. Make it large. out of here you're making a mistake we're paying protection money to kenny petrovic open up the bag you got any flat screens big fucking mistake wrong move asshole ah! you ain't rolling up on me I've left the van where you say. How's Roman? He's okay. A little scarred, but okay. You did good. Mikhail needs someone like you. Stop by and see him sometime. Forgive me. I need the car. Oh my god! Don't kill me! We're taking you out right now. Are you all right? I was just shot in the stomach and then stitched up in the doctor's office that was dirtier than the basement we were nearly tortured in. I'm great. You sound calm, actually. That Dimitri guy gave me some painkillers. I'm kind of out of it. If you're near a shop, can you pick up some adult diapers for me? See you later, Nico.
Hey, Nico. Hey. Come in. Thank you. Lay off that stuff. Why? Because it clouds your judgment. Not now, it's not the time. Uh, my judgment. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm a fool. A drunken fool. Nico's here. We're going to go take care of that guy. I take it you won't be joining us? Make him suffer. People forget pain so quickly. You need to calm down with that stuff. Calm? Why? So I can be like you, Mr. Barbitrude? Always so fucked up on painkillers, you don't give a shit? You need to calm down. <laughs> Where would we be now if I was calm like you? Let me guess. In a prison camp in Siberia, or selling hash to tourists in Red Square, or still in the Navy. Which is it today? Be careful, Dimitri. Be fucking careful. You be careful. You're getting crazy. That's the way it works. I am angry. You are calm. I scare you reason. It works. Yes, but you've angered the wrong people. Blah, blah, too many blah, bodies, blah, too much blah, attention blah, 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 will be blah. dealt with if we don't start playing by the rules. I've angered people. Me? Not we. Strange. When I give out the money, it's us. When I have to push people, it's me. All alone. Don't think I cannot see through you. After all we've done together. You're getting delusional. Look, we have to go. I fucking love you. Yes, yes. I fucking love you. I know. Yes. Yeah. But you treat me like a child. I run things my way. Dimitri Raskolov. My fucking way! Get out of my sight! Or I fucking kill you! I'm not saying don't run things your way. I'm saying be calm. Here. Take a couple of these. What are you still doing here? I said get out of my sight! We're going to that sex shop on Hof Beach. This guy been making porno in his basement, and he didn't cut Mikhail in. At least he could have done and sent over some tapes. You know how much money there is in selling this stuff online? A whole fucking heap. We're going to ignore what Mikhail said and try not to kill them. Taking a bite of this pie would be very profitable for our operation. I got no problem with sparing some lives. No, it's Mikhail that has that issue. Can't keep his finger off of the triggers. Wasn't always like this, though. Things got to him. I hope it don't get to me. Where's your boss? What do you mean? He's, uh... In the back? No, 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 he's... You better not be filming. Uh, no, they're just having a meeting, I swear. Get out of the way! <clears throat> Fuck. You see? They don't make them like that no more. That's a vintage bush. If it wasn't for that, I'd say this weren't worth transferring to DVD. Hey, Joseph! You think you can expand your business interests, make these pornos and sell them, whoa, and whoa, we won't whoa. know about it, huh? We was just waiting until the uh, books was closed at the end uh, of the financial year. Then we was gonna cut you in. Your books are closed until you pay us our cut. Nico, take this and cover Joseph. We ain't making that much cash. Is that a fact? Maybe we can't pop you, Joseph, but we can fuck up one of your boys. 
Listen, big guy, you got a great look going on. Real strong. We can push on one of our films. Shoot this scumbag in the leg. Hey, man, please, go easy on me. Come on, big guy. <laughs> all right, all right already. Brett was just trying to be friendly. Shit, he'll be out of action for a couple of weeks. You got some money for Mr. Faustin? Fine, here you go. We ain't gonna have the re- You should have thought of that earlier. I I'm special, I'm gonna be a star. Don't hurt me, a big, big star. Joseph, I thought you were a better businessman than this. We go, Nico. And we're going to an alleyway off of Dillon Street in Chapel. I want to buy you a present. Will you wrap it up and put a pretty bow on it? Screw you. We're seeing a friend of mine who's got a good line on weapons. It's on the ground, a back room place. There are a few around the city. The mayor has a real hard on for gun control. Guns don't seem that controlled. I seen plenty and I just got here. And now you'll know where to get them for yourself. What's the problem? Mikhail, yes, nice to be an email you do. Super happy. I didn't kill Joseph. We will make more money with him alive. Chort, Mikhail! Mikhail! Fuck! You're lucky! Robin don't try to make you kill someone every two seconds! The shop is just down that alleyway. Pick out what you like! Tell them to put it on Mr. Faustin's account. I'll take this one. Charge Mr. Faustin. You fucking Ruskies are milking me dry. I ain't a cow. I ain't Russian. Drive us to Mr. Faustin's. So, you and Mr. Faustin. Have you always argued and made up like this? It wasn't always like this. Mikhail was a great man. He had a temper, but he was fair. Now he blows his top at the slightest thing. I never know who he will shoot, who he will stab. Andre, who you met in Mikhail's basement. He was always loyal. He was a good worker. Now he's dead. I guess that, that is why we need your help. Remind Faustin of that. Maybe then he will not try to kill me. Thank you for your help, Nico. Come to see us at the club soon. Mikhail will be cool by then. Okay, no problem. Hi, Dimitri. Hey, Dimitri, I took care of that thing for you. Very good. I'm proud of you. Good. Dimitri, thank you for taking care of that thing for me. No problem. <laughs> Dimitri, Dimitri, hey, oh. hey, uh, meet my girl, oh. Natasha. Oh, so my nice pleasure. to meet you. <laughs> little delicious. Oh. A little crunch. <laughs> Mikhail. <laughs> hey, my brother Nico. Good. Sit down. Oh, Have a drink. Baby. Move up, ladies. Move up. Uh, Mikhail, we have something we need to talk about. Okay, yeah. you can have your alt, Katrina. Come on. Not no that. Deal. In private. <laughs> Girls, Thanks, can you give us a minute, huh? Please. Okay. Oh, Get out of here. Keep it warm. Later, I won't be too long. So, what is it? We've got police trouble. The feds or someone are all over us. Sergei told me that a friend of his in the courts told him they've been authorized to tap our phones and they know about the pot we stole. Shit. Who is the rat? It's no one. It's just the way we've been behaving. Making too much noise. This was inevitable. We're going to have to calm things right down for a while. It's that fucking guy, yeah. I know it is. I saw it in his eyes. You know? That guy. 
That guy who bought the coke, but he didn't buy the That's pot. That's Lenny. He's my cousin's boyfriend. It's not him. Yes, he's a moron. Yes, but he's okay. I don't trust him. What? I just told you. He knows too much. Oh. You, get him. Are you sure? Sure? No, I am not. Right now I'm wondering if it's him or you. It could be you. Think for a second. This has been going on for months. Think! Look where your thinking has got us. You were in charge of security. Good job. Well done, Dimitri. You pathetic idiot. You! Prove you're loyal. Go and kill the guy. Don't question my loyalty. Then don't question my orders. He lives on Guantanamo Avenue in Bohan. Head up there and call me. Me personally, when you get there. Mikhail, please don't do this. Shut up. I, shut the fuck up. I'm begging I you. Said, shut the fuck please up. Please don't Go. do this. Why don't you You listen? want to play games? This hey, is give me not break. a game. You stop. have to play I by the stop. rules. Mr. Faustin, do you want to call this off? No, I never change my mind. I've heard he's at the Guantanamo Avenue station. Go to the platform and get rid of that rat. Shut up, Dimitri! For the last time! Nico, do you know what you have done? I have followed Mr. Faustin's orders. Not much more. The boy you killed was the son of Kenny Petrovich. This is a very dangerous man. He will not take kindly to this. How was I to know? You weren't. This is Mikhail's craziness. I will speak to people and see what I can do. Hey! Hey, boy, don't ah, move, don't move! The fuck don't move, boy, how are you? Eh? Oh, where you come from? How are you? Hey, man, I'm here to see Jacob. It's Nico. Nico? But, man, what's going on there, sir? Some boy don't say I beat off the door. Some boy don't say I call himself Nico, say, want to see a road boy. Nico? I'm a boy that bad, man, man. Yo, free up the boy, man, yo. Are you a boy, that? Yeah. Sure. Boy, that's come on, you. 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 Come on, when you have people knock on people door and thing, you have to be careful and thing. No, it's okay. Yeah, man. See, you tell. Hey, don't you worry about watch it. Watch what you're doing, you know. See how your boy over there, son, Nico. Go deal with him, see him. Oh, I'm Nico. You all right? Hey, no problem. It's good an introduction as any other. Yeah, me hear that, you know. <laughs> anyway, some boy around with bad man, you know. I want to ask you a favor. Go on, no? Hey, my youth. Some boy of them dip on the corner and thing, and the boy of them sell some things and thing, and I go on and I say, oh. Them don't want to give me my money and thing, and every corner of my corner, and I want my money and thing, you know. I know sweat I go go, you know, I want to deal with the case proper, you know, see it. All right, let me explain. It's a business thing I go on down there. Right. They are selling weed, but they're not supposed to sell weed, and they're not cutting them in. Okay. So when you go down there and deal with them, see it? Right, it's not going to be cheap. Where do I find them? Cheap? Cheap, my youth. You don't worry about cheap. We're not worried about cheap, you know. The boy them dip on the corner, me say the boy them other things and uh, on my corner that and thing and me say every corner on my corner and thing I'm gonna write that to the boy them I go on and say, oh, they wanna give me my money. Oh, something for go on with that. All right, hear me now. What bad man is saying is, the boy them are some nervous, see? You go find him when you go up on the corner of Alpha and Salt Boat and, see? When you go down and say, you go see him and, and just deal with them, see? Right, you'll find out how them work, all right? All right. All right. Yeah, you want someone to split for you? No, Not thanks. You sure? I'm sure. All right. Respect. Mario, pass me some of that thing we have over there, sir. All right. Yeah. What like, King?
That's some good shit. You done clean me out. Yo, I'm all out of product. Dropping in to pick some up. Be ready. Yo, back off me, bitch. Fuck. Here we go. The pain train's gonna get you, bitch. You best not be coming in here. <laughs> Shit, he's coming in. You don't got him. You better play nice. Run <laughs> away from me. Tell Badman that I got rid of the competition. Righteous. The corner belong to I again. And nobody gonna fuck with I's corner no more. No things. One love, Nico. I'll cut you down. Come on, hard man. Get out. I'll cut I'm you open, you your fucking family, punk. motherfucker. All right, my man, Nico. How's it going? Okay. You and Batman got any more work you need help with? The funny thing is to mention that to my brother. Batman is right to press with what you're doing for I and I. He wants to know if you want to deliver some package around town to some various people and things in the city. Plenty of kind of that for you, you know. That sounds good. Wicked man, give me a call when you're ready for this first run. It'll be a lot of work, so call whenever, you know? One love, Bridget. We'll just get there. Damn these people. Hey, Roman. Brucey, have you met my cousin? Nico, this is Brucey. We met online. Oh, loveme.net? <laughs> no. In a dark corner, doing dark deeds. We're both players, my friend. Players. VIP. For real. Classy. But also sexy. Hmm. That's how I like my women. I work at it, so they should too, right? Yeah. yeah. What is he talking about? Bruce is a dreamer. Uh -huh. He understands my vision. <laughs> oh, so he's an idiot. Hey! <laughs> Screw <laughs> you! Listen, man. You should try going online. Uh, I know how to go on the line. I just haven't done it here. <laughs> of course. Technophobe. Ludite. We gotta get you online. It's a world of opportunities. Such as? Uh, all kinds of things. Yesterday, I was online, and I discovered a blog about women who don't like to shave. That's pretty important. Listen, I promised Brucey I'd go out with him. Can you go out and get it sorted? Uh, okay. Go to Twat and register on one of the PCs there. A pretty girl is expecting you. I'm bored of not being able to email your cousin, and the family keeps sending me news for you. Brucey, yeah, stop but... exercising. Okay. Let's put some bitches to the sword. VIP star, come on! He's a cool guy. No rovna do mlogu, da dobijem preko interneta. Misliš da sam lud? Hey there, my name's Nico. My cousin, he told me to come here. Roman, he called me about you. He's so funny. I set you up on that computer already. It's easy. Just follow the instructions on there, okay? I see you again, Roman's cousin. Come back anytime. The name is Nico. I'll see you around.
I have set up the email account. I am now online in Liberty City, Roman. Nice one, cousin. Did you meet the girl who works there? Nice pair of titties on her, no? Later on. I told Where's you she? where she is. I, I tell don't you, see why I want it's such you to a keep problem. an eye on her. Hey, I'm out making money here. all day. How many like times do I have to tell you? Keep an eye on I'm the fucking girl. Gospodin, gospodin. Už to. Každá lása světa, jeli Bogu tvojemu, tak žena privát na tebe já, tak i všem ostalým. You're a terrible man. You're a superstitious old crone. I'll see you in hell. Someday I'll crucify you. Nico Bellic. Yes. Good name. Good name. Where's Dimitri? He's busy. Uh, he said he had something to do. Something. Something. Let me tell you something. Me and this guy, we were in the army together. We were in prison together. We are like brothers. Now it's always something. Always something. Always something, yes. You want a drink? No, thank you. Well, I do. <laughs> you all right? What? Mr. Fauston? No! I'm fucking angry. I'm sorry to hear that. Let me ask you something. You know her? No. Good. Because if you did, I'd fucking kill you. Why? She's my daughter. Ungrateful bitch. I bring her here. I spoil her rotten. Raise her well. Look at this. Look. Look what I've given her! Yeah, yeah. She's uh, very lucky to have such a loving father. She is. She's an out of control bitch. Because of you, you pathetic mess. But I don't accept my daughter turning into a whore. Nico, she's at Firefly Island. Go there. If she's meeting up with that bike pimp boyfriend, get him. Find Dimitri for me. Okay. Have him call me. Sure. Go. All right. Am I property of the lost now? Ha, <laughs> if you were property, then all the brothers would get to share you. I want you all <laughs> to myself. Get away from Mr. Faustin's daughter. Fuck you! This ain't Russia, and we ain't communists. Tell my father I can see whoever I like. I'm gonna get the brothers, and we're gonna kick your fucking ass! the biker. I don't know how happy your daughter will be. I don't care about happiness. I care about discipline and loyalty. Thank you, Nico. Hello. Hello. Uh, is Mikael home? No, he's out. Okay. Uh, should I wait outside? No, no, come in. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Sit down. Thank you. You want some tea? Sure. Mikhail doesn't let me use this anymore. Says it makes us look like barbarians, uncivilized. Like immigrants. Oh, yeah? I know what you're thinking. It is a bit funny coming from him. <laughs> he did not used to be like this. When we were young, at home, 
He was beautiful. He was happy. He made me happy. But um, then something changed years ago. I never quite knew what it was. So many years I wondered what it was or what was wrong with me that I did not see it in him. Or I changed him. Life is complicated. I, I never thought I'd live like this. No? When the war came, I did bad things. And after the war, I thought nothing of doing bad things. I killed people, smuggled people, sold people. And you don't worry about your soul? <sighs> after you walk into a village and you see 50 children all sitting neatly in a row against the church wall, each with their throats cut and their hands chopped off, you realize that the creature that could do this doesn't have a soul. God is very complicated. You mustn't give up hope. Huh. Well, I don't know about that. Привет, Лена. Привет, Ма. What is that? Uh... I tell you one thing and you ignore me! Oh. You stupid oh. bitch! Oh. <laughs> Nicobelic baby. Good to see you. Hey, you too. <sighs> What did you want? Oh, I want you to teach people to listen to you me. You want him to get us the money? Fuck the money. Mikhail, please calm down. We're already in a lot of trouble. I don't know if I can smooth things over with Petrovic. Fuck him and fuck you. Who are you, my daddy? Get the fuck out of my house. Mikhail! Get out! So... What do you want? This prig who owes me money owns a garage in Chase Point. I want you to pick up a truck and take it to him. Call me when you get to the truck. It's in Shotlar on Montauk Avenue. Go. Get out of here. Mr. Faustin, I have the truck. Drive it over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo and Windmill and park up inside. Sure. What am I delivering? When it's inside, trigger the explosive. Should blow up good. Maybe you'll be careful on the drive over. It's pretty volatile stuff. Explosive? What the fuck? Calculating route. Turn right. It's Roman. We should go and get drunk together. Roman, I'm nervous enough about driving a truck full of explosives around the city for Mikhail Faust. He's out of control. Anyway, I'm sorry, but if I get drunk with you and then drive this thing, I'll definitely blow myself up. I'll catch you later, cousin. I've blown the place up, but don't pull that shit on me again. Maybe I don't want to drive around while sitting on an atom bomb. I thought you were the ice cold killer. I thought nothing scares you, man. Pussy. Hasn't anyone got any balls? You and Dimitri, you'd be nothing without me. Nothing. This is how you treat me. How you doing? Okay. That's nice. That's real nice. <laughs> Hey, I remember you. You're the comrade guy. The guy with all the jokes. Oh, yeah. 
How time flies when you're having fun. Right. And you're definitely having a lot of fun. No doubt. Listen, dude, you want to make a quick buck? <clears throat> Come with me. I got something to show you. We need a vehicle, amigo. Take me over to Masterson Street. So what are you showing me? Dude, this is meant to be the biggest rock in the world. These guys are fucking scientists. Things meant to be bigger than my fist, bigger than a melon. Fucking genius. Gonna last me weeks. Sure it will. Bidding war was fierce, dude, like being on the trading floor. Yeah! Ha! Wait here while I make the deal, dude. Let's hope this thing isn't too heavy for me to carry by myself. Sick! Yo, Mr. Bankerman. This is a real sound investment you're making. Good use of your assets and shit. Most deaf. Dude, take me over to Wappinger and Harden. Did you get it? Yeah, but this ain't no rock. It's a fucking boulder! This shit's gonna blast me to the moon! Oh, what's that film where that guy is on a mountain and he gets chased by that huge uh, boulder? I don't know. Oh, shit, dude, I should remember this. Anyway, that's how I'm gonna feel when this shit's chasing me around my head? This your place? Yeah, sorta. No, it doesn't matter. Here's some dollar. Appreciate the ride. Nico, my friend Rusty has a business proposition for us. He going to pay me to pump him full of steroids and tell him how great his abs are? No. He can take care of that all by himself. Rusty is a major motorhead. He's going to send you emails about all the cars he wants, and you're going to get them for him. What are you going to do? Come on! I made the introduction! I'm the manager, man! Go check your emails, Nico. Let's hang out soon, okay? Nico, it's Roman. I was talking to Brucey. That droid monkey? He is a good friend of mine. I'll be a good friend of yours, too, if you like. Anyway. He's got some work, and we are in need of money. Meet him at Brucey's Executive Autos on Mohanad in East Hook. If Mallory calls you, we are bowling together. See you later. Hey. Uh... Hello? I'm busy. I said hello. Ow! Motherfucker! Is your boss around? What'd you do that for? Is your boss around? Yeah, he's around. Brucey, some fucking Polak asshole for you. Pleasure to meet you, too. He's not a Polak. He's a gentleman. Still a fucking asshole. Sorry, Nicky, man. How's things? Okay. Sweet. <laughs> I got you, man. I'm big, but I'm also fast. Wake up, boy! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, can you show me that again? <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh! Enough, man! Enough! Oh! oh. <laughs> Fuck me, You'll be man. all right, huh? Oh, that's some Red Army shit. Serious. You gotta show me that one. I'm all about power. Come on, touch my bench, man. No, thank you. Rock hard. I bench 450. I'm a... Uh, no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, no shit. What are you doing here, man? Well, Roman said maybe you needed some help, and we need some money real bad. Shit, my bad. Yeah, of course. Love that guy. Love him. I mean, I am no chubby chaser, but if I was and a queer, that guy would be in trouble, you know I'll what I mean? let them know. <laughs> hey, I'm shitting with you. Brucey likes pussy. Remember that, all right? Okay. All right now, Nikki, listen up. 
I know you guys need money, bad. Yeah. This ain't a nice job. Not exactly mom and pop shit. No problem, as long as the pay is good. Sometimes people fuck other people over, okay? And the people that fuck other people need to get fucked with, especially people that go into hiding before they can get on the stand and put a lot of guys inside for a lot of time. What? I need you to whack some people, only they're in hiding. How do I find him? Man, you're cold! You didn't even blink! Love that! I fucking love that! You gotta steal a police car. Get on the computer, give me a call. They're easy to hack. Not really. All right, Brucey. I'll give you a call. <laughs> Ice cold, man! Ice cold! Woo! I'm here. I have a computer. You're a badass, man. I love it. Now, this cat's name's Lyle Revis. Type it into the computer, and you should get some known whereabouts and shit. I take them out myself, but when people see me coming, they fucking run, man. Know what I'm saying? Cats don't want to mess with someone packing 24-inch guns like mine, baby. Yeah! I'll track down this Revis. Cold, man. I'm feeling chills down the phone. Call me when it's done, bro. Lyle Revis, I got a message from Brucey for you. Brucey? I thought he was fucking joking. Shit! Not worry about Revis anymore. Lethal, man. A lot of people are gonna be very grateful that certain people who fuck with them can't say things to other people or fuck with anyone anymore. If you get me. I get the money you're paying. You're all about the cabbage. I mean, the lettuce, the lettuce. Ice cold, man. I love it. There'll be some more work when you need it. Someone here to see you. I'm working out. Six. Hey, Brucey. Nico. One second. Forty. Why didn't you tell me it was Nico? Why? Man, women. Man, women. Yeah. 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 Man, I'm ready for you, Nikki. I'm ready. I'm ready for fucking anything. Yeah! Wah! 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 Whoa! Oh, motherfucker. Are you all right? You seem a little tense. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm just juicing. Makes me a little pent up. Juicing? Yeah. Bull shark testosterone, amigo. Ordered online from Chile. Makes you feel really... male. Hey, be careful, man. I heard that stuff does funny things to your balls. Hey. Do I look like I got funny balls to you? <laughs> I haven't considered it. Uh, you sent me a message. What do you want? Want help? I'm losing the plot here. Pause. Nah, I'm shitting you, man. Now look, you did really good with that thing. A lot of people are very grateful. Now listen, that guy Lyle had a car worth stealing. Can you get it? He left it in an alleyway off of Yorktown Avenue in Steinway. If you pay like last time, no problem. Yeah, of course. Any risks? Nah. Easy as can be. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll just go take care of it then. Yeah! Bye. Yeah. 
No risks, Brucey? Maybe this juicing is fucking with your head. He trying to take Lyle's bribe. That ain't your car. Sorry, it's an ugly scene. Brucey asked me to bring this by. You're lucky it looks as good as it does. The only thing Brucey thinks is good looking is himself in the mirror. Thanks. The car is in your lockup. It was not so easy. People were waiting for me. Shit, man. If I'd known it'd be like that, I'd have gone to get it. People don't fuck with Brucey. I mean, you're cool, though. You made it, man. You got the mad red army driving skills. I'll sort you out with some big rims, spinning ones, crazy original styles, you know? We'll cruise, we'll hang. All right, all right? Thanks, homie. Thanks. Dimitri. Hey. Sit down. What's the problem? What do you think? Mikael, Mr. Fauston. Uh huh. You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? And there is no way out? Not now. Not after you killed Petrovic's son. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail, you have so much history. Sure. Well, I killed the boy. So they want me to? No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said, as long as you were the one to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> so that's the way it is? Yes, that's the way it is. He'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Nico Belik, but we cannot change the rules. See you later. Nico! Nico Bellic! You and Dimitri are taking over, no? This is not about taking over! You brought this on yourself! You pushed things too far! You would be dead if it wasn't for me. That is what Dimitri wanted when you killed Vlad. Dimitri... My brother. You see this? This statue says we are brothers for life. And now he betrays me. You didn't give him a choice. <laughs> you should have been calm. No one, not Dimitri, 
Not anyone tells me to come. You think Dimitri would have survived prison without me? He'd just be some prison queen had I not been there. Meet for some gin monkey! I am not dead yet. Some are still loyal to me. Guards! Eddie, come on! You fight like a war. Like Barry, you are nothing, Barry. You are weak. Give up! The strong survive, and the weak die! I got where I am for a reason. I want to have some Balkan shit. Take this away from me. I made you what you are, Nico. I showed mercy to you and to your country when Dimitri wanted you dead. The time for mercy is over. I must rule with the best of iron. It's closed. It's an ugly city, I guess. Faustin is dead. You did a good thing. A hard thing. But a good thing. Hopefully this will mean peace with Petrovic. Dimitri, you got my money? I have it! Meet me at the warehouse on Maganet in downtown Broker. Come along. I swear. Alright, my brother. Me and him rushing and seriously vexed with you. I only pissed off one. He's dead. I'm going to meet Dimitri to collect on the hit. Yo, Nico, you better watch your back, you know. We know you're wicked, but them white about some dark ass. I'm not afraid of him. Yeah, but I can't see. The heart can't leave at you. May I come with you? Where's the place? A warehouse on Mohanet. I know the one. You see around the back. Calculating route. Shot buys, huh? You don't know. My avid seeing star. Hey, Nico. Glad you could make it. Yes. You got the money? Sure. But I just wanted to say how grateful me and my bosses are for what you did. Good. Yes. And I just wanted to check something with you. Okay. You are... Nico Belik, correct? What is this? And you used to work the coast in the Mediterranean, smuggling people into Italy. I don't know what you're talking about. But you messed up and left a lot of bad debt. You left a good friend of mine out of pocket. Big time. Hello, Nico. Hello, Mr. Bulgarin. Ross, where is our money? I don't know. I didn't rob you. Really? We were busted a mile off the coast. I had to swim for my life. 
I don't know what happened. I nearly drowned. Huh. My heart is bleeding. I did my best. I didn't fuck up. Well, there you are. Ah! Ah! Snake in the grass. I didn't know that Mr. Bulgarin was here in Liberty City. If I could have killed them all then and there. Just chill, Nico, man. One at a time. One, one cocoa filled basket. See? We find out where Demetrius, then BAM! We take the rest of them out. Just keep your head down until then. Fucking Dimitri. Made me kill Faust, and then he sell me down the river. Just call Nico. The boy is a Jenna, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna make his own downfall. The higher the monkey climb, the more I'm exposing bat wall, you see it? I will bring Dimitri down myself. I promise you this. I'm gonna speak to Batman. You keep on in low, call your woman and get out of this place. Hey, thanks for your help, Jacob. One love, my brother. started calling the house and hanging up. You weren't answering your phone. What happened? We've got a big problem. Dimitri was not a man of his word. So we're dead? More or less. Everything was fine before yes. you. Yes, yes. Fine, and now this? Thank you. Thanks a lot! It's Vini. Nevidna. What's done is done. Yes. But there's a bigger problem. What? That guy I owed money to, Bulgarin. Yes. Guy in Europe who lives by the Adriatic. Yeah, yeah, he's here now. Uh, great. I'm sorry. I've ruined your life. No, don't be like that. We, we can find a way out of this. Bunch of idiot Russians. I will kill every one of them. No, that's exactly what you won't do. We don't have time for revenge. We can't afford it. What can we afford? Uh, we can lay low and start over. <sighs> Come on. Let's go back to the apartment. We can pick up our stuff and then get out of here. I'll call Mallory. She might have somewhere we can hide out.
listen, me and Nico are in a bit of trouble. Um, need to get out of broker a few days. Any of your cousins have a place we could use out in Bohem? Oh, you're an angel. Beautiful and kind. I love you. We'll see you there. <sighs> Maybe things are not so bad. This I did not expect. I was thinking about getting out of the cab business. Last night I had a dream. Really? Yes. You and I had a place of our own. A place where people come to eat and relax. Classy place. None of this fast food diner bullshit. We own a real restaurant. A tavern. There's a place of distinction, you know? I can't see myself settling down. Not now, but in the dream you've met the right woman. She's beautiful, pure like my Mallory. In the dream, Mallory and me are married and... Everything is perfect. This could be the start of that. A fresh beginning. All I know is we have to get as far from Dimitri and Bulgarin as we can. We will. But I have left something important at the apartment. Something I must show you, cousin. What the fuck?! Holy fuck, it's fucking burning! The whole place! I've got to go in! I've got to get something! Leave it, cousin. This place is gone. They burnt it! They fucking burnt it, Nico! Do you know how long it took me to get a place of my own? You got off the boat and I was here for you! I know you were. I got here and I had nothing! Nobody! I worked my way up from the fucking dirt! Jesus! It's on fire! Fuck! I've got nothing left! Not my home, not my business, nothing! They took it all! I'm sorry, Roman. I'm really sorry, but we have to go. We'll meet Mallory and Bohan. You still have her. And you! For all the good you've done me! Do you know how long it took me to get set up here? You don't, because it was easy for you. You had it all from day one. It took me months to get some cash together. Finally, I bought a cab, and then another. Then I got the depot. I slept under my desk at that place for over a year. Then I got the apartment. The apartment you thought was so shitty. Well, it doesn't matter. And now it's gone, along with everything else. I said I was sorry. You have a lot to apologize for. Since you got here, I've had my computer smashed. I've been beaten up. I was kidnapped and then shot in the stomach. My apartment got burned down and so did my business. Things have been going so great. Just great since you showed up. You remember that time when we went to the bar back home and found it raised to the ground? Just a pile of rubble. Everything smashed. Except for that one bottle of vodka. Yeah, we sat down and finished it off there and then. Wait, wait, I don't want to talk about back home. We're here in America now. And I should of be thinking about my life here. My life, which is ruined. Just drive, shut up and drive. <laughs> hey, beautiful. What's up? No, what do you mean? I haven't been crying since my allergies. <laughs> Nico's wearing this new cologne. <laughs> yeah, trying to impress Michelle or something. They're coming to your cousins, are you there? Great. See you in a bit, beautiful. My dream? It was just that. A dream. I can't have the tavern now. I have nothing to buy it with. I, I have nothing. I told you. You still have Mallory. But I wanted to really have her. I wanted to marry her. You can still do that. I had bought her a ring. That is what I wanted to show you. It was a beautiful ring. <laughs> now I have nothing. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Roman, pull yourself together. You've been here before. Positive mental attitude. Come on. <clears throat> At least they want me dead and not you. <sighs> I do not think it will be much difference to them, Nico. One dead Belik will give them a little bit of happiness while they wait for next. I do not care, though. We are in this situation. We must deal with it. Bring on Bohan. Okay. Here we are, the beginning of our new lives. Again. <sighs> uh, 
Not so bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we'll be impressing women with our wonderful hot tub, but uh, this looks okay. Yes, great. Come on, what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Where should I start? All right, I'll start with you. What's wrong with you? Fifteen minutes ago, you were cowering in fear because you didn't know what was going to happen. Now, you know everything is shit, and you're going to be killed, and you're all cheerful. I don't get it. I guess I'm an optimist. An idiot, not an optimist. I was bored of Broker anyway. I'm glad you turned up and made some Russian killers burn down my oh. home and business. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Nico. Thanks a bunch. Is that better? March! Thank God you're okay. Both of you. We're fucked. We're broke and on the run. No, I'm from up here, Nico. I know a bunch of people who might be able to help out. Why don't you come and meet me at the community center later on? I gotta go to work. Bye, Papi. And have a shower. You smell a little, um, mature. So, I guess we start again. Sure. I'm going out. This is the one, man. We're gonna get a really nice shot of them. It's gonna be beautiful. I mean, you okay. caught them these moves. I know. But we want to make sure that we see them. Okay. Okay. Well, we want to see you. Just too. film it, man. Okay. Well, just keep looking at me, but stand over there. Okay. You been here? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Very cool. Good. Okay. Yeah. Go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. You ready for this? Yes, I am. Turn this way, please. Turn this way. Five. Yeah. Six. Looking at me. Seven. Eight. Eight. Good. 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 Right over here. Let me see you work. This way. Yes. Good. Okay. Good. Perfect. Cool. 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 So how do I look, man? You look good. Do I look gay? No, not at all. It's a, it's a very manly kind of dance. Okay. So here we go then. Yeah. See, it's the streets, man. But people gotta understand the struggles. For real. You know what I'm saying? They gotta understand the struggles. Yeah. Oh, hey, Nico. <laughs> this is my boyfriend's cousin, the guy I was telling you about, Nico. How's my Roman doing anyway? For a guy who just lost his home and his business, who now has a price on his head, pretty good. <laughs> I love his optimism. So, Nico. This is Manny. We grew up together. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Streets, man. All right. This is all the right. guy I told you about who beat up all those thugs and broke up. Yeah, great. Listen, Melody, would you uh, give us a little space, please? All right, Thanks. all right. Okay, yeah, great. So, uh, so you know, streets take no prisoners, right? But you know, kids need hope. You know what I'm saying? Not really. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you gotta break some omelets to make some eggs, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and... Uh... Yeah, well, you know, we gotta clean up some eggs, brother. We're gonna clean them up, you know? Yeah, here, right here, right here. Turn around, man, right here. Here, Manny Escuela is rapping with a street accomplice about cleaning up the streets yeah. of Moab. Yeah, turn that off. These wait, wait, criminals wait are trying to reform their neighborhood. Wait. Hey, hey, please, hey, hold on a second. Hey, 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 Manny! I'm sorry. Uh, okay, everyone, that'll be all for today. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Thank you very much. That'll be all for today. Thanks a lot. What are you doing? What are you saying? What? We gotta get some of these dealers off the streets, man, you know? And I want them to know it was me, man. Fine, just uh. don't point the camera at me when you're doing it. Well, that's my testimony, man. Look, brother, would you help, please? Look, I got money. I got, I got money. In which case, you've got to help. Good, all right. Hey, how's the camera? It's not good. What do you mean it's no good? Can, Just can you don't take this? even... Okay. All right, okay, well, listen, look. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get all these dealers up the streets, and we're gonna kick their ass, and they're gonna know it was me. Last I heard, these dealers was up on Grand Boulevard. Let's go take a look, man. Watch yourself. Excuse me. So, you and Mallory is tight, huh? She and your cousin is together now. I love that girl, man. I love her, man. Your cousin better not be messing with her head. He's gonna propose, right? He's gonna make an honest woman of her, right? I think that's as much of a decision of Mallory's as it is Roman's. I don't know if he's grown up enough to make a good husband. What's it to you, anyway? I didn't know you and Mallory was that close. Shit, man. Man, he's close to everyone who grew up in the streets of South Bohem, man. They're my people, all right? Sure. The dealer and his drug wagon are up there. 
Pull up behind and we wait. There he be. We got to follow him to them other leeches, man. They be sucking the damn life out of these streets. You know, these streets is mine, man. I can feel them flowing through my veins. You sound like you got something else in your veins. Man, I ain't touched that shit in years. Who you been talking to, man? I'm clean, man. Serene. Fucking serene. Oh, I'm sorry. You ever thought about doing some TV? You might be able to get a series of the back of mine, you know? Nico, Bellic, Street Justice, bro. Not really my scene. Just wait till you see your face on the screen, man. Maybe you change your mind then. Yeah, I always wanted to be a well-known idiot. People say to me, Manny, why you do this? Why you want to clean up the streets so bad? What's your passion? Do you tell them to get famous? It's for the love, man. They know me because I help people, man. I'm all love, kid, for these streets. Looks like he's about to stop, yo. You best pull up behind him, man. Follow him into that warehouse and get rid of the dealers. I thought you were going to clean up the streets. Hey, the message is what's important, man. It don't matter who gives it. I, for one, ain't in this shit for the ego trip. You taking my money, aren't you? Be my voice. I'm gonna go back and get Jay. Some street warrior stands yeah. outside the site of another gangland massacre. That's right. Oh, cut. What? Okay. What? Oh, oh, oh. could you walk out of there just one more time? We need to get the shot just right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. I can put my foot through your face if you like. I don't mind doing that again oh, and again till oh, I get it right. Easy, easy, Nico. Hey, did it look good? Huh? Was it a good mixture of that sadness and resolve? You looked great. Great. Yeah, let's do okay, it. Okay, from the top? Yeah, right here. Wait, where are you going? Eh. More senseless death than the police aren't even here yet. Help has only one name on the streets of South Bowen. Manny Escuela. That's right. Follow me. We'll be prepared. Street life ain't pretty. Hey, bro. Either I get to burger shot or someone is getting shot. We did not find your body with the others in the warehouse. Mr. Bulgarin and I were very disappointed. I was loyal to you, Dimitri. Why did you turn on me? You think I could survive in a cesspit of a city like this by aligning myself with a bottom feeder like you? You who has so many enemies! You robbed Bulgarin, you killed Mikhail! You know no more of loyalty than I do! You know why I killed Faustin? It was not my choice. I will find you, Nico. I have burnt you and your cousin out of Hove Beach. I will smoke you out of any other hiding place you have in this city. See you soon, Nico. Nicky, we gotta talk serious. All right, man. If you want my advice, the only way you're going to get your balls back to normal is if you stop juicing or you get implants. How many times? I have to tell you, homie, my balls are golden, okay? I want to talk to you about Roman. He's got a problem. He's gambling like an animal. Online, in clubs, sure, everywhere. Sure. You need to control your cousin, bro. Roman's a grown-up. He can look after himself, Brucey. He's getting involved with some serious cats, homie. Even people I might think twice about dealing with. And I'm one dangerous motherfucker, okay? 
Put him in Gambler's Anonymous or something. I'm starting to think he's more interested in cards than chasing pussy. And that ain't cool, you think? Sure, Brucey. Thanks for the heads up. Hey, man. Hey, guys. Taxi! Hey! Hit me! What? Hit me! Come on! Oh! Other Rico, you want to go on a date? Uh... Come on! What's wrong with you? Okay, who is she? That's the thing. It's a guy. Fuck you. No, dude! Listen! The cousin of that guy you killed, Lyle Rivas, owes me a lot of money. And the dick won't pay. Instead, he said he's gonna have me kill that bitch. Hiya! Oh, I suck. Brucey, you got to chill. For real. Yeah. Now listen, NB, this guy isn't hiding, but he's a serious... He's a serious cockhound! Oh, so you think of me? No, but the guy knows me, and I don't think anyone would date that fat slob. So, I'm just doing your profile. All right, let me see. I am a vulnerable guy who needs to be held by big, strong arms? <laughs> yeah. You got to be kidding me! <laughs> I knew we should have made him a giver, not a taker, Brucey. Oh, shut up! <laughs> now listen, Nikki. I need you. And I will pay heavily for this. Okay. And Roman, cousin, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki! <laughs> Shit. All right, man. I'm at the Internet Cafe. What now? The website is Love Meat. <laughs> Go to it, bro. The guy you want to date with is using French Tom as his screen name. You heard Animal Man. Eat him alive, okay? Roman's cousin, it's good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you. It's Nico, by the way. Come back soon, Nico. Okay, guys, I just want to get one more uh, shot, okay. please. This is going to look great right over okay. here. Well, Officer, well, please, I need you here. this way. Thank you. Tight elbow, oh. Manny. I need you guys okay. tight. Uh -huh. It's going to be great. Okay, thank you. A little closer. Uh, a little closer. Thank you so right. much. Cool. <laughs> wonderful, Thanks. wonderful. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, we are going to be... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. All I can say is I hope you'll continue to make the community a better place. Hey, man, you know, for a cop, you ain't so bad, man. You know, give it up. The streets, man. <laughs> Word. Give oh, it up. Okay. <laughs> right. Hey, Officer McCree, yeah. this is Nico right here. This is okay. my man Nico. Oh, good to meet you. Uh, I hear you're helping this guy with his vital work for our city. Oh, no. I'm uh, just a tourist. Uh, look, Manny, I gotta go. All right. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, Officer. Thanks. Yeah, you know, it was a real big thing for me, you know what I'm saying? A real street cat to start working with the gatekeepers of the community to make things better. I mean, where I'm from, out here, man, police, it's a dirty word, man. Manny, you know? I got things to do. You, off. Yo, man, I was just getting my flow on, man. I ain't right for years. I was one of them cats who invented that shit, man. It went commercial. Yeah, like charity work. Shit, man, I'm the voice of the streets, man. Yo, if I'm gonna make some money, that's the way shit's gonna be. All right, I'm just saying. See, whatever, man, fucking... Punk. Huh. Yo, listen, homeboy, I, I need you to do me a favor, man. Listen, man, I need you to help me out, man. I need you to get some bitches taken out, moved on, whatever. Because, yo, I promised Mr. McCready I was going to get this place cleaned up, and I will. Okay, how many? A bunch, man, a bunch. They're hanging out and making bad shit happen all over South Bohan, man. They're over on Windmill Street right now. All right. What did they do? Man, they disrespected the codes of the streets, man. The streets, man, they owe you, man. They owe you big time. As long as they pay. Over here, man. I'm on you. Yo, that's what I'm saying, man. Streets, we got codes, man. You know what I'm saying? We live by these codes. You know what I mean?
I got rid of your street problem. Now help me out with my financial one. Yeah, it's all business with you, kid, but that's okay. Money's what makes these streets sing, man. I'll call you when I get more work. Stay safe. Stay real. Come on, this is ridiculous! Michelle, it's Nico. You want to meet up? I haven't heard from you in a really long time. I miss you. You want to get together? Sure, pick me up in an hour. Great, I'll see you in an hour. Hey, Nico. You tired of Manny yet? I was tired of him as soon as I saw him. <laughs> I got someone else who might have some work for you. Elisabetta Torres. She's got an apartment on San Quentin in Portside. Meet me there. Hey, Nico. Let's go. How are you settling in? Slowly. Your country is strange. And your city makes people crazy. How's Roman? Okay. He likes to gamble, though, doesn't he? I don't know about that. Mallory said he was in debt to some criminals. Do you know about that? No. That would really scare me. Organized crime, I mean. Me too. Do you think they'll try to involve Roman? I don't think Roman would make much of a criminal. I guess not. Interesting weather, isn't it? Very. Places like this. That was naughty. I can't believe we ate all that crap. Can I come up for a nice hot coffee? I'd invite you in for some coffee, but it'd cost at least, say, 20 million. No problem. I understand. I respect you. How about the kiss? Why not? Are you my date? Thank God. You never know who's going to turn up when you've met someone online. Yeah, all sorts of sickos can use the internet. You have to be careful. I'm Nico. So, Nico, what do you do? I do a lot of things. What's your job? 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 Everyone's talking about this job guy. I haven't met him and I don't want to. Mr. Job sounds like an asshole. Really? What type of man do you want to meet? One with a lot of money. Do you know Gay Tony? Runs Hercules Amazing at Nine? I'll tell you a secret. He pretends to have the dollars, but he is broke as hell. The loser. If there is one thing that I hate more than fat people and cripples, it is poor guys. Is that why you borrow money that you can't pay back? What are you talking about? How the fuck do you know who I pay and don't pay back? Fuck you, bitch. You ain't Miss Thang. You can't tell me shit about who I am. I'm just here to do a job. People in this world need to work. And my work is getting rid of you. I wouldn't fuck a scummy immigrant like you anyway. Not so good. I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. I don't think you'll be seeing anyone. Mickey, you're an animal. Anyway, your profile's still up there, bro. There's all sorts of crazy pictures on that site you can get into. Real freaks, you know? I'd be getting involved with some of that internet name shit, but uh, I only date models, you know? Or VIPs who could be models. Not many of them online, yeah? Catch you later, big guy. Later. Comrades! 
Excuse me? Didn't I see you at Comrades, pal? Where? That bar. Mickey's place. I'm sure you was one of those cubby bastards used to come in there. I remember you. Yes, you were the drunk guy who fell over. <laughs> That's about right. I was a mess. A mess. But I'm all sorted out now. I'm over that shit. Good for you. Yeah. Yes, sorry. I'm a new man. Not dependent on anything. No more drink. No drugs. Even gave up hookers. Everything. Good. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> it's good to share. Cool. <laughs> I'm a positive person now. Positive. I threw it problems. Now they are just opportunities. Well, good luck with your opportunities. I've got to go. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I know this is a lot to ask, but I was wondering. I owe a guy some money from my drinking days. And he's kind of angry. I don't suppose you could come along and uh, keep him cool. I'm going to pay him back. Please? Okay. Uh -huh. You'd be amazed by the things I've been doing since I cleaned up. I'm waking up before dawn, for Christ's sake. Obviously, the DTs hit me pretty hard when I first got sober. I bet they did. Shit, I couldn't hold a glass of water without spilling it all over myself. And you should have seen the can after I was done with. Oh, like the fucking sprinkler had gone off. Dry now, though. Dry as a bone. This is where they should be. Can you clear things up with him? Don't worry. I'll make sure everything's cool. Man, we're here to pay back the money my friend here owed you. He doesn't want no trouble. You think money's gonna do it? Do you, Mel? Can't you remember coming over to my place, throwing the TV out the window, pissing all over my couch? Slumber would kick me out on the street. You got a lot of debt to pay, Mel. I've been waiting to see this truck get over. I don't think those guys are going to be calling that dead in. Thanks, man. Can you take me back to where we were before? Oh, boy. That shook me up, man. The stress was too much. How am I going to cope out here? Who knows what I did when I was at the sauce? You'll be okay. Just chill out. Yeah, you're right. Just chill out. Maybe. Just... One drink would calm my nerves. That's not what I meant, friend. That stuff is what got you here in the first place. Sure, sure. Yeah. Serenity. Be smart, friend. Positive! That's me! Here's the role I was gonna give that lunch shark. Uh, maybe I'll keep a ten spot for myself, though. Who knows what I'll need? So long. Be serene. Hey, Brucey, what's up? Hey, hey, Nico B. Come here, show me the love man oh, hug time. Enough, all right. Whoa, whoa, what are we about here, you and me? I don't know. What are we about, boy? Oh, I'm an immigrant and a hired gun, and you're a steroid junkie, but we get along. No, not that stuff. That's superficial. I'm talking about the real shit. What? We're winners, man. Fucking winners. That's how we roll, brother. Bling, check. Bodies, check. <laughs> Paper, check. That's how we roll, bitches. The boss. Are you all right? Too much bullshark testosterone up the ass? Uh, fuck you. Fuck you, man. Hey, check this out. Lenny! Lenny! Is the bitch ready? Well, she's very shiny. Look at her and weep tears of pure gold. Motherfuckers. Come on now. Let's go show some people 
Just how we roll. Yeah. All right. Come on, get in. Come on, start you. Shit. Pure gold, eh, big man? <laughs> Lenny, you're a fucking asshole. What is this? What is this? You two to yourself. Yeah. Well, what should I do? I mean, I need a flashy car. People are gonna think I'm a no-nut bullshitter if I fail to deliver here. How about Steve's car? Yes. I'll call him on the way. Nico, can you drive us to Freetown Avenue and Willis? Yeah. Come on. Let's roll, bitches! Woo! Shit, Nico! Your car skills and my body, people are gonna be petrified of us! the cap on. <laughs> Nico, man, excuse me, but I gotta make this call to tell this guy we're borrowing his car. Stevie boy, house tricks. No, man, you, you can spot me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this a bitch. For sure. Would you please? All right, now, listen, man. All right, listen, me, me and my ice cold friend Nico gotta borrow your car. No, 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 the other one. Well, of course it'll be cool. What? It's outside? Great. Love you, man. He's fine with us taking it? We won't have an incident like the last time I got the car for you? No way, man. That, that was a one-time only, baby. Me and Stevie are tight. Okay, tighter than that. Tighter than... Shit, I was gonna say my hands, but I think you know that nothing's tighter than this shit. Yeah, wanna feel? Mm, thanks, but uh, I got my hands full. God, this is exactly the type of shit you and me should be doing. Cruising for bitches, destroying the town. You and me could be doing some serious damage, like like a nuclear bomb up in this shit. But, but, but a sexy bomb, you know? A bomb that only affects girls with D-cups, tight asses, blonde hair, no cellulite, and tan! Yeah! Right. Uh, I don't know if I get your meaning, but uh, we can hang out sometime. Pump today. Here we be. You ready to feel the cheese? Whoa! Your skin looks really rough, man. You had some help? A little, a little botulism special there? I like that, homie. You want a shot when we get back? I'm fine. you, man. Number one. Good driving. How do I look? Pretty good, right? Yeah, pretty good. Take me back to my apartment, man. I'm feeling jacked. I want to hit the weights. Now. You know what, Nico? You can keep this car. You earned it. And I can't have my boy rolling in anything but serious, genetically different winter style, you know? I thought it belonged to Steve. Fuck Steve. You are the man, man. You are number one. You won this shit anyway. I'll give Steve the bitch. The bitch don't work too good. Don't worry about that. Brucey has the magic fingers. They only touch prime engines, hot models, no cellulite. Okay, VIP only. Read my lips. I'm a winner. And when they touch, 
Shit! They work some serious magic, bro! What is it that you do, Brucey? Are you a mechanic? I don't get it. I'm a businessman! An entrepreneur! I make shit happen! Sure, but you seem kind of legit. Why you need guys killed? Of course I'm legit! Have you seen my delts? That shit is as legitimate as it gets! What about these guys you need killed? Fuck, Nicky! You know Brucey! He's number one! It's... Lonely at the top. Sometimes to choose, it just takes control. Okay, red mist descends, and I need shit to happen to people. Are you talking about fucking roid rage? Is that why I killed those men? Oh, they were bad cats, Nikki. Maybe the juice meant I wasn't as uh, patient as I should have been. But you know, as a businessman, I can't let people get away with shit. I need to be firm. Look, Brucey, I like you, and I think we should hang out, but. I don't want to work with you no more. I can't go around fucking people up because you've overdone it on the juice. Oh, all right, Nicky, man. I'm feeling you, okay? You don't want to let our business thing get in the way of our personal relationship. That's all good, man. Cool. Don't make me late to school. Nicky, I feel like we really bonded back there. I'm close to you, man. You let me inside. Y y you let your armor down, you know? We had a moment, man. Call me, and we'll hang. Sure we did. So I said, if that's the way you want it, amigo, then that's what you're gonna get. And that's your humor. You fucking punk. Oh, hey, como hey, está? How's it going? <laughs> hey, wait, espera. Jorge, he's with me. Liz, this is Nico, Roman's cousin. And Nico, this is Elisabetta. Hey. She's an old friend. <laughs> She'll get you some work. Okay, thank you, Ma. <laughs> so, tough guy, you know about this business? I know about protection. What do you need? I need someone no one knows to oversee a deal I'm not sure about. Easy. I think it'll be a bit more taxing than hanging with Manny on the streets. <laughs> Not so. For one, I won't have to listen to him talk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> True! <laughs> hey, Nico, this is Patrick. Paki McCreary. All right. Hey. So, Paki is shopping. But I've never trusted the people he's buying off, and I can't, in good consciousness, help him unless he's got some extra insurance. You. And that's why you're the best, darling? Ah, uh, maybe. All right, tough guy, let's do this. Sure. See you later, Nico. Goodbye. And will you call Michelle again? She really likes you. Yeah, yeah. When I swear to so, he seems OK. Oh, no, he's totally cool. Yeah, he's like family. Where are we going? I got this meeting over on Joylet Street. There's a rifle up on the roof of the place next door. You need to go up there and make sure nothing goes wrong. You'll see me and my boys show up in a bit. You're my guardian angel. You don't trust these guys you're doing the deal with. How come you trust me? You got a good look about you. And I'm lucky with my gut feelings. Those dealers double-crossed your boy, but I managed to keep him alive. Monomy was right about you. You are good. I have some more work for you. I'm sure Packy is pleased as well, eh? Nico, how are you finding things? Have you got enough to do here in Liberty City? Yeah, I think I've got enough on my plate at the moment, Roman. Well, if you need some downtime, 
go hang out at the apartment and watch some American TV. It is much better than the shit we got back in the old country. Most of the shit on TV in the old country was from America. Don't you remember, Roman? Then watch the TV here and get nostalgic. I, I don't know. Later on. No me digas. Michelle, it's Nico. Listen, do you want to go out? You want to get together? Sure, pick me up in an hour. Great, I'm on my way. Come on, man, move it. I got hot sex waiting on a plate. Nada, I'm not your, I'm your. I want to drop my hey, baby. Agua, my brethren. Been chilling with Elizabeth Torres. She pays good, man. You know her? Yeah, mama, you want Nico. Should I not be doing business with her? No, man. She's a real good business woman in the So don't get on the wrong side. See? Later on, me call you. Hey, Nico. Let's go. You're wearing my favorite outfit. So... Thanks for taking me out again. No problem. Uh, I've never dated a foreign guy before. A lot from another planet, but none from another country. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about Nico Bellic. There is not much to tell. I just moved here. I know. And you live with your cousin. What do you guys do? I don't have regular work yet. So, what did you do in Europe? I work in tourism. In travel industry. Did you fight in the war? Sure. How was that? How do you think it was? Seeing your friends die, seeing men have their legs blown off, it was... it was... It ruined me. I'm so sorry. Me too. But maybe here, things will be different. Places like this. to invite me in? Sure. Why not? Great. We'll have fun. Please, more! Tell me more! Oh, that's great! Speak up a little! Oh, that's... Uh... Nice girl, but uh, there's something strange about her. Hey, Nico. Mallory tells me you are working with Elizabeth Torres now. Do you two know each other? Elizabeth seems to have a lot of friends. That's because she's a dealer, Nico. Junkies like the people who supply them with drugs. You aren't getting involved in that world, are you? I am trying to avoid it, Michelle. Or maybe I do a few errands for Elizabeth. Nothing serious, though. I am no dealer. If you need help with anything, Nico, just speak to me. If you want to get something off your chest, I'm a good listener, you know? I know, Michelle. I really appreciate your concern, but uh, I can look after myself. I'm a big boy, and I must make my own decisions. See you soon. Yeah, Nico. See you soon. Ready to bounce? 
Come on then. I am the best. Yeah. I am number one. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Does Elizabeth get you to do stuff like this often? Elizabeth don't get me to do shit. I just like to keep an eye on things. There ain't a deal in this town I don't know about. I own this city, for real. Yeah? Well, how come we haven't met before? <laughs> You obviously ain't been big time. I started small like you, player. Slanging rocks on the corner, sticking cats up, all type of shit. Them was the old days. Now it's all about diversification. A heroin deal is your way of diversifying? Money talks. Money say jump. Cats say how high. This is a cash deal. I got other shit going down as well. What type of shit you got going on? I'm always looking for work. If it pays, that is. I pay like a Songbird sax bonus, bitch. It's Christmas every day when you rolling with this nigga. So you got to work? Not yet. I gotta set shit up. But I'll need a cat like you real soon. Give me your number. Tell me about that biker. The one with the smack. Johnny. I ain't working with that cat, but I heard about him. He's doing all type of crazy shit. Blowing stuff up. Them boys, the lost, they in some heavy type of gang war is what I heard. Crazy white boy shit. Think only one group can grow beards and ride bikes in this town. It's a big town. <laughs> Not big enough for some people. What that other gang called? Uh, Death Angels or some shit? Anyways, be careful of this cat. Don't want to even look at him the wrong way. Crazy motherfucker. You scared of him? Yeah, I ain't scared of nobody. All them bikers is racist as shit is all. The crib's on the third floor. some Asian dude called Charlie. Like in Vietnam. <laughs> Just like the movies, money. Hey, you ready? Sure, let's do this. Nothing like selling some dope to let you know you're alive. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. All right, come on. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Not much. Let's do this. You got the heron, right? Right? Come on, let's do this quickly. But you got the heroin, correct? You're carrying it, correct? I mean, it's a simple question. What's wrong with you? You're being fucking weird. <laughs> Not weird, man. I just want to know if you're carrying the stuff, right? You ain't right, friend. No, Come no, on, no, let's no. get out of here. LCPD! Freeze, motherfucker! I said freeze! Yo, they're gonna expect us to go out front with that biker dude. You're gonna hit up the roof. You clear out the floor above first, money. These ones won't be causing no trouble. We move! Cock it and bleep! So long! So long. instead of being caught by them feds. You take a bid on a heroin beef, you ain't seeing life for a long time. You rotting up in that shit. Yeah? A future in a max security pen ain't no future at all. You forget about them cats who do that sort of time. And if your friends on the inside? My man's Dwayne Forge is inside on a crack beef. He showed me some shit back in the day, but shit. When he gets out, if he ever does, won't be the same world. What's different since this guy's been doing his bit? Shit change. There'll be more to it than a crack tip nowadays. There'll be the smack tip, the rap game, X, chronic, meth, shit. I'm looking into expanding my horizon. Yeah? For sure. Reach for the stars and all that shit. Now, I don't see why a young kid from the hood can't make something out of himself. Street cats like me just get labeled as pimps and pushers and stick-up artists. But you are a drug pusher. That's just what I'm doing to get out of the ghetto. I don't see it as dealing drugs. Drugs is just one arm of my business. I'm buying and selling that shit like any commodity on the trading floor. Only this commodity is illegal. Yeah, but Playboy is going legitimate. 
Now, I want to be one of them developer cats. Build me some skyscrapers, see my name in big gold letters. Yeah, I thought you would want to build schools or something. Help young black men get out of the ghetto. Shit, that'll come. Gotta get me successful first. Here we be, money. I'll hit you up when I need your ass. Elizabeth, things didn't go so good. The contact was... You think? I know. Fuck you. Send it everywhere. I feel like they want me back. <laughs> Wait till what happens. I got some more deals to make. This is great news, Nico. I got the insurance money for the cab people burning down. This stupid bastard thought there was an electrical fire, not arson. Maybe it was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. I put the money into another cab depot. Family Enterprises is up and running again. Next up, looking on the bar pack. I'll give you shares and be let her run. Many Escuela combines a powerful Powerf urban masculinity with a lighter, lighter side. side. Here, shortly after cleaning up five blocks, he teaches, teaches a group of oh. Yo, man, you made me look gay, man. I warned you, bro. What? No, you don't look gay. You look a little metrosexual or something. Metro's good. It's good. Man, who the hell ever heard of a metrosexual ex-gangsta, hey. man? I'm a lord, man, not a lady. This show is gonna make me famous. You are gonna be famous. Shit. Yo, Nico, man, what am I supposed to do here? I mean, I got this film genius here making me look like a transsexual or something on TV, and now some punks been talking all kinds of shit, too. What punks? Man, bitches I used to roll with, guys caught up in the game, punks in too deep, man. Yo, I tried, man. I tried to be a good guy. I said I'm reformed, man, but I'm pure ghetto, man. And this show is garbage. Oh, come on. We don't have to kill a shot, what? man. Jeez. We need to go bust somebody, man. Uh... Do what you want, as long as it doesn't involve me. Hey, yo, man, we're brethren, right? Give it up, man. All right, man, yo, listen, can you shut these punks up for me, please? Where are they? They're gonna be coming in on the L train, man, from Algonquin to Dukes, man. Hey, I owe you, man. I owe you big time. Okay. You see that, man? You see that, man? Yo, that is streets right there, man. Not none of this shit. Got me dancing in skirts with people in the neighborhood, man. Well, what the fuck is that, man? You don't need to worry about people talking garbage no more. Yeah, just your ghetto, man. Just like me, kid. I'm gonna thank you and all my acceptance speeches, man, for real. I forgot to set me in a pussy hole. Yeah, fuck you, fucking reggae idiot bitch! Rondo, you want blood clot because I didn't even bumble clot right Stop here. Stop speaking that gibberish! Oh, fuck bumble clot pussy hole, girl. You know this? Shot in a bumble clot. Hey, yo, hey, don't hey, touch what's this. wrong? What's wrong? Jacob here. You know Jacob? Yes. Jacob tells me it wasn't him, but some people he introduced me to had ripped me off big time and put the heat on me. I know they all did. All right, all right, but all right. So I know my fault to the rasta. And my blood well, clap hey. hey. You're coming on my face. All right. You better hope Nico can make this right for you then. Oh, what? Oh, we got a big fucking problem, Rasta. Nico, go do this first job for him. Yeah, I got it. Watch me, Anna. See you later. Watch me now.
This is scale fish, imported straight from Bolivia, manito. Polvo puro, the best, man. You're in America now. The best everything gets made here. If the best stuff got made in Mexico or Colombia or wherever, why do you all run across the border? Tell me that. All I gotta do is pull the trigger. Rush, You're gonna boys. die, motherfucker! Oh, get out. I've got this stuff. You know where the heat is coming from? I think I'm getting closer now. But there's one more cat me for speak to. Shit! Speaking of fucking cops, I think I have company. I gotta go. I lost the heat. Where are you? Cheers, Pine. I'm with some buckers in Noai. Get here now, Nico. Let's be some straight shit. Jacob, what are you talking about? You know, I think you're smoking too much. Yo, me think me know the heat I come from in a king. Hey, Nico. Hey, Jacob. What are you doing here? This is no place for you, Michelle. As it happens, it is. You see... Nico, I have been working for the government. I'm afraid it's my job to watch you. And now I have to ask you for the coke. This is a joke, right? Please, please don't make this harder for me than it already is. Look, they're about to take down Elisabetta. I don't fucking believe this. Listen, I'm sorry it had to be this way, Nico. I'm really sorry. Hey, you know, you could have gone down too, if you weren't so useful. You fucking bitch. Nico. Voila. You mean to say you're going to let us off just like that? Not now, Guan? Well, my employers need the help of a guy like Nico. The office is in Algonquin. I'll call you. You know, as and when we need you. The coke, please. Shocking, we have to tell Elizabeth that she now get our cocky in now. Hey, man, this is getting out of control. The police are all over me. I can feel them. So? 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 So I'm gonna go to prison for a long time. <laughs> What man is oh. all about, man. Many, 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 many. Now, word out, bitch. You better stop slinging that shit on my streets, yo. We don't want it anymore. Hey, OJ, you catching this? Rolling, what rolling. Is this, Manny, for fuck's the sake. streets have spoken. Now leave my people alone. Are you Nico? What are you doing here? Oh. Oh, I am not in the mood for this right now. Well, he said he was going to bust the dealer. Can you help me clean this mess up? 
There's a doctor in Broca who can help. Come on. Let's put him in my car. Oh. Jacob, I'm sorry. I'm already hanging out with two friends. I've kind of got my hands full looking after them. Uh, we should do something soon, though. I've got some bodies in here. I've heard you'll take care of them. Uh, natural causes? Of course. It seems like a bullet in the head is as natural as it gets in this town. They weren't sick, were they? No. Had a few problems with sick bodies. No one wants a liver if it's riddled with tumors, huh? Know what I mean? No. Shit. Looks like the bullet went right through this one's eye. And the price of eyes is through the roof at the moment. <sighs> Fine. Can I leave you with these or what? Sure. I'll have these organs out on the street in no time. They're yeah, gonna help a lot of folks. <laughs> He'd been trying to help the streets his whole life. Maybe he'll actually be doing it now. The doctor has that stuff. to us all along, and now I'm paying for it. Nesta, there was always something funky about her. I'm real sorry. Were you followed? Hey, strange seeing you here, Officer McCreary. I told you to come here, fucking maggot. You did? Why? I know about you. Know what? I know enough, boy. Oh, what do you know, boy? I know you killed Mikhail Faustin. I know a group of Russians want you dead. I know you ain't no saint, boy. I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. <laughs> you think this is a town that can keep a secret? I really don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. You know that a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. That people ain't perfect, that life is a mess. Sure, everybody knows that. So, you look out for me, and I don't look out for you. <laughs> know what I mean? I think so. So there's a guy trying to blackmail me. Who? I don't know. Thinks he's getting paid, though. The guy's smart. He arranged to do the exchange by the Humboldt River off Silicon Street. Said to call him from the viewpoint there. Okay. Listen, I did what I did. <laughs> I made a mistake. That don't make me the devil. Now, obviously, I can't go, because then he gets a picture of me giving him money, and I'm admitting guilt. I ain't guilty of nothing, other than being a man. To be honest, I don't really care one way or another. Well, I'm a good man. No doubt. Now, call me when you get to the spot. I'm in the park. Now what? All right. This guy told me to bring the money there and call him. That means he's somewhere close and he's got a Who phone. To eat my I'm gonna text you his number. You've got to call him and keep a lookout for someone answering a phone. He won't be far.
friend. I'm calling about your exchange with McCreary. Yeah? You better have my paper. I ain't fucking around. I'm sure he's got your money. Have you got the stuff he wants? Yeah, I got it. We're gonna make this shit happen. I don't mess around, you know. Push me, and this shit is all over Weasel News. I got them on speed dial. Really? Yeah, and there's a lawyer called Tom Goldberg who's real interested. He's hungry for McCreary's blood and shit. Yeah. Good thing Francis is paying, then. Call me when this exchange is going down. I don't like all the talking. Yeah. Here. He's dead. Great. I can get rid of these now. I feel like a new man. Not many people get a second chance like this. It's my redemption. Your sins are absolved, I guess. Nico, it's Patrick McCreary. You and me did some work for Elizabeth Torres together? You mean I saved your ass? Well, if I'd have known it was such a big deal to you, I would have asked you to let them kill me. Anyway, if you're in need of extra funds, I'm in need of a good man. Come over to Mama's on Savannah Avenue in Meadows Park. I'm always in need of money. See you there. Roman, my cousin. I'd really like a cab if you could send one to me. You're my cousin, Nico. How can I refuse? There is a cab on its way. Okay. Roman tell me I have to pick you up because you is cousin or something. I want to go to Savannah Avenue. Bis Boss! So, you, uh... You've been working for Roman long? Ever since I got to this city, my friend. Roman's been screwing me ever since I got here. <laughs> yes. Hey, man, don't talk shit about Roman. If you don't pay fairly, go work for someone else. Yeah, whatever. I don't do this crap for the money anyway. I just here for the pussy, man. Yeah? Girls dig this car, do they? Useful to know. It's not the car, my friend. It's the player driving this shit. I pick up a girl from the airport. I'm gonna be hitting that shit up in a hotel room soon as we get there. For real, man. I had my hands on more tourists than airport security. If a woman turns up at Francis International, then this guy is going to know about her concealed weaponry. You get me? Sure. You bang tourists. I get the point. My friend, I got so much pussy around this town, I'm surprised there's any left for the rest of you chumps. Me too. Please, have as much fun in this place as I had driving you here. All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's gonna judge Kate? What would she win if they did, Virgin of the Year? No. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Fuck you, Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho oh, ho, there he is. Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister, lovely lass, scared to bits of life, and fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though, she don't put out. Which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car.
Okay, there's a ship coming in, and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming, and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east, but we don't know what it is that they're bringing in, exactly. All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Bacino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh yeah, Ray Bacino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash one. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Depends on what you think is fun. A stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, maybe. The general population, I'm not so sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe. They do things different there. Not so much of the fun in the shower that you guys have here in America. Must have been a real disappointment. Bet a guy like you thought he was gonna be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you gotta do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chaste European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. Ah, it'd be fucking touch. You'd be touched if you did some time, that's for sure. We would see if they'd be able to touch me. I got some moves. You're a good man, Nico. I like you. Not in the fun in the showers kind of way. You know, a male bonding about to go rob some people kind of way. I think I know what you're saying. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. This is where the deal's meant to be going down. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful. All right, Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. You ain't no fucking match for me. They're taking this real serious, aren't they? They do not like to be robbed, I guess. Not many people do. And that's a lesson I've learned. Fucking Pacino said it'd be easy. You think I enjoy a good rush? What the hell? Is the Chinese New Year already? There's a box of grenades in here. Pass them up, hey. I'll give them a taste of their own fireworks. The stuff all in there? Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. A lot of wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men get a hold of those, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. Who's this? That's my boy, Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. 
Nico, come over here. You work for these mick bastards. Fuck you, Kenny. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man. Yes, it is, Roman. You're right. So, what's happening in your world at the moment? Met anybody interesting recently? Other than the community leader and drug dealer that Mallory introduced me to, neither of whom are doing too good no more. Yeah, I guess I have met some interesting people. Please, tell me you're talking about twins and bleach blonde hair and teacup titties! You're a wild man in me! I'm afraid I haven't met these women of your dreams, Roman. No, I was referring to a deputy police commissioner called Francis McCreary, an Irish hood called Packy, an African-American drug dealer who calls himself Playboy X, some outlaw biker guy named Johnny, and the doctor who buys dead bodies so he can sell the organs. If you're losing money at the tables, you might be able to sell some body parts to him for a quick buck. How much does a kidney go for nowadays? <laughs> I'm kidding, NB, kidding. Sounds like you are having a crazy time. Talk to you soon. You want to die, buddy? Don't touch me! Excuse me, people! Nico, this shit went down with those guys in Bohan. Elizabeth is doing a bid. I think she might have killed Manny. Really? Good thing you haven't been hanging around with them too much. This shit is fucked up. I'm sorry for getting you involved. Don't worry about it. You've got enough on your plate looking after Roman. See you soon. Hey, what's up, money? Hey. Come on. Ladies, give me a few minutes. Business calls. <laughs> this is my town. Look at it. All them tiny ants down there. Man, this shit is crazy. So I guess you do okay. Yeah, okay. But uh, what about you? What motivates you? Hmm. Well, I need money. This pays. I can do it. I don't care if I live or die. And I'm looking for someone. Someone special? Yeah, you could say that. So, why do you need me? Well, I'm always looking for good guys. Build an army. But in my work, the people change. Money changes people, not me. Now, I'm still a hustler from these streets. And I heard good things about you. Okay, but I'm warning you. I'm not low budget. <laughs> Do I look like I live low budget, dog? Your player! <laughs> fuck you want? There's someone here for you. Dwayne or some shit, I don't know. What the fuck have got out? Damn. My dude! What's up, son? What's going down? You didn't tell me you was getting out? Man, I would have laid on a party, got some freaks out. Gee. I called. A couple of times. Man, hey, Dwayne, uh, this is Nico. Hey. Nico Dwayne Ford. Taught me everything I know. Psst. Not everything. So, hey, man, where you staying? Do you need some money? What's the plan? What you mean, what's the plan? Pick up where we left off. I'm out, I'm back. We keep on rolling. You say we? Yeah, we. Unless you too fine. What, your silk sheet? Fancy dress wearing life too big for me now? Oh, hey, now, I ain't saying that. You know what's mine is yours. You need help, just holler. Hell, this Slavic motherfucker any good, he can help you. Hey, you know I do anything I can. Uh, but right now, we gotta roll. Give me one second. Ain't folk quick to forget. Hmm. Some folk. Yeah, that's the truth. Where did you get out from? 
preschool. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Dwayne, we gotta roll. Please make yourself at home. Hell, this is your home. This jet money. Motherfucker must think I'm an idiot. We go in the castle gardens. There's an alley we want to hit up just off the South Parkway. All right. You heard of Yusef Amir? Big real estate developer? I don't know. I've heard a lot of names since I got here. This guy's a big developer. Are you and him having meetings about how to run the city? Not yet. But I got an idea about how me and him can get friendly. Some Italian dudes shut down his building site on some union bullshit. They all up in the place, strapped to their fronts with hard hats on and shit. Won't let nobody get near him. What are you suggesting we do about it? You gonna go in there and get the mafia types off the site. Meantime, I'm gonna tell Yusuf how good we've been to him. That cat and me is gonna be tied as two cellmates on lockdown after this. What's in it for me? I'll give you what you after. Cold, hard cash. That what you're chasing, right? Amongst other things. I don't know how good your plan is, though, playboy. If I get rid of the guys on the site, then won't there be more? If it's a union problem, doesn't that make it bigger than a few guys with guns? Shit. Union is just another word for mafia. These cats is looking to squeeze our boy Amir for dollars just because he ain't from here. When we fuck their people up, they'll realize that he ain't a cat to be messed with, and they'll back off, okay? Shit. Yusef is from Dubai. He's an African, and he's coming to Liberty City to make it big. It's my duty to watch this cat's back. My ancestors came from Africa. Now he's coming out a bit later. Me and him could be cousins, shit. I think you might want to look at the map, playboy. Dubai isn't in Africa. Shit, it all the same. Africa, America, Dubai. It don't matter. We're brothers. Spiritually, I mean. And that's the important bit. I left the heat for you in that car, money. You're gonna be strapped. Sniper rifles, grenades, all that shit. Yo, there's three lookout cats making sure no one makes move on the site. You best take them out with the rifle before you hit up the rest of them. I'm gonna get into position where I can see all the shit going down. If you can take out the main cats, then the rest of them shouldn't be a problem. When you in there, I'll give you the lowdown on where these main cats is at. You might be better seeing the lookouts from up here too, money. Shit, I needed to find a cat like you. A badass motherfucker who ain't afraid to take fools down. Yeah, well, I need money, so you're in luck. You're gonna kick some ass down there, boy. I'm backing you up. That all them lookouts gone, money. Get in there and free up the site. See you soon, playboy. I'll try to save a grenade so you can have fun with one too. Did you hear that? Oh. All right, you win, money. The first guy is on the scaffolding in the building to the east of the yard. I got rid of all the union problems on this site. As you can see, this place is going to need a cleanup before any workers come in. You the money, son. You said PA won't put me through to the cat. But when they hear about this shit, they're gonna start listening to Playboy. 
Yo, money, I appreciate what you're doing for me. I be so many fake cats out there. You remember my man, Dwayne? Sure, just got out of the pen. Old friends aren't paying him no mind. Yeah, that's what he thinks. He got friends all over the shop, but he living in the past. Now, I need you to go over to the Governor Greg Johnson Project over in Northwood. He holding up there and needs help with some shit. You assist this broke ass? I'll send some paper your way. I owe that for Can't pay back a biatch. Peace out, money. about you running with Patrick McCreary now these days. He's got work and he's a good guy. You're not planning on taking him down, are you? Lay off him, for me. I'm not planning on taking him down. He's my damn brother, you idiot. Packy McCreary, Francis McCreary. It's all starting to make sense. I knew Irish families were big, but I didn't expect to run into brothers in the place the size of Liberty City. Yeah, just thank the Lord you ran into Packy and not my other brothers. Packy's just a hood. But Gerald is into some serious shit. And Derek, he's the worst. If that asshole ever comes back from Ireland, I can't be held responsible for what I do. My brothers ain't no good, Nico. Trust me on that. You know what? Me and Packy get along. Maybe if doing what you do is good, then I want to be no good instead. I should meet the other McCreary's. Be careful what you wish for. Sup, money? Not much. How are you? Chilling. It's all good. Well, mostly good. Mostly? Yeah. Dwayne's been getting on my nerves. Pushing me, man. But whatever. We spoke about that shit already. I give him time. He's just out of prison. <laughs> For real. Listen, G. Dwayne ain't the only thing I got on my mind. No? No. Some motherfucker's been calling me a phony, calling me a snitch, calling me all kinds of bullshit. Big deal. Yeah, big deal. Damn right. Until I discover that same motherfucker, well, he's got some real loose lips. Not bad. So, you need this guy silenced? Yeah, he hangs out with his team near the courts on Exeter between X and W. Okay, what does he look like? Well. Son ain't too diesel or nothing. And he a regular looking dude, know what I mean? Now he don't flash his guap too much, but you can see it in his eye. He a hustler. Eh? <sighs> Homie ain't too brolic, but he ain't scrawny neither. And he be styling on him a little, you dig? I mean, he ain't too bummy, but he grimy too. So he's the average one? Look, he's brown skin B. Motherfucker be rocking baggy clothes, all that. Jewels, and he stay fresh with the clean sneakers, know what I mean? And sometimes a bandana. Look, I need more than that to go on. Jesus! Here, take this. Head down there, take a photo, send it to me, and I'll point out which one of them motherfuckers it is. Fine. And that's a little gift for you. And that's why the penetrators ain't doing nothing this season. They got no one who can work the lanes, man. Shit, Lieutenant. That's something I was forced into from the necessity of my financial situation. My body is forced to rob and deal in order to sustain my own well-being and that of my immediate family. I'll do it. Pick 
Hey, Nico, it's me. Yeah? Who are you? Can you remind me? That doesn't matter. You need to meet me outside the United Liberty Paper Building in Algonquin. It is very important that you be there. Goodbye. Oh, it's you. You alone? Yeah, how you doing? Fucking great. What you think? Yeah, it's hard leaving with the past, huh? Yeah, especially when the president's turned into an asshole. Psh, <laughs> fucking bitch. Nobody wants to roll with me no more. It's like I'm tainted. What do you mean? Playboy don't want to hang no more. He pays for you to come over instead. My girlfriend, the love of my fucking life. Man, I was pulling moves in the joint so this bitch could pay rent. Now she won't answer the phone. Man, I gave her everything when I was inside. Cars, houses, apartments, bank accounts, everything. Mm. I heard she hanging with Javon now. Who? Some punk who fucking talked. Swears he wasn't involved in me going down, but I knew. I knew his ass was lying. Now motherfuckers fucking my girl? Mm. For real? Fucked up, man. Sometimes I just want to end this shit. Just bam. But I ain't there yet. Mm -mm, not quite. Listen, why don't you go talk to her? Psh, ain't shit to say. Then I'll go speak to both of them. They'll ask for your money back, and if they don't agree, I'll make them. Where did they hang out? At some arcade in Chinatown. Uh, look, man, don't bother. No, I'll bother. I'm getting paid. And besides, you remind me of me. Uh-huh. Hey, are you the two snakes who played Dwayne Forge when he was in the joint? He wants his money. What? Dwayne must have finished his bid. Shit. He gonna be mad angry. Me, I go box your head in. Don't kill me. I know I fucked Dwayne over real bad. But he wouldn't want me dead. He too much of a gentleman for that. He ain't like that Playboy ex punk he's only chasing paper. You do right by Dwayne, he's gonna stick to you for life. I didn't mean it. A girl get lonely when her man's inside for a long time. I thought Playboy was gonna look out for me, but he didn't answer my calls. Punk didn't wanna know me. I did what I did to survive. Please, I don't wanna die. Come on, Dwayne wouldn't ever hurt no one he loved, even if they screwed him like I did. Please. Wayne don't need to worry about having that girl's blood on his hands on top of everything else. Got your money. Why don't you make me a clocking bell so I can give it to you? Great. Thanks, son. See you soon. I collected on that debt for you. They paid up? Guess my name still means something out there. People are still scared of me. They are. I got rid of Javon for you, but I let your ex go. That fool Charisse, she just couldn't help herself. She always told me she'd burn me good. Guess I should have listened. Happy she ain't dead, though. She's just an idiot. Peace, man. Nico, I'm getting worried. Roman didn't get back at all last night. He likes to party. He stays out late the whole time. You know what he's like. Not on my watch, you know. Something ain't right. So the plan was they were gonna hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Nico. Hey, Kate. 
Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone, and the other's casual sex. <laughs> then I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey! Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Hey! Okay! Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, yeah. safely driven, ready for action. We got an opportunity, my boy. Yep, fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. Exactly, Robin fucking <laughs> Hood. Who are you going to rob? The fucking mafia, yeah. boy. <laughs> mm. Is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the money is good, very good indeed. So you in, big guy? Or we're gonna have to kill you. Well, since you put it that way, I mean. Right, good. all right, right. all right. Let's yeah, go. let's do this. Can you get us a car, man? I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, Packy. Yeah, fuck you. Can you hurry, please? Take us out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. Calculating route. Please make a U-turn where safe. Please proceed to highlight A mafia-controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell none of those Watt families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorino's a type of cheese. Pegorino's is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. The McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the Purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in Purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I bet. I bet. Model community leader, my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you. Ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of fucking truth. All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Nico, stick fucking close to me. Okay, kids, 
Jones, I got the cash! Shit! Looks like we're not the only one there! This guy's gonna be a father on this island, cause I ain't never seen so many Italians! Out the back, boys! Me and Nico make a swim for it with the money. Swimming for a day? Sure, my boy. There's the boat just out there. I'll race you. Fucking beautiful! We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Providing the enchiladas don't figure out it was us, they ripped them off. And don't fucking worry about it. Now this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays, it ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake, shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I'll tell you though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my cape. I'll think about the money then. What a trooper! We did it. Top of the fucking world. Here's your shit. Don't go spending it in any Italian restaurants. I'll see you soon, Becky. What are you talking about, man? I'm saying, would you take my sister Katie out for a drink or something? She don't get out much, and she sure as hell don't go on dates. We're starting to worry. She likes you, just as friends. I'm gonna send you a number. I'll give her a call, man, but uh, I don't think she'll want to see me. Trust me, she will. Call her, man. Kate, uh, it is Nico. Uh, we met with your brother, Packy. Uh, he gave me your number. Hi, Nico. What's up? I was wondering if uh, you wanted to come out with me sometime. Or maybe we do something together. Okay, that could be interesting. I don't normally socialize with Packy's gangster friends, but sure, pick me up in the next hour. See you then. I thought I was doing that. I hear you need work. I want to throw your phone, Nicky. Come over to Drusilla, the little Lindsay. We'll have a little flip down. Hey, you. How you doing? Come on, let's go. Thanks, Kate. Yeah, it's okay, isn't it? This is nice, isn't it? What's nice? I don't know. Getting out, doing stuff, not working or fighting with my family, getting to know you. It's nice to get to know you, too. It seems like I've gotten pretty close to everyone else in your family. <laughs> you poor bastard, you have. I don't normally socialize with people that know my family. I try to keep those two sides of my life separate. I guess it's nice to be honest for a change. Rather than keeping my secrets about my family from you, you're probably keeping secrets about my family from me. No comment. You don't normally take the guys you date back to meet the family? Date? This isn't a date, Nico. We're just getting to know each other. We might be friends and that's all. I couldn't date you. Someone like my brothers? I couldn't do that to myself. All right, then. This isn't a date. We're just two people hanging out. That's it. But it's nice. I'm enjoying myself. Me too. What happened? Food. Jesus, we must have a death wish.
You're a great girl, Kate. Don't be a creep. We're friends. Well, well good you night then, Kate. Them money? He never told me anything. I heard they took him to a warehouse off Lawn Park and Bohan Industrial. I'll check it out. You've crossed the line, Dimitri. on my car to keep count of the people I kill. I can't believe you said that out loud. If you want to walk out of here, Slav, you're going to have to think about how you will pay your debt. A friend of mine, Dmitry Raskolov, he would pay a lot of money for your cousin. I'll get you the money, just not that way. This is a harsh world. It is hard to thrive. I hear you. Thank you, cousin! You saved my life! We should get out of here! What happened? That seemed like a lot of protection to be giving a man who ran up some gambling debts. You're right. At first it was just a debt, and then they found out my name. They connected me to you and what happened in Hope Beach. Dmitry Raskolov was on his way to that warehouse. They wanted me to give you up. I would never... I know you wouldn't, Roman. I thought we were done with Dmitry when we got out of Hope Beach. But Ian Bolgren know how to hold a grudge. You know how to hold a grudge as well, Nico. Don't forget about that. I could never forget that, Roman. We have to get out of Bohan. Maybe it is time to go to Algonquin. We can disappear in Algonquin. Only for so long. We will be found eventually, no matter where we go. Confrontation and or peace will be our choices at some point. I know the option I am leaning toward. I'd go for anything as long as I could be guaranteed safety. That's all I want. Shit. Man, this is out of control. I know. What are we going to do? I don't know. We're going to die. I don't want to die, man. Not like this. How would you like to die? Having a reason on my 100th birthday? I don't fucking know. I'm scared, you cold bastard. What are we going to do? I'm not cold. You're cold. All you care about is revenge and getting your own way. And all you care about is money and gambling it away on the internet. Oh, isn't America great? I get to sit in front of a computer and play Mr. Rich Man and get into debt with crooks. Okay, I messed up. I know I did. I thought things would be different. I, I don't understand this place so good. Oh, man, what am I going to do? Stop sitting in front of the computer gambling our money. Stop uh, getting into illegal card games. Stop spending all our money. Yes. Thank you. And stop thinking about the Russians, men. We just need to disappear as far as they're concerned. Disappear! Okay, okay. But I want Florian and Darko. I need to know what happened. Give me that. Fine. But leave the Russians alone. I was not the one gambling in their private club. I didn't know! I give a guy a prey! Okay. 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 I'm going to clean up. I have a nasty feeling I had a bit of an accident back there. And Nico. What? Thanks. Dwayne? What's up, man? 
Not much. How are you doing? I'm done. I can't cope no more, man. I mean, prison was easy compared to this shit. I'm sure it was. Fuck it, man. Fuck it all. I mean, I used to have everything. I used to run uptown. Bohan, all that shit. Now I ain't shit. Hey, let's get it back. Nah. I can't, man. I ain't got the energy no more. I've been stabbed in the back too many fucking times. I mean, there's bitches everywhere. Well, I'll do it. For you, I mean. Nah. Fuck that. Come on, man. Stop being so miserable. What did you lose? Oh, shit, man. This club. I'm talking a real gentleman's place. It's called the Triangle Club on Drill Street in Bohan. I'm talking real class, you know what I'm saying? But when I went down, some fucking gangsters came and took it. Well, I'll clean out the squatters for you. No problem. Man, you the real deal. I owe you. Big time. But we'll talk about that later. Man, you the truth. Where's Jose, man? He's in the back, but he don't want to be troubled. You know how he needs to concentrate when he's counting up that money. Mira, I'm trying to count back here. There ain't no refunds on lap dances. I got a piece back here. It ain't worth it. Nobody's going to be partying up in your club anymore. Playboy ain't going to be happy. What do you mean? He still did business with the gangsters that took over. Screw that. They fucked me. They fucked. Right? Playboy's going to feel that shit. Sure thing, man. There he is. Nico Belek. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers. The two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry? Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. It's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister? That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you, inbred halfwit? <coughs> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother, Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry yeah. just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. 
And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family, or I will fuck with yours. All right, we're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. Let's do this. You're blocking me! All right, here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians, while Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I ain't never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. Safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. Not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Oh, well, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I snort up a line of chop through one of them notes. First, you're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's PE4, not C4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? Expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. Really, Michael? You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. Do we all know what we're doing? Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. Here we are. Wait until you're inside to get ballied up. Get a medal for playing hero. All you're gonna get is a bullet to the heart. Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the fucking door. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. I got it. Get on the floor. Now! But, sir! You too! Okay, okay! Hey, yo! I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? Luis. But this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE-4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people, we're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people, fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are, too. Now you said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do. I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night! Motherfucker! Ooh. Fuck! Uh. We told you not to fuck with us! Uh. Shit! Michael! Shit, fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother watch the kids!
I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys. spoke to him. Didn't matter what you were saying. Yeah, well, now I gotta explain to his folks that their son is lying dead on the floor of a bank in Algonquin. Well, give them his cut. When your kid is living a life, you gotta expect someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. And we aren't safe yet. Eye on the road, Nico! We don't want you to have to break no bad news to our mom. Neither do I. Thanks, Nico. You're a damn good man. I wasn't just driving you two. The money was in the car as well. Remember that. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something. Cousin, I have bought us a present. You bought it or I did? Nico, I'm offended. I've got us an apartment in Algonquin. What did I say when you got here? Penthouse. Model on each arm. And you have paid for this place? It wasn't so long ago that your debts got you kidnapped by the Russian mob. That was a cold streak. Now I'm hot, cousin. Hotter than the models will be bedding. I can't lose! Roman, we have spoken about your gambling. Wait until you see the new place in me. You will change your song. 
So what? I took on a little dead. Oh, table for one? We got a beautiful bacala saddle. I'm here for, for someone. I'm here for Ray. Oh, Ray, why did you say so? Ray's a beautiful man, you know what I mean? Uh, he's in the back. Thanks. Hey, Nikki! Ha <laughs> ha! How you doing, kid? Fine. Ah, <laughs> hey! <laughs> that Mick bastard friend of yours says you're okay. Good. That you're reliable. Yep. But can I trust you? Hmm? Why go through all this? Why stick your neck out? Why do all this work? Because I need the money. And because I can't do anything else. And because I'm good at it. Sure. And because I'm trying to find someone. Okay, maybe we can help. See how we do. So anyways, I got this friend. Only the friend ain't my friend no more because he ain't getting me the videos. Okay. Seems this guy does not respect the waste management business. Lives over in a project on Galveston near you. Name is Teddy Benavidez. Do what you gotta do. Somebody gets burnt, so be it. Fine. And you'll pay. Hey, you kid, not pay double. Good. But you mess up, bad things are gonna happen. You know what apartment Teddy Benavides is in? No sé, I don't know no Teddy's. You sure about that? You want the last thing to come out of your mouth to be a lie? Shit, man. He's up on the top floor, apartment 151K. You have to walk the last few floors. Elevator don't go up there, they're fixing it up. Ah! Here comes the money shot. Hey, man, who are you? Too slow, mama! Uh. What's this about, pendejo? You owe Ray Bocino a lot of money. You should have paid. Those putos too old. They're finished, fool. This city don't belong to them no more. I wouldn't pay them shit. Fuck you! Ah! Ah! Ted is dead. We talking about? Hey, who's he? Sorry to hear about your loss. I'll be in touch, Nikki. Nico, my boy. This is Packy's brother, Gerald McCreer. Jerry, how's it going? Good. Got a little business opportunity I need your help with. Come and sit in my mom's house. It was a back engine. Now. Nico, I got a favor to ask you. What is it? Well, you've been spending time with the rest of my family. I figured you may as well complete the set. You remember my brother Derek? Came along on the bank job? Sure. He's in a bad way. Last I heard, he was spending his hours in some part, an actor. Go down and check on him. Me and Gerald will cover any expenses incurred. All right, man. I'll go find him. Like a photocopy, rather cheap. D, very D. Get in there. Stop. Get off. 
help me. Kate! Hey, oh, okay. help me! Have a nice day. Oh, hey, uh, Jimmy, how you doing? Uh, come on, Jimmy, uh, let's go to my office. Okay, that's it, sir. You're undercover. Up in deep. Hey, Chief. Uh, hey, Mitch, looking good. Gastric bypass worked out well for you, I see. Yeah, thanks. I'll tell my therapist about you. Tell him my boss keeps sexually harassing me. Oh, yeah, you wish. Oh, I could use a drink. You? No. Oh. oh, the motherfucker thinks she can drag me down. What's wrong now? Oh, man. Uh, sure. Listen, uh, where to begin? I don't know. Let me put it like this. If a guy makes a mistake, should that ruin his life? Now, people don't understand how life is. Life is like a, a bowl of fruit slowly rotting in a hot hey, kitchen. I don't give a fuck about the life lessons, friend. What do you want? I'm a good guy. I... He's got it all wrong. He's got... But one stain on my character, and I'm finished. I want to make a difference. What? Uh, some lawyer. This big white shoe firm thinks he's a crusader. Some morality cunt who takes photos of guys in the shower at the gym and then jacks off on his wife's face. Hey, some... enough. Enough. Sorry. Look, the guy's name is Tom Goldberg. Thinks he's got something on me. He's gonna go to the DA with it. Use it to get into Congress. Okay. Yeah. So, it's him or me. And it might as well be him, right? But, he's hard to get to. Guy's got a bodyguard, limo, everything. You're gonna need to get one-on-one -on -one with him. Not in the showers. Not in the showers, a job interview. Then, you can steal some files I need. An interview? Sure. It'll be easy. You're an immigrant. They're almost legally bound to interview you. But, uh, get yourself a suit. Okay. I will email you the details. You're a good man, Nico Bellic. A good man! Uh, coming from you, that means a lot. It does. I've sent off the application. I've always wanted to be a lawyer. You can be whatever you like. It's the land of opportunity. Any fool can become president. Call when you hear about the interview. Mr. Bellick, this is Karen from Goldberg, Lickner & Scheister. We'd like to arrange an interview for you at the earliest convenience. Come into our offices at noon tomorrow. Is that all right? I can free that period up in my schedule. Super. Your interview will be with Mr. Goldberg. Press the buzzer and we'll let you in. Have a nice day. I have an interview with Goldberg tomorrow. Perfect. The smug bastard ain't gonna know what's coming at him. Teach him for sticking his nose in other people's business. Get the file. No one's here. Just you and me. Come in, come in. Beer? No, thank you. Oh, I agree. Let's have whiskey instead. Packy swears by you. Absolutely swears by you. Yeah? You handled yourself well on the bank job. It was fun. Fun? Too much fun. That's always been this family's problem. Fun. Good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches working for guineas, working for niggers, any asshole with a buck. A whole lot spent in a proper manner, oh yeah. Wine and women as quick as possible, and remain a slave forever. Very poetical. Yeah, I know. National tragedy. But I got a plan. You down, friend? Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, 
We gotta create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're gonna plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be rigged to a phone. Thing will go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. Exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Incheon Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. So, Jerry, I got this bomb. All right, listen. The Ancelotti's and the Albanians are meeting in Little Italy. Tony's car is parked in an alleyway off of Feldspar Street. Now, you put the bomb in the trunk, then follow the wise guys from their meeting back to the rest of the crew, then you blow the bomb. Make sure no one walks away. It's easy, right? So easy. I don't see why you ain't doing this yourself. Nico, I wouldn't trust myself with this. You ain't got a gallon of whiskey. And besides, you're being paid, ain't you? Call me when it's done. The Albanians know they got us over a barrel, Sal. At least it's better than dealing with those fucking drunken Irish bastards, though. Forget about it. Jerry, I hit the Ancelotti's crew real hard. Everyone got taken down. The rest of them should think the Albanian muscle is making a play. Yeah, I knew my brother wouldn't put his faith in a bum. They'll be at them elbows in no time. That's step one of the plan's complete. Come see me. We'll talk about step two. You asked me to help out Dwayne. That's what I was doing. Don't help him out when it fucks up my business interest. Damn, son. That ain't cool. Oh, 
there he is. <laughs> the sophisticated European. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, how are you? All right, yeah. Cage, don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. Ma, you remember the boy's friend, Nico? How are you? Good, and you? Put it like this. My boys are out of control. My daughter can't find a man, and my husband is in hell. I'm thinking God moves in mysterious ways. Oh, that's mother for you. Always a joy. <laughs> <laughs> Nico! You made it, huh? Uh, well, I'll leave you to your men's talk. I hope you impress each other. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. You'll do fine. Fine at what? Some gimp work for the Pegarinos. I owed them. Oh, please. I do it myself, but I think I'm being watched by the cops. Someone. I think I'm about to get pinched again. Shit, really? Yeah, it's happened before. I keep seeing the same car watching. All it means is someone's been speaking, we just have to find out who and make them stop. In the meantime, you chill things out for a bit. So, I need your help. Okay. Atta boy. Come on, I got something to show you. Now, Pegorino's a funny guy. Seems like his main motivation is putting his Guernsey crew on par with the five old families. Ancelotti's being the weakest, he's decided to stir shit up for him. Now, the Ancelotti's have an uneasy alliance with some Albanians. They use them as hitmen, thugs, bullies. I know the type. Much like Jimmy DeGuido uses us. So, what you're gonna do is disguise yourself as an Albanian and then go whack Frankie Garone, an Ancelotti longtime capo. Sure. Which Albanian? Uh, this one. Sneaky scumbag! Tony Black didn't do nothing to nobody who didn't deserve it! What the fuck? We're going to the mattresses for sure! Frankie Garone sleeping with the fishes. Anyone who saw us is going to describe the Albanian you got on ice. Alright, nice work. Real nice. I'll let Jimmy P know about that. I'll cut you in on anything he throws my way. I don't know how long I'm gonna be outside, though. I feel like the cops might knock down Ma's door any moment. Take me to the pen. Good luck with that, Jerry. Yeah, thanks. Please, look after my family if I go inside. How did the big real estate deal go? That cat ain't got no fit. Wants to shut down the side and shit. Make it a memorial to union workers. Died in accident? Damn, fuck you, step off me. I got bigger problems. Come see me now. Hey, Nico. Ray. Take a seat. Thank you. So, you took care of that thing. Yes. I appreciate that. Hey, no, nope. I look after my friends. I got a lot of friends. Important friends. Jimmy Pegorino is a personal friend of mine. More or less. <coughs> hey, sweetheart. Hey. My God, you look like shit. What's wrong? Nothing. I haven't been to bed yet. I've been smoking crystal. <sighs> You've been what? <coughs> what are you, a fucking idiot? White trash motherfucker, what is wrong with you? Give me a break, okay? I feel like death. Hey, hey, hey! What? It's because I care. You know that. Yeah, I know that. Now, speaking of the ice. Yeah, they got it. They they left it where you said. That's why I came over here. 
Can I get a goddamn copy yeah, here? Yeah, you look like you could really use some goddamn caffeine. I'm fucking coming down, asshole. I feel like death. Fine, whatever. Uh, Nico, need you to go collect some garbage for me. Garbage? Yeah, you wanted a career in waste disposal, now you got one. <clears throat> Can I get a goddamn oh, copy over no. here? What kind of garbage? Garbage with a lot of ice in it. Today? Go over to F between Columbus and Denver. There'll be a truck waiting there. Three guys. Good guys. Friends of mine. Main guy's name is Luca. Go. Okay. <coughs> hey, Sugar. <coughs> Come here. All oh, this'll be over soon. You gotta stop me smoking this stuff, Ray. I'm fucking killing myself. Luca? Yeah, you Nico? This is Tuna Fish and Johnny Spaz. Tuna, Johnny, Nico. Hey. So, we're all friends now. All right. Tuna, John Boy, you got the threads. Get in the back and get the trash. Come on, let's go. Nico, here's your gear. You're driving. That cool? Let's roll. First pickups in Chinatown. Let's head it. So someone's been throwing out the load of diamonds? You could say that. Ray got that tweaker chick of his, the bike abroad. You met her? Yeah, she's pretty strung out. Ray got her to get her friends to steal the ice off of some club owner guy. Her friends are the lost biker gang. I think I worked with a member of that gang up on Bohan. He was called Johnny or uh, something. Did these bikers get so fucked on meth that they threw the ice away? Nah, it seems his club owners got more connections than a subway lot. He's in with the Ancelottis, the Dominicans up in Northwood, everybody. Ray came up with this plan to keep a bit of distance between us and the robbery. The bikers is taking the heat for this shit. This ain't the easiest way to pick this shit up, even if we don't want to attract any attention. Yeah, me and Tuna were saying that before you got here. We were saying that there's a lot of opportunities for this to go wrong. The bag could split, the diamonds could go missing real easy. That's why we're going to be extra careful, right? We wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Of course not. You know how pissed Ray would get if he found out some diamonds were missing? He has a temper. Are you fucking kidding me? The manager of one of his waste depots was holding out on profits a couple years back. Ray fed him to a dump truck. There was this point where the sounds of his screams stopped, and all you could hear was his bones crushing. Then the pop of his skull going. I nearly lost my lunch. Nice. This is the other one, Tona. Grab it! Shit, man! Looks like we got company! Crap! Someone's got wise to it. Let's get the hell out of here. Drive to Fish Market South. These cars are not really going to outrun anybody. Easy. You're just gonna have to do your best, ain't you? We're not losing this ice. I'm not having to make up my balls off because you don't think this truck's fast enough. I didn't say it was impossible. It's just going to be difficult. We ain't doing too good back here. They ain't on us no more. Good driving. Now all you got to do is bring the ice home safe. This is it. You got us here, Nikki. Good driving, Nikki. I thought I was gonna be checking out for sure. How'd they find us? I thought that we went to all this trouble so no one would know. 
I don't know. These diamonds are serious. Anyone who heard of them would want them. I ain't surprised we get a bit of attention. You want me to take the ice to Raiden? Nah, me and Tono will look after them. Sort them out from the trash. I sure hope we ain't lost any on the route. Things got shaken up pretty good back there. They sure did, Luca. Here's hoping we can find them all. See you around, Nikki. Nico, it's Dimitri. I have nothing to say to you. I nearly ran into your cousin the other day. My friends were uh, hanging out with him. The party got busted up, though, before I got there. I wish you had been there. We could have had some fun. Not as much fun as I would have had with Roman. Roman is your cousin. Any chance of getting a cab? Anything for you, NC. You should be there soon. Roman is doing well. You see this new car, my friend? I want to go to uh, Zeno Time Street. Just my luck. You're a charming guy, you know that? Screw you, shitface! You remind me of my wife, man. Take advantage of my generosity and insult me at the same time! You got a wife? How about all that women you pick up in the car? My friend, you are a bitch! I talked to you all ever since I first see your ugly ass face. Wouldn't matter that I got a wife. If you've been married for three years, you'd realize getting pussy is a very different thing. Don't you love her? Of course I love her, my friend. She cooks for me and does my laundry. I love that woman, yeah. But I love pussy too. There ain't no tying this warrior down. I'm an animal. I need that pussy. Enjoy your shitty freeloading life. Sub, money? Hey. Man, business is tough. Now, I ain't a cold person. I, I mean, I am cold, but motherfucker. What are you talking about? You want a drink? Uh, man, no. have a seat, man. All right. Now, I got into this dope gang because it was the only thing that was open to me, man. The only thing, man. Hey, I am not judging. No, listen. I paid my dues. Now, I learned in a hard school, man. And I changed stuff. You know me. I do this stuff so I got a chance to do some good in this town. So you say. So I say. So I do. When I get the money, man, I will build parks. I will sponsor kids. I will save lives. But I got to have the money, man. Is all this? All this, it means nothing if you ain't got the heart, Nico. Amen, brother. <laughs> I mean, fuck, man. Fuck! The thing is, you know, Jesus, he did some crazy shit, too. I mean, everyone does. He killed people. He killed that John the Baptist cat. He did what he had to. I don't think you're correct about that. Man, the point is, man, history <laughs> is a long time. And you only got one chance. And Dwayne, man, Dwayne, it's like he thinks it's 1992, and the best that you could hope for is a gold chain and a pager. You know, he looks at me like he wants me dead. Now, I took care of business. I gave him money, but because I won't bow down to him and treat him like he the almighty, motherfucker wants to pop me. Dwayne is a little troubled. He was in prison a long time. Maybe you guys should talk. No, I tried talking. No, I. I tried giving him half of the business. I tried everything a man could reasonably try and still call himself a man. <laughs> so what you gonna do? Kill him? Hey, I didn't say that. Man, you cold. I was joking. But what else is there? I mean, Cash been talking. Now I hear things. Said you and me, it's too tight now. 
Said you disrespected him. Called him mad. <laughs> he's going crazy. I mean, he's gone. Prison does that. Well, you can't kill him. Nope. But you can. But I don't want to. Well, neither do I, man. But if he goes insane, we all dead anyway. I mean, Dwayne is a killer. Ah. I don't like this conversation. Do you think that I do? But it's kill or be killed out there. You got a lunatic after you? Man, you dumb. <coughs> now, I will give you a lot of money. Because see me? Now, I ain't scared of no one. But a motherfucker says he's gonna kill me, the motherfucker's gonna die. Huh. Man, I'm not sure. I got to think about it. Well, I hope you see some sense. I will be in touch. Uh, it's Nico Bellic. I'm here for an interview. Come in. I'll buzz you through. Welcome to Goldberg, Ligner, and Scheister, sir. Mr. Bellic, welcome. I'll just see if Mr. Goldberg is available. Mr. Goldberg, Mr. Bellic has arrived for his interview. Okay, great. Uh, tell him to come through to my office. Would you please follow me, Mr. Bellick? Sure. Mr. Goldberg is such a saint. He teaches kids to swim, you know. He's just so warm and giving. All he cares about is making the world a better place. And boy, are you in trouble if you get in his way. Do you think he'll like me? He's just in here. Don't be nervous. He doesn't bite. Hello, Nico. What's that short for, Nikolai? I'm looking for a man who can get jobs done right. Nikolai, I like your resume. You seem to be the sort of man who would go the extra distance. I just need to take another look, get myself reacquainted with your experience. So, you're the sort of man who doesn't wait to get told what to do. A guy who looks at the world, sees problems, and tries to fix them? Sure. My problem is that people don't notice the decay in society. They leave the decay alone, and soon it's too late, so you have to pull the whole tooth. Yeah? I am the guy who goes around shaking people. For people, read society, read City Hall. I shake them, and I say floss. Get rid of the rotting flesh stuck in your teeth. Prevent decay. Mouthwash, you hear me? There's this cop. Good cop, but he thinks he's above the law. He's not. You wanna know why? Because the law is clear. I'm gonna crush him into dust. No one is above my judgment. You understand me? Okay. Here at GLNS, we're pushing things to the limit. We're on the front line, young man. A man I was recently with in this office, in this very room, was murdered. You gotta fight for what is just in this world. You do. Anyway, give me an example of some time where you've worked as part of a team. I work alone. Sure, stand up if you want to. Whatever makes you comfortable. So, are you gonna expand on... Whoa, 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 hold on a sec. Where are the files for your case against McCreary? Shit, they're on my desk. I never hurt anyone. I wouldn't be here if you'd never hurt anyone. <laughs> I was never here, you understand? Excuse me?
Here are the files. Great. Peace at last. I feel cleansed. You silenced Goldberg, too, right? I don't need to worry about him? He's done. Whoa, music to my ears! A weight has been lifted. Here's your payment. Sure, Ma, sure. <laughs> yeah, I've always been a good boy. You know me, Ma. Y yes, I'll make commissioner. No, I don't care about Packy. Listen, Ma, I I've got to go. I love you, too. Good to see you. I'm sure. Uh, you know, it's funny, but I see a lot of me in you. You know why? No. You know there's no good and no evil. Just shades of fucking gray. Whatever. You make things 1% better, that's enough. That's our duty. If you say so. Oh, I do say so. I want to make things a bit better. By any means necessary. And you? What do you want? I want to get paid. Sure. Yeah, sure you do. So listen, I got something I need you to do. This is the last time. Of course. Some drug dealer is holed up in a tower block in East Holland. Now, this scumbag's been pushing drugs, pimping women, you name it, he's done it. I need him dealt with. Isn't that police work? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> and the moon is made of cheese and the streets is paved with gold. Wake up! Excuse me? The guy's guilty is sin. He is sin! <laughs> but it'll take me a year to get the evidence. More, maybe. And maybe good men will get taken down by that <laughs> evidence. <laughs> maybe people make mistakes. But this guy is scum. How much? Oh, how much? Good money. Uh, two G's. Two? You mean five. <laughs> you know, if someone was to tell me you were some fresh off the boat killer with more balls and brains, I'd say he was about right. Uh, okay, you got a deal. Head on up to Vox site and call me. Five G's. I'm outside the project. Where is he? Should be on the second floor. Keeps an eye on all his boys from up there. The guys you see are gonna be working for that scumbag in one way or another. Anyway, these projects all got the same layout. A staircase leading up on either side. Try to get off the ground floor before getting violent. Violent? Me? Yeah, you. Remember, you're doing a real service for the community by getting rid of this scumbag. Francis McCreary is the community now? You're starting to sound like your friend Manny. You don't have to worry about Clarence anymore. You did a good thing, Nico. That boy was mean. He had a tongue on him, too. Always talking his way out of court, willing to compromise anyone to get out of trouble. Thank God for real justice. I told you I'm not gonna go. I'm your brother. I'm supposed to take care of my family. Hey! I'm beyond being taken care of now. Hey! 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 Your brother said you needed a hand. <laughs> Looks like you need more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh. <sighs> hey! Ah! Wake up, you fucking junkie! I'm awake. I was just wishing you'd leave. Hey! Hey! Sit down. <clears throat> That's pretty good gear. I'm pretty high. Good for you. Okay. Don't get sanctimonious on me. Okay. Why do you do this to yourself? Because it feels nice. <clears throat> because it feels better to be high than not. Does it stop you thinking? 
<coughs> stuff she caring, which is even better. <coughs> so, what do you care about? I care about getting people back who claimed I was a grass. People who used that to steal shit off me. Huh. Maybe that's what your brother was talking about. When they said you needed help taking care of all the business. Sure. I mean... I ain't a saint. I ain't a man of principle. I... I messed up. But... I tried. I made a mistake! But I admitted it! We all make mistakes. Exactly! And this guy is STILL threatening to kill me and my family! What's his name? Uh, uh. Bucky Sligo. Bucky Sligo. I heard he was living in Alderney. Can you get access to police computer? Sure. Find the fuck. Shut him. It is pals up. Ugh. Okay. Uh, it's pals up. Would you please move? Hey, Derek. Apparently, your guy hangs out at the burger shop in the Alderley. Go check it out. Make sure it's poison there. I went them all to pay. What if he's alone? Keep the police car. He'll see you and think you're taking him down. First thing Bucky will do is run back to his crew. Fucking coward! Would rather everyone go down than him take a fall alone. Sold me out, didn't he? I guess he did, man. I'll tell you when it's done. Bucky, the cops are here. My boy, good to hear your voice. To speak to you, I mean. Derek, you okay? Bucky and this boys are dead. What? Sorry, not off for a second. Nice gun, Bucky dead? <laughs> good. Yeah, alive. But dead. It's all the same though, is it? Living, dead, good, bad, right, wrong, chalk, shitty. I'll speak to you when you're back among the living. If things ever made sense? They made sense inside. Three meals a day, time in the yard, lockdown at eight. Things out here is mad crazy. Tell me about it. On the down low, I think Playboy wants me dead. Might just let him do put a cap in my dome. End it all. That what you want? Seriously? Nah, fuck that shit. I ain't ready to go out yet. I need you to get him for me. I can't do it myself. He was my boy back in the day. That's something I won't be able to forget. Seem like you got my back, Nico. I'll be out on this one, dog. I'll stick by you till the end. Take him out for me. That's a pretty heavy request, Dwayne. Playboy was your best friend. And he's always been straight with me, more or less. I'll have to think about it. our problem, playboy. It's yours. That said, I know what I'm going to do. That right. You 
cold, Nico. Peace and love. As long as I have a face, you got a place to sit. Ew, Playboy X. Yo, Whitey's back. Yo, what you doing? You got rid of Dwayne already? I thought the old dog would have put up more of a fight. <laughs> I didn't kill Dwayne. Well, what you doing back here then? Step to it, motherfucker. Well, I was thinking that maybe Dwayne is not the problem. Maybe it's you. Motherfucker! You think you can touch this shit? You think I got here by letting little bitches like you fuck with me? I own you! Nobody owns me! You the world, gangster. You don't control this shit. You shouldn't have asked me to kill Dwayne, Playboy. Ice this punk. to all the kids, man. You can't take that away from me. You didn't change the game. The game changed you. <laughs> Dwayne. I dealt with Playboy. You should know that he asked me to end you first. He was going to pay me a lot of money to do it. Shit, man. He was a good kid back in the day. Always hungry, though. Always wanted more. Maybe I should have seen it then. Kept a closer eye on him. You can't predict what people will become. You're right. I can't give you no money for helping me, son. But I got the deed to Playboy's fancy silk sheet love. You can have it. Hey, man, I seen where you're living. You should take it. Nah, it'll make me remember the kid too much. Maybe you'll stop by my place sometime, though. Hang out with me. I don't have many friends left, you know. I'll give you a call sometime soon, Dwayne. Later on. Hey, Roman. Hello, Nico. How's it going? Killed anyone recently? Now that you mention it. Shit, Envy, I was choking. Who was it this time? This drug dealer, Playboy X. He tried to get me to get rid of a friend of his for him, but uh, I liked the friend better. Nico, shit. I hope this guy is paying you good for saving his ass. He just got out of prison and he hasn't got much, but I made the right decision. Ah, ah. Good, NB. I'll talk to you later on. You're a man in this yacht for us, Nico. Contacts are these coordinates. Escorting a Korean contact of mine into the country with a boatload of fake hundred dollar bills. As long as the ones he's paying us with are real, it doesn't matter. I owe you an apology, Nico. I was dosed when you told me you killed Bucky and his boys. Yeah, you were out of it. I haven't felt safe since Aiden O'Malley went inside. Who's Aiden? Me, Bucky, and Aiden, we all cared about the same stuff. We came together for a cause we believed in. At least, I thought I believed in it. I was young. This was a while ago then. Yeah, so Aiden got caught with something when he was somewhere he wasn't meant to be. Needless to say, he'll be inside for a time. 
him, and Bucky think I talk. Couldn't see no other way how he got caught. But what I hear, Aiden still rants about me to anyone who listens. I know how it feels to be betrayed. You got that look about you. You Parks boy? Yes, I Kim. You Dedeku? Yeah, welcome to America. We're meeting your friends in Bohan. I'll text you the route you gotta take. Best way to avoid checks. We'll cover your rear. Seems like a good kid. Reminds me of you, actually. Is that because he's coming into the country to rob the good people of America of their hard-earned money? When you put it like that, he reminds me of a McCreary. Good luck to him! Doesn't look like the arrival of the stores was such a secret. Can you think of why they did? Fuck the Bino! Maybe my phone's tapped! Maybe Frankie's been tapped with my room. We gotta make sure these don't fake it! Just to piss off Frankie if nothing else! Shit, they're sending the fucking airborne cavalry after us as well! Good thing we got a rocket launcher with us! We've got the what? A rocket launcher! It's in the back! Get rid of the chopper with it. I'll drive the boat. Good thing your aim is steadier than mine. You can drive the boat again now. I didn't think he even knew I was back. Can't the man just let his brother be? It's like fucking Cain and Abel, the two of us. No wonder I turned into the wreck you see before you. A brother like that? Jesus! So his friends is the only explanation for this shit? If the shoe fits, Nico! If the bloody shoe fits! Sure, I've been telling a few people about this, but hell, I smell a rat, and Frankie's the biggest damn rat I know! Got him here in one piece. That was a deal. Thanks, Nico. Thank you, Mr. McGurry. Not such a smooth journey. Yeah, got a bit hairy out there. Good thing you have your sea legs. I hope the rest of your time here is more peaceful. That's all you can hope for in this godforsaken world. See you around, Nico. Don't put all the payoff up your arm, Derek. Only place for it, me boy. Only place for it. See you soon. He don't want you to give it back to him, does he? Shit, no, that's cool. I was just telling him how, you know, you can make things happen. He's gonna be in touch with you about some cars he needs found, if you catch my meaning. Sure, I have an ability to find stuff, if the price is right. Give him my number. Fuck, man, you are the boy. I'll call Stevie. Are you trying to get us both killed, you fucking asshole? What? I send you to destroy an organization, and you only make the boss disappear. Now his chief lieutenant is holed up in an apartment, and he wants to speak to the Fed. Whoa, hold on. An organization? No, you fucking idiot! I paid you to do a man's job, you amateur, you fucking boy! No, 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 no. You sent me to kill one guy. One guy who would put you in prison. Bullshit! <sighs> All right, I'll tell you what, genius. I'll tell you fucking what. Tell it to the judge. Tell him I only sent you to kill one guy, so it ain't your fault. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say. Maybe he'll let you walk. On account of you being brain dead <laughs> and totally fucking <laughs> mentally retarded. Maybe he will. Either way, you're screwed. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Look, you gotta do this for me. For us. Come on, you idiot. One more. That guy's a fucking lowlife. He means nothing. If there is a god, and he loves us, if there is, he'd want this cunt dead. The guy sells heroin to kids. The world is full of bad people. 
But we've got a lot to lose. I don't have anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. <sighs> How much? You know my price. No. Five. You cool. I don't care. You bastard. Okay. Now, the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there, give me a call. I found the place. Okay, the mope's holed up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building opposite to get a shot at him. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Jesus! Call me when it's done. The all-new Tower of a Meal at Burger Shot. It's the six-pound burger. I dealt with him. You did the right thing. I hope that the kids out there get this message and realize that there are better paths to take. I'm not interested in your sermon, Mr. McCreary. Let's not pretend that this was anything other than business. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you've done some good. The community thanks you. One percent better. If a hundred people manage that, it'd be a hundred percent. Did you stop me? What do you want? Well, I just wanted to say thank you, you know, for your kindness. <laughs> I'm not always kind. Don't worry about it. What are you up to? Well, after... after what happened, you know, I just wanted to change my life, turn things around. You know, no more gangbangers and drug dealers. Turn over a new leaf, you know? Good for you. Yeah, and things was... they were going pretty well, but I like danger. The only thing is, Danger don't like me. Hey, hey, <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. It's my own stupid fault. I deserve to be hit. Who's hitting you? My boyfriend. Please don't do anything. I'm not going to kill him. I'm just going to teach him not to hit women. He over in the projects up on Frankfurt Avenue. Please don't kill him. Maybe your problem is getting involved with all these drug dealers and two-bit pushers. I had some bad luck with my men. You're right, though. I should find a man who ain't in the life. Get rid of this guy before thinking about another. Over there. Wait here. I'll teach him his lesson. Hey, you think beating women is cool? Hell, you talking about Sharice? How that bitch expected to learn if I ain't giving her the stick? Yeah, <laughs> I give her the carrot as well, but she don't complain about that. You won't think this is so funny when you're the one crying like a bitch. Oh, man, I don't get what your problem be. Hell, I ain't even give Sharice everything I need. Oh, man, I don't get what your problem... Hell, I... Where's 
Where's your fucking manners, man? What the fuck? You killed him, you sick-ass psychopath! Well, he ain't gonna beat you no more. So I got him killed? You're worse than him any day! Shit, you're a maniac! Stay the fuck away from me! into your ex, the one that messed you around while you were in the joint. Oh yeah? How's she be? Having man troubles. I helped her out. You a good friend, Nico. She asked about me? You think she's been thinking about this fool? Dwayne, she's no good for you. Forget about her. We'll hang out soon. Later on. Absolutely. I'm on my way. Yeah, Mama, see you, yeah, sir. Roman is your cousin. Any chance of getting a cab? You need walk no longer. There's a cab coming to you. He doing good, but he still get me to pick up his piss-faced cousin for free. Aren't I lucky, boy? So we need to go to Herb Street, yeah? This is a waste of my life! Roman is real lucky to have you working for him. Your customer service is impeccable. You want to know about my customer service? You ask one of my female passengers. They'll tell you I service them good. Great. I'm sure that must be good for you. It is good for me. Real good. I love that shit almost as much as the bitches do. And I tell you something. The women are actually paying for their rides. Not freeloading like a certain ugly Eastern European immigrant scumbag I know. If you didn't have your cousin, you wouldn't have anything. How come you too lazy to start a business like Roman did? I might not work either if I was getting all the money in free rides I wanted from my cousin. I look after Roman. I help him out. Sure you do. You help him get into trouble. I know your type, homeboy. Don't think I'm not streetwise, Holmes, because I seen shit you couldn't imagine. For real, my friend. For real. Okay, then. For real. This is the point where normal customers pay. Go away, head dick. What am I bringing back on the car, you know? Nico, Nico, all my man, man, Roman. I'm still gambling all his money out here. I'm afraid that that is what Roman will do with any money he gets. Hopefully, Mallory will be able to straighten him out one day. Mallory, I find that, and I'm looking for a vine. You know. Hopefully, he won't gamble her away as well. Sometimes, I think he would put her on the table if he had the chance. It doesn't hold on to much for long. I'm amazed he managed to save enough money to be able to afford the cab depot in the first place. Seeing, seeing, there's always people around for lending money to a man, especially if the man ever have it like Roman. Seeing? Sure. You think Roman's addicted to gambling? You think him have a real problem? Channel him can't throw him money away to them con man in a star. I'm a real idiot, you know. Maybe his problem. Maybe he just needs to get something out of his system. He don't like the cars and the guns as much as you and me do. Any hey, money I and I get to them, I'm spending for sisters are sensing me. I don't throw my money away, you know. Clocking bell, I love that shit, Rasta. Yo, I love the place in the lake. Check me one, Rasta. Yo, that was fun, you know? You daydreaming? Yeah, 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 sure, Phil, sure. Hey, Phil, listen, you know me, 
And I know you. Nah, I didn't mean nothing by it. Hey, take it easy. Oh, Phil, take it easy. Hey, listen, tell Jimmy I said hello. Okay. I'm sorry. Goodbye. We got a problem. Who? You and me? Yeah. I got two options. Option one, you rip me off. Option two, Luca and his buddies ripped this bolt off. Hey, hey! I left them with the stuff to bring to you as instructed. Maybe you're in on it. Maybe I am. But if you thought that, I wouldn't be standing here right now. You ain't as dumb as you look. <laughs> Luca hangs out in Castle Gardens. Go see him. Go get my stuff back so everyone can get paid. Now. Right. Ventura's baby. We'll be our own bosses. Luca, I need that ice back. I don't know what you're talking about, Nikki. I gave every one of those diamonds to Ray. Now, we all know that that's not true. Fuck you, you cabbage-eating prick. Who says it weren't you that made off with them? That's what I'm telling Ray. The game's up, boys. We're out of here. And we'll talk about this. I'm going to find you, Luca. You gotta make a play for yourself, Jesus! Ray ain't gonna give you shit for helping him out, Nikki. Should not have engaged with me. I took out Lucas' crew and I got your diamonds. What do you mean you took them out? I just wanted you to get the ice back. I didn't say nothing to you about killing those boys. Whatever. They're dead and I've got the stuff. You want to get your hands on it? Come meet me at the bridge in Middle Park. Thanks, Nikki. I guess you never know who's gonna stab you in the back, huh? Thanks for the advice. Okay, you wanna get together at some point? You? I thought you must be dead. I'm free now. Come hey, pick you. me up. What's up. Cool. How you doing? Come on, let's go! The top. No nice way to say this. It's not really working. I'm not really feeling the pants. What were you thinking with the shoes, Nico? So... So what? <laughs> 
So you. So me what? So are you another one? Another what? Another one like my brothers, the tough guy with a death wish. A man eager to get into hell as soon as possible. Probably. How annoying. What is wrong with you people, you men? What's wrong with me? Quite a lot, I'm sure. Why don't you want to live? To live a normal life, I mean. Get married, have kids, not steal, rob, kill. It can't be easier than having a job, I mean. I don't know. I have lived a complicated life. I was in a war. Sounds like you still are. Maybe. Well, for a murdering, thieving idiot who can't talk about things, you're kind of nice. Thank you. Don't mention it. Come on, what's the hold up here? Food. Jesus, we must have a death wish. I enjoy talking with you. You're a great guy for a maniac, but I'm going to bed. Good night. Cool. Good night, Kate. Look, I'm not in the business of caring about people's feelings, bud. Yeah? Boo fucking who? Hey. Hi. Listen, I know what you must be thinking, but don't bother. I'm sorry, but I don't see how you know what I must be thinking. You've killed people. <sighs> you should be dead yourself. Or inside. You're just lucky it was me and not someone else who got their hooks into you. I'm sorry that I lied to you. <sighs> and, and weirdly, in some ways, you're a nice guy. Better than the creeps I normally date. But your damaged goods. No doubt. Let's go. In here. Salute? Eat my ass, buddy. I'm up for the promotion, and you're not. What the hell are we doing here? We're going to meet someone. Sounds fun. You know, you and your cousin, you should get out. What you're looking for, you won't find. Feds are all over it. Crime is done. You've watched too many movies. Whatever you say, Michelle, or whatever your name is. It's Karen. My name is Karen. Interesting. And you whore for the government. I kind of like the honesty in that. I have a clear conscience. How very lucky for you. <sighs> in here, Office 396. Hi there. Here he is. I can see that. Thanks, Karen. Hey, cheer up. You did good. You'll get a Sammy. If you care about that sort of thing. Thank you. So, Mr. Belik, quite a file, quite a story. Who are you? The FIB? The FIB? Do I look homosexual? Do you think I care about the size of your Johnson? Now, you can't always tell who the good guys are. I'm not a good guy, but I'm fighting with them. And guess what? So are you. Hooray. That's the spirit. Nothing like a bit of sarcasm when someone's got you by the balls. Now, I need you to find something out for me. Find out everything you can about a man called Oleg Minkoff. He lives on Iroquois, back in Hove Beach. And if I say no? I hand your file over to those cretins in the FIB, and organized crime has dealt another serious blow. Go to his house. Any problems, call this number. Hmm. What's your name? Not relevant. Call me. Very soon. Go. And hey. Welcome to America. Pascala Stara Dejava. Bushka. Roman, my cousin. I'd really like a cab if you could send one to me. Wait right there, MB. I'm dispatching one now. Hey, craphead! Get in the car, my friend! 
Take me to Iroquois Avenue, please. I thought you would say you want to go to a brothel full of men. You better be enjoying yourself back there, because I'm hating every second I have to drive you around for free. Yeah? Well, maybe you should chill out. You're going to have a heart attack getting so angry the whole time. You know how much a driver can get paid in this city? Shit. <laughs> a yellow cab is just a license to steal, man. This don't pay too bad. When I'm driving real fares, that is. Not just Roman's stupid cousin. You don't like driving me? Talk to Roman. He can send one of his other drivers. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Get a hard-working father of six fired because he didn't treat you like God's gift to the earth. You're cold, man. Ice cold. You really want me to get fired? No, of course I don't want you to get fired. You got a job to do. Shit, I didn't realize you had six kids. Well, I probably got about six kids. My wife hasn't had any yet, but the amount of pussy I get, man, there has to be some out there, doesn't there? You know? Sure, whatever you say, lover man. I must get one of those tree-shaped air fresheners if I'm going to be ferrying around dirt bags like you. Mr. Minkov? Anybody here? What have you got for me? Not much. He keeps a clean house, he's got a computer. Check his emails. Call back with any information that would indicate his current whereabouts. There's an email that says he's meeting someone at Tulsa Street in Hove Beach. Perfect. I'll send someone to pick up the hard drive. You go to Tulsa Street. Eliminate Minkoff. Whoa. Killing is very different from gathering information. You are acting in the interest of your new countrymen and keeping yourself out of prison. For once, this is a murder you don't have to feel confused about. Dispose of Minkoff, then call me. You are typical Liberty City ass. no one Forgive me, my friend. I only just nicked this myself, man! What was it? Cigarettes are much cheaper in Russia. Vasily, thank you for coming. Oleg, you scared me. I even thought you were a human. All right. Он меня дожидался. Пока, братан. I'll be there in a little bit. All right, listen, why don't you wear that pink thing, huh? Yeah, yeah, the pink thing with the little feathers on the, uh... <whistles> yeah. I gotta go, I gotta go. Nico, come on in. Okay. Where the fuck have you been? Sorry, you know how it is. I know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is sitting around with two million dollars worth of stolen ice waiting to get jumped, if that's what you mean, brains. Were you followed? No. I mean, I don't think so. This town's full of rats, so who knows? What's going on? What's so urgent? I need you to offload this ice for me. So what you going to do for me? What do you mean, what am I going to do for you? I look after you. I don't need looking after. I need help finding someone. I said I got connections. I'll see what I can do. 
I'll see what I can do is not good enough. I want your word that you'll find him. Hey! I said I'll look after you. You know what? It's cool. Get someone else. I'll see you later. Oh, whoa, whoa! Are you fucking kidding me? No! no I keep doing these favors for you, and you pay shit! No, I need this from you. I guarantee that you will find this man. And I know he's in the city. So either you give me your word or go fuck yourself! I'm sick of this shit! Fine! Fine, you got it. You want my word? You got my word. Good. Who is he? Florian Kravich. <laughs> Florian fucking Kravich? That's right! <laughs> okay. Okay. You have my word. In the meantime, head over to the Libertonian. They're gonna meet that guy named Johnny, and the two of you are gonna exchange the diamonds with a guy named Isaac. Then, you give Johnny half the money, the rest you bring back to me. What's he doing there? He's waiting to get paid. It'll be good. Keep things on a level. People always behave better with company. Sure. Much better getting shot by two guys than one. Is this the merchandise? No, it's my lunch. Funny. Hey, all right, man. How's it going? Hey, good to see you again. Yeah, likewise. Uh, let's hope this goes a little better than before, yeah? Come on, let's get inside. Gentlemen, gentlemen, pardon the precautions. You know how things are. No problem. Let's do this. Okay, let's see the stuff, gentlemen. Maury, come over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since we're having a little show and tell, let's see some money. Of course, no problem. There it is. Beautiful, huh? Unmarked bills. No history, no need to launder. Good. Nico, show him the stuff. Get in there, Maury. Isaac, look at them. Gorgeous, huh? Like condensed money. Isaac, these are great. Rest of you motherfuckers wanna die? Do something stupid, okay? Fuck you! Just get the shit, man! Come on! Johnny's got the cash. I don't know who has the diamonds. Shit! That bike of pizza crap better not be calling nothing. Come back and see me. You sure this guy's I'm all right? You, the guy's you good. check them out? Hey, here he is right here. Phil Nico. Nico Phil. So you're the guy who got jumped for a couple of million? Yeah. You gonna pop me for it? <laughs> no, I've heard good things. Some odd friends, but you know, what are you gonna do? You're right. I've been keeping bad company. Oh, you mean this guy? He's okay. Well, he pays up, and uh, he ain't gone stage yet. Very funny, ha uh ha. -huh. Listen, we got a lot of missing money, and we got a problem with these fucking bikers. And I've got the problem finding someone. Yeah, I nearly got something on that. So we sent some of our boys after the money. Maybe you can deal with the bikers. Calm them down. They're causing trouble on the corner of Vauxite and Exeter. Sure. Otherwise, you and Raymond here got a serious problem. The boss has got to get paid. Even when people forget to tell them about things they're working on. I right, don't bust my balls. What's the point of talking about things unless they become real? I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure you're sure, Phil. You of all people. Now, what the hell does that mean? Nothing. I mean, come on. You're a yeah, guy who yeah, knows what's yeah, what, yeah, right, yeah, Phil? Yeah, Take okay. it easy. You took something that belonged to my employers. Shit! That's the cocksucker that Johnny ripped off for the diamond loot. 
Hey, why don't we see if he can keep up with some real American bikers? Hey, let's do this! Just great. Fantastic. I got rid of those bikers for you. Johnny wasn't there, though. The other guys are meant to be taking care of him. Don't worry about it, Nicky. Hey, Nicky. You put a decent earner for me, and I appreciate that. I'm throwing you a bone. What are you waiting for? Throw it. The song for no called Talbot. Talbot Daniels over the triangle. He did to me for about 10 Gs, and he says he might know something about Florian Kravitch. Florian? Your days of searching are over, my friend. This guy should point you in the right direction. Hey, Roman. Can you do me a favor? Anything for you, cousin. Just name it. You want some women? I met this... He's not that. I'm coming to collect you from the apartment. Wait for me there. you are. Ah, ah. I have found Florian Kretsch. There's a man called Talbot Daniels who will lead us to him. Talbot? I know him from some of the card games I play. So, we're finally going to kill Florian Kravich. You know, if this fucks up, the bad shit's coming down on my head. What do you mean? I mean you fuck up and I take the shit. You kill the wrong guy and his friends will fuck with me to get to you. I didn't have no scars until you arrived. Now I am practically chopping board to have so many cuts on me. You are a rich chopping board. I worry for you, NB. Sometimes you just gotta let the hate go. You really going to feel better once Florian is dead? Soon, we will find out. There he is. Let's go talk to him. He's always at the games being held around Algonquin. Not too good either. I don't think I've seen him win a hand. Hey! I hear you know Florian Kravich. Where is he? Florian Kravich? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been head to head with this guy a few times, NB. I know his tells. He's lying. Roman? What's this about? He doesn't act well under pressure, NB. Beat him a little. All right already. There's a guy I know, likes to be called Florian Kravik at, um, certain moments. Lives in town somewhere. Show me. Get in and don't try anything stupid, Talbot. I don't want you to mess around. Get me to this place. Okay, um, if I'm right, Bernie's place is somewhere uptown. Okay then, I guess I turn right here. This is it. This is Bernie's place. Are you going to kill him? When I'm done with Florian, he will be begging to die. That is the most your friend can look forward to. Get out of here now! You've done your job. Nico, be calm! Be calm! Fuck! Calm! <sighs> Florian! Otvori! <laughs> I've come for you, Florian. Oh, go away! Florian, 
Yesi Toti. Nico? What the hell are you doing here? What happened to you? Oh, I started working out. You know, toned up the... Uh... Lorian? You used to work in the abattoir? Oh, don't remind me. Roman? You put on a few vanity pounds. Uh, what are you guys doing here? Why did you kick my door down? I've come uh... to ask you some questions. It wasn't you, was it? What was it, me? Who set us up? It was you or Darko. I thought it must be him. Oh, my God. You think it was me? That's why you are here. You've come to kill me. Well, screw you, Nico Bellic and fatty Roman. It wasn't me. It wasn't. I wouldn't do that. Ah. Can we stop with the fat jokes, Florian? It's Bernie now. After I came here, I wanted a complete change, so I became Bernie Crane. I'm sorry about the fat thing. You're still kind of cute. <laughs> Gee, thanks. What are you doing here? Well, I'm a lifestyle coach, and I teach an aerobics class, and I'm in love. He's married. It's so doomed. And he's in politics. He's the deputy mayor. <laughs> Bryce Dawkins? But he's so at the family values. Oh, that's just politics. Where is Darko? Dead, I hope. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I heard he was still in Europe or Switzerland or somewhere. But then I heard that you had joined the circus, so information can be unreliable. We have to find him. We have to find him. I think he's a bit freaked out. I guess he thought seeing you would answer some questions. So I see. Well, it's great to see you guys. We must do brunch. Sure. See you later, Florian. Bernie! So, Florian has changed? Yes. He's moved on from what happened to you. You should have moved on too. What are you going to do? He may not be here in Liberty City, but he's still out there. I will find out where Darko Brevich is, and I will make him answer for his actions. We know now that it was him. I need to be alone now, Roman. Sure. I'll see you later then. Call Stop me, okay? My mobile phone. Nikki, you like him? He wasn't the one I was looking for. Too bad, Chich. I did what I could. Uh, excuse me. This is a voice from your past, Nico. Can you guess who it is? Florian? That's not my name! Bernie, what can I do for you? I need you to come around to my place, Nico. Please, come soon. So I hear you found a big bad monster you were on. Bernie Crane, the muscle Mary? Come on. Fuck you. You think I wouldn't have fingered him in a second if he was your guy? You could have told me he was here. I'm helping you find the man you're after. I'm not some reunite old boyfriend service. Look, I was in the army. I know it gets lonely. I know what it feels like to get close to a man. I'm sure you do, but you said you'd help me. I've already helped you, but I'll help you again. Wait for me to be in touch. Come in, Nico. Aye. So, you fought in the war. You know a lot. Yes, you're looking for some people. We're all looking for that special someone. But most of us don't want to kill them when we find them. Most murders are committed by people you know. Most wives are killed by their husbands. Yes, and my wife had better stop sleeping with that tennis coach or... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sure your wife doesn't need to sleep around. Well, I'm joking. I'm sure she does. Funny. I'm divorced. My wife can sleep with whoever she wants. Interesting. I'm not divorced. I was never married. No details. I need you to go find someone for me. I'll be getting a picture through shortly. This is important. So why use me? We always use people like you. Karen, Michelle, she was the same. Someone with something to lose, but not much to live for. What's in it for me? Two things. One, you don't get a hundred murders pinned on you. Two, maybe I will help you. Maybe I won't. Now, get access to a police computer and wait for my message. Go!
I found this place. There are a bunch of guys hanging around. Well, he must be in there, Nico. Dispose of them all. We're doing a favor for our comrades in the East. You better start doing me some favors soon. Yes. Then you are that much closer to finding the man you are after. That strange feeling deep inside? That's the feeling of satisfaction after you did something. Congratulations. Goodbye. Florian, open the door. Nemo de Cepeder. Go for Ingleski. And I told you it's Bernie. Then Bernie, open the door. What's going on? Come in, come in. The haters are trying to kill me. I can't stand it. I won't stand it. It's not fair. I'm just being me. Bernie, what are you talking about? I came to this country to be myself, to get away from small-minded, angry, macho pricks. Oh, like me? Yes. Well, no. Uh, well, you know what I mean. It was hardly the most progressive place. How does my hair look? Fine. I put a rinse in. Tawdry night. Nice. Bryce found some gray hairs. If he leaves me, I'll kill myself. Forget about your hair, Florian. Bernie. I mean, Bernie. What's the problem? Someone is threatening to kill me. Every time I go out jogging and doing aerobics or playing ultimate disc, some guy comes up and threatens me. He's loco. Why is he threatening you? Because, uh, I think just because I'm fabulous. What? I keep thinking I'm being followed and I don't know why. I'm a prisoner in my own home. Okay, Bernie, let's go out and have a look. Ooh, I'm so glad you've come back into my life. That's cool, but listen. You and I don't know each other. How can you say that? I thought you were different. Because we want this guy to attack you. Come on. Oh. Let's go to Middle Park, Nix. Nico, you're still in great shape. You work out? Not really. I keep active, you know. Is there a name for that fitness plan? I'd take a class if I could be guaranteed buns like yours. It's called getting chased by the cops and being errand boy for the mob. Ah. Our heart rate's up, Nico. Remember to hang back. I need to charm him out. Keep up, honey! I'm about done with you, homo! Oh! Ah! Oh! 
Why don't you pick on someone who'll fight back? What's your problem, fag lover? Whatever you say, buddy. Unfortunately, for hitting my friend, I'm going to kick the shit out of you. not going to attack you again. No, he ain't. You're an absolute sweetie, Nico Bellic. I never would have thought it. Vidimos il scoro div Nico Vecchi. Hey, Roman. You couldn't send a cab for a cousin in need, could you? You need work? No longer. There's a cab coming to you. Hello, you free riding dog lover. Get in! Take me to Iron Street. Crap! So, am I taking you to a big drug deal or some shit, my friend? You got a package of snow strapped to your chest? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what? You didn't think I was down with that game? You didn't think I knew what you were about? I done all kinds of crazy shit. I only started driving this cab to make my wife shut up. You can't go around busting caps in people when you got responsibilities. Perhaps you shouldn't go around busting caps in people regardless of your responsibilities. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Next thing you're going to tell me, I shouldn't be having extramarital affairs. You got to do that shit to survive, my friend. Of course. And to help your survival, you should just stick to driving this car, man. Move it, shit brain! I must get one of those tree-shaped air fresheners if I'm going to be ferrying around dirt bags like you! Come on, Bryce. Come on! You've got to be kidding me. But, but, but I'll be thrown in jail! I'm not legal! <clears throat> um, uh, my friend just turned up. I think he can help. I love you. Screw your wife, honey! This is for real! Jesus H, Nico. I need a tranquilizer. Something strong. Oh, man, I am cold. <laughs> Enjoying your new life in the land of opportunity, Dan? This is no time for jokes, buddy. Ah, uh -uh. no sorry. I'm in real trouble, Nico. Real trouble. Bryce is getting blackmailed. About what? About me! Okay, that's not good. Did he find out any information about Darko Brevich yet? No, but he's working on it. You've got to help me. Got to? <laughs> How? We're going to warn these bastards off! Come on! Ah... Uh. Go get us a car, sweetie. I want something big and awful and intimidating. Hi! Go sit on a stick! All right, hun. The meat is on Walnut Way in Northwood. You know, I don't think I've ever been north of Middle Park. This is exciting! They don't even know what they're in for. No way. Nothing stands in the way of love. Love is strong enough to rip down mountains and throw trucks and all that stuff. Am I right? We're going to show them! Who's blackmailing you? We don't know. They won't even meet us themselves. This is just some flunky they're sending. We have to tell them to tell the boss we won't be pushed around. No way!
for his price. We wanted to speak to him, not his rent boys. Listen, you're going to speak to your boss and tell him to back off. <laughs> if that's the way you want to play it, fine. Price will be all over Viso News tomorrow morning. You know what? Maybe the best way to get a message to your boss is for me to send him your heart. Yeah, tough guy. How'd you like that? Dmitry Raskolov only asks once. Your lover's career is over. <laughs> Fucking Dmitry. I'm going to handle it. Thank you. All right. The guys are dead. I'll take you back to your place. So we were just meant to scare them? Well, that didn't work out so good, did it? At least they can't tell Dimitri about the meeting or go to the papers. Dimitri is too much of a rat to go to the media himself. The information he has on Bryce is too valuable. You think? It would kill Bryce if he didn't have his career. Maybe he should have thought about that when he started dating you. Not that there's anything wrong with dating you. Your choice is your choice, man. But he should have thought about who he was before getting elected on the family values ticket. He preaches homosexuality as evil. It's insanity. He's a hypocrite. And it was only a matter of time before someone like Dimitri tried to capitalize. Shit. I'll shut up now. You don't need me telling you about your life. I don't normally talk this much. I'm your friend, and I will try to help. Here we are. Look after yourself, yeah? I hope Dimitri and his people back off now. Thank you so much, Nico. I'll speak to you soon. Hey, Nico. What's up, Mallory? Roman hasn't spoken to you about anything, has he? Nothing about maybe asking me to marry him? I haven't heard anything, but I'm sure it would be a really good thing for both of you. Thanks. And hey, Roman and I decided to be honest with each other last night. He told me about Vlad. He did? Yeah. Thanks for helping him get rid of the body. He has such fire in his heart. I guess when he found out about me and Vlad, he couldn't help himself. His love for me took over and he just had to kill him. That's exactly right. He's an old school romantic. See you soon, Mal. to a situation full of optimism, full of naivete. I got burnt. Look at me. Like smack with a fucking spoon. Well... How do you manage? I don't know that I got off so lightly. <sighs> we all got our demons. Aiden O'Malley. What about Aiden O'Malley? Man, I heard he's being moved. <clears throat> Maybe this is our time. Put all this crap to bed. Get off the drugs. Live with the memories. Hayden's being moved by Van from the bacon factory. He's been talking shit about me. Back to the Albany State Correctional Facility. Please, Nico, boy. Just this last one. Please. Sure, Derek. You and me. The same. The same. The, the same. We're the same, you and me. Nico, I hear my brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. 
Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley. Off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it. What am I meant to do with them? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley in it has to go through the booth tunnel. You're gonna get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm gonna come in from the rear and block them that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call. All right, I've got the truck. When we have him blocked in, we take down the escort and make off with the prisoner. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and then? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they'd talk to if that happened. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great, they're leaving the old cop shop now. Should be at the booth tunnel soon. I'm in position, Packy. All right, man, we're coming to you. Take out the escort, but keep Derek's pal alive. What's this jerk think he's doing? Hey, Mitch, can you find out what this guy's up to? Hey, buddy, get this thing out of the road, will you? Defend the prisoner! Defend the prisoner! We've got some transport. Get in that vehicle, prisoner. Okay, it looks like we've lost. Take us over to the cliffs in Leftwood. The cliffs of Leftwood, then. Is there a boat coming or something? Where am I going? You're going to a faraway place, my friend. Damn right! Somewhere the cops will never find me. Nobody's gonna find you where you're going, friend. Shit! I don't even know who sent you guys. Who do I got to thank for springing me from the joint? We're doing this on behalf of an old acquaintance of yours. I knew I wasn't forgotten about. I knew that no matter how long I rotted in there, people on the outside world still remember me. People remember you, all right. You're at the front of certain people's minds. Well, who is it? Not Julia. She stopped writing and coming on visiting days, but I could tell she was still thinking of me. I knew it. You'll find out who it was when we get there. In the meantime, shut the hell up, buddy. All right, friend. Thank you. Ouch come, old boy. The cliffs, the sea air. I really am free. I could cry. You've made me a happy man, boys. Now it's time to tell me who asked you to do this. Derek McCreary. He's my brother. Derek? But he ratted me out. He's the reason I ended up in that place to start with, the spineless... So you thought you'd talk about him? He's my brother, and guys like you are killing him. Nico, get rid of dear old Aiden. He's a rat, Derek McCreary. Always has been, always will be. Aiden is dead. That's the end of a chapter. I can close the book on a whole lot of my past now, Nico. Thanks. Maybe a clean break is in order. A fresh beginning. Good luck to you. Nico Bellic. What do you want, Dimitri? I always thought that there was something not quite right about you, Nico. Now that I hear you are friends with Bright 
Dawkins and Bernie Crane, I know what it is. Stop blackmailing my friends, Dimitri. You do not want to anger me more. Persuade them to give up the contract. We can work together. I will cut you in, Nico. Let's be friends. I made the mistake of working with you before. It's not one I'll repeat. Goodbye. Hey there, pal. Hey. Hey. Hey, what are you doing out here so late? What's it to you? Nothing. Just trying to make conversation. Just trying to keep the loneliness at bay. You know. Whatever you say. Hey, uh, you're not from around here, are you? No. I'm from Florida. <laughs> you're funny. You're a real joker. I knew a joker once. Lovely guy. Came to a rather unfortunate end, though. But I suppose we all do. In the end. Okay. Wait, 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 mister. Um, do you ever wonder, do you ever wonder if animals, they masturbate? Okay, listen, friend, you're really creeping me out. No, it's a silly question. I know, silly question. It's just I was wondering because maybe that's what makes us different uh, from the animals. I mean, masturbating. Because it turns out we don't have souls and animals use tools and all that kind of thing. So maybe it's the masturbating. Maybe that's God's real gift to us. Okay, I'd really like to get back to planet Earth, so maybe I'll see No, you wait, later. wait a minute, mister. I'm sorry. I'm strange. I'm a weird guy. I know. <laughs> Hey, hey, do you have a car? Can you get one? Why? Because I have this rather heavy bag, and I really need a lift. I can pay you. <sighs> okay, okay. Thanks. I'm Eddie, by the way. Eddie Lowe. Yes, uh, fine. Come on. Hey, friend. This, this bag is awful heavy. You mind taking us down to the docks? Calculating oh, a route. Ooh. Please make a U-turn where safe. You got the ship to catch. You going somewhere? I'm not going anywhere. My friends are, though. They're heading off. <laughs> That's a funny joke. Joke? Joke? Eddie never jokes. Eddie needs to be taken seriously. They laughed at him once. But you can't laugh without a tongue. You can't point if you haven't got fingers, can you? That's what Daddy told me, late at night, in my room. Easy there, buddy. We're friends, aren't we? We can talk to one another, share things. Spill your guts. Ew. I don't like doing that. It's smelly. I'm kidding. Isn't the world strange and nasty? I mean, a girl looks at you, but it turns out she doesn't love you at all. It turns out she's a whore. You're kind of a strange guy, Eddie. Have you ever considered psychotherapy? You've got issues. My only issue is I don't accept the world's bullshit. here for me, friend. Special friend. I'm just dropping the kids off. Dean, hi. Yeah, glad you called. Glad I got rid of that. Wouldn't want to get caught with it. People can be so narrow-minded. Can, can you take me to Westminster? Turn. I like Westminster. Lots of nice boys there. It's one of my hunting grounds. Never gets you off, friend. Yeah, I like boys. I like girls, too. Both are fun in different ways, the same ways as well. We were all the same under those layers of hair and skin and fat. Everyone's got the same rotten livers and black hearts underneath it all. Sure, you should visit planet Earth sometime. Where are you from, pal of mine? What's your accent? Are you from uh, East Europe? Romania? Bulgaria? Balkan? Hey, you're a smart guy. Eddie's smart. Eddie's real smart. He always told him that. 
Eddie, you're smart. Why don't you play with the other kids? Don't touch him like that, Eddie. Stop it, Eddie. Stop it. Yeah, stop it, Eddie, please. <laughs> your accent's funny. You know that you can hear accents when people scream? I can tell what borough people are from just by hearing them scream. I've heard enough Alderney accents tonight. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> I want to hear some nice, rounded, Algonquin voices. Please stop! <laughs> Please stop it! D do you see that? You're making me a little uncomfortable, Eddie. I hope you're joking. I'm sorry, pal. Of course I'm joking. Do you think that I'm weird? Please. I'm just a no-bullshit kind of guy. So, so, what's your name? And what do you do? Huh? Those are normal questions. Nico Bellic. And I do what I can to survive. To get by. That's cryptic. Things must be difficult for you. Do you hurt other people, Nico? If they get in my way. I wouldn't want to get in your way, Nico. I wouldn't want you to get in mine either. Oh, uh, we're good friends now. Uh huh. Special friends. Here we are. Eddie's off the hunt for a nice boy. Thank you, Nico. Thank you, friend. I'll see you later, man eater. I see. You're not making any friends with me. You listen to me, Isaac. Listen, dick. It's not my fault you got robbed. Not my fault. I had nothing to do with it. Nothing. You understand? I'm on a cell phone, you jerk! Oh, you want me killed? Oh, yeah? Screw you! I'm done with you. You understand? I'm finished. No, no, you know what? I ain't even started yet, you thieving fuck! I'm in shit because of you, you piece of sh Hello? Hello? Uh, ah! Go ahead! Open your mouth, asshole! Push your fucking luck! Ray! What the fuck do you want? You told me to come. Well, sorry. Having a bad fucking day. Oh, I'm sorry. Me too. Fuck it. Fuck it. That curly head. Leech is gonna talk! Go shut that stooge up! Shut who up? Isaac, the diamond dealer. He's blaming me for everything. Everything! Even the shit we didn't do. Now I got no money, no diamonds, and his dick's threatening to have me killed. Blaming me, cause he got robbed. Okay, so? He's holed up in the Majestic with a couple of his cronies. Go shut those fuckers up. No problem. Hey, can I get a coffee, please? You're not welcome here. Get out of here. We got a problem here. Somebody break it in. Don't fuck with me. Got you surrounded, asshole. Shut Isaac up for you. I feel like all I've been doing is shutting people up ever since this diamond thing started. Well, we ain't got the diamonds, and we don't know where they are. Johnny and that biker oh, gonna make us disappear with the money. And every other mouth that came close to those diamonds is closed for good. Except for yours, that is. You gotta be grateful for that. Screw you, Ray. I ain't your cleanup guy no more. You get that? All right, Nicky, all right. Don't go forgetting about respect or nothing. He's still just another straight-off-the-boat punk. It can get real scary if you don't got friends. You remember that. Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus. You know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight. 
making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me. Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughingstock. A cop with the famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this, not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh -uh. We, my friend, we. You stop it. <coughs> stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. Please make a U-turn, we're safe. Nico, thank fuck you, Ant. Frankie arranged to meet me at the park on Bismarck. I think he's gonna try to kill me. Cops can kill who they like. You know the place? Are you close? Can you get there in time? I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes the move. This is Cain and Abel's stuff, I'm telling you. The question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery, shit! Look after me, Nico. Here. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice. Neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Calculating route. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shat myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. don't know the half. The last bit of juice I got on this thing. This shit be red hot. I sense a little apprehension in your voice. I like it a bit, but uh, I'm not the crazy fan. Because the shit went all commercial? Because people sold out? I, I hear you. No, not really. Cause the shit ain't real no more? Ain't got no intelligence? Real? Well, you gonna love my shit. Your shit? Yes, it's the real urban consciousness, and man, it is real. Pathos, believe that. Why are you selling it on the street? The majors are just pimps, and I ain't no bitch. No, I can see that. Man, if I have to spend the rest of my life preaching on a street corner, so fucking be it. Give it up for Pathos. Yo, Pathos, you a bitch, and you suck dead. Man, you hear that, punk? Yeah, you heard me, bitch. What you gonna do about hey, it? Hey, fuck you. I've had enough of your crap. You don't know what it's like to be no rapper. <laughs> I'm more than you ever 
you going no punk? I'm a lyricize about your punk ass. <laughs> Yo, thanks, son. You, you a child of the street. You know the truth when you see it. I, I'ma immortalize you. Keep it real from your man Pathos. Thanks, man. I'll get you around. There's one less cop on the streets of Liberty City. What do you mean, Packy? I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hardly. Couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis' funeral. It's at the church in Suffolk today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. We can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Hi, Nico. Hey, Kate. I am sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him, and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. Most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my god, get the hell out of the way! Are you gonna help me stop these bastards from killing any more McCreary? I'll do my best, Becky! There'll be more funerals in your family! And if my mother hasn't gone through enough, without a bunch of dudes, she's up for one funeral! Stay back! Me and Nico will handle this! We got more of these bastards! Come on! At a funeral! Jesus, you scum! Get behind the wheel of that Romero! You, me, and my brother are getting out of here! Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? Please, I don't die. Shit, we lost the back doors! Don't lose my brother, too! Go easy there, Nico! Don't be scum let up for a second! I think we finally lost him. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck! I met my brother, Francis. It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away from the church to protect my sister. I did it all for you. Sure you did, Nico. Tell yourself you did it out of the grace of your own heart rather than for another piece of your anatomy, which ain't gonna get used, I might add. 
have arrived. All right, we're fucking here. Let's bury this bastard. Thanks, Nico. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. been locked up. I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta discuss something. Put you on the business list here? Come down. Please make a U-turn. We're safe. Nico, it's finally official. Since the moment I met Mallory, I knew that she was the only woman for me. Apart from those other ones you screw, right? No, certainly not. They were just distractions from my one true love. I proposed to Mallory, Nico. She said she would marry me. Now all we need is to find you a wife, and we can all settle down happily ever after. I'm working on it, cousin. There's this girl I like. She's called Kate McCreary. I'll invite her to the wedding! You don't even know her, Roman, so please, try not to embarrass me. Congratulations on the engagement. Thank you, cousin! Yoo-hoo! Bernie, what's wrong? Nothing, sweetie. Oh, my God. You were the lucky one. What? You could slice cheese on those puppies. I must be the only slob without cheekbones. I'm thinking of getting implants. But you sounded hysterical. Oh, sometimes I can't bear to be alone. I'm so glad you've come back into my life, even if you did try to kill me. I'm so excited. What are we doing here? We're going to have fun. Fun. Yes. It's a four-letter word, I know, but we can still try. Look, more people want me dead than alive. I'm working for the Mafia. The police and the government agency are both on my case. I kill and steal to scrape together a living so that my cousin can fritter it away online and pay off debts. And all the while, people are trying to kill us. What is fun? Honey, you are stressed. Oh. Goodbye, Florian. No, 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 you don't, Nico. I need you. I need you to come on this boat trip with me. I need to talk to someone who truly knows me. When I knew you, you were training to be a shepherd. And you wanted to be a professional wrestler. <laughs> Oh, actually, maybe it does all make sense. You understand me. Both of me. Come on, Bryce accidentally left the keys on purpose somewhere I could steal them. You drive, I'll work on my tan. My midriff is really pale. All right. Let's have fun. Ah! Uh. Head out to sea, sailor! My life is in turmoil. Bryce is pulling his hair out over this blackmail thing. His wife is getting on his back about yours truly. I think she suspects. It's a nightmare. I don't know how else I can help you. Look how long it took me to find you. I know, sweetie. Let's forget about him and have some F U N. Perfect, sweetie. Let's stop.
Ahoy, sailor! Cute guys off the starport brow! Mm. Scratch that! Not so cute! Rojni Rusi! Let me see. They don't look like they're on the pleasure cruise. that to us. Rice's wife is going to freak out about his boat. This was meant to be our fun day, Nico. Why does everything that's meant to be fun have to be so miserable? I don't know. We just got to get these guys or they'll just come back. I told you that there was no time for this. People are after me and I have to stay alert. You, Bert, are in this too. You have to keep your eyes open. They're wide open, sweetie, and focused. One hundred percent. Let's get them. We've scared them off the water, Nico. Finish you off. Don't kill me, no. Our noble hero returns from battle. They're not a problem anymore. Miko, you are my knight in shining armor. Thank you. I'm sorry our fun day wasn't so very much fun. See you soon. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry about your brother. Hey, uh, me and Francis were never exactly close, but he was my brother, and it hurts. Poor bastard. He believed in something once. That's a hell of a lot better than me, I guess. <laughs> Fuck, I'll miss him. How are you? In here? Fine. Time of my life. Goddamn time of my life. What you up for? A lot of things. Racketeer. I'm robbery. A bunch of shit I never did, because I was always a well-behaved family man who occasionally liked to drink, but nothing more. Of course. Like us all. Like us all. But the thing is, I think I should make some changes in my life. Stop with the drink. Put it down. Stop hanging out with the wrong sort. Can you help me do that? It is a final chance at redemption. Look, whatever you want, I will do my best to help. Good. Give Packy a call. He'll explain what, uh, I need guidance with the most. The areas where I have strayed furthest from the path. See ya. Your brother told me to call you. Jerry wants us to kidnap old man Ancelotti's daughter. Some fake tan, dyed haired, Guido loving slut by the name of Grace. She's selling her tasteful pink felter on auto erotica at the moment. Get online, organize a viewing, and snatch that bitch. When you got her, bring her to a place we got on an alleyway off Sacramento. I can do that. You can do anything, Nico. Don't let her on that you're kidnapping her near her place, though. Play along with a test drive for a while to get her out of there. It's a real mobbed-up area, and they'll come down on you damn heavy. Aren't you going to hell? One of my fucking brothers just got shot, and another one's in the pen. Someone's gotta be with my mom. I'm, uh, calling about the car. Come to my place on Babbage Drive. You don't sound like the sort of man who drive a pink convertible. Well, I, I can't resist a bargain. You're the guy who calls about the car? The one with the sexy accent. <laughs> you mind if I take a test drive? You can test drive whatever you want. I love riding in cars with you European types. My family's from Italia, you know, somewhere in the south. Why don't you drive towards the south coast? We can enjoy the day. So 
you like the car? I didn't think a manly guy like you would drive something like this. You got a wife or a girlfriend or something? I'm picking this up for a friend. Yeah? What a gentleman. You don't meet guys like you in the city no more. All the good men are gone is what my dad says. Your dad sounds real old school. You and him close? Nah, not really. He's great and all. It's just I don't like his tough guy friends. I only hang out with gay guys, you know? At least they won't try and get in your pants every 10 seconds. Not that I don't like guys trying to get in my pants. I appreciate fun as much as the next girl. Maybe even more than the next girl. You having fun at the moment? Maybe too much fun. Call me Gracie, by the way. Sure thing, Gracie. How's it going then, sweetie? All right. But what I'm here for hasn't really started yet. You've been test driving for a while, so I can only guess that you're interested in something other than a car. I am. I'm here to kidnap you, Grace Ancelotti. I don't want to hurt you, so remain fucking calm. Fuck you! I'm dialing my daddy. He's gonna do more than test drive your ass, prick! Try to call him without the phone. Calm the fuck down, or little birdies will be eating your brains off the dashboard tomorrow morning. From the moment I saw you, I knew you were an overcompensator, making up for your one-inch punch with fast cars and guns. I am not just letting you take me! Yes, you are! You've seen the last of me! I really wish that was true. Stupid car to try to kidnap me in! You ain't going nowhere! I ain't gonna make this easy! Then I'm not going to either! Pull the fuck over! Not fucking likely! You're fucking with the wrong girl, asshole! I am Gracie Ancelotti and I... Shut up! Peace at last! There he is! Stevie, dump the car! I'll take this piece of ass. Guys, the beach better be worth the trouble. But Pa's got some serious cash. And he pissed off Gerald. That's reason enough for me. Well, they better pay quick. I hate to think of the fight she'll put up if you try to cut her fingers off. Gordon has the bitch. I'm done with her. Thanks, Nico. My brother will be a happy man. I'll get things in motion. Be in touch. What's up, Bernie? I wanted to give you something to say thank you for me and Bryce. Well, he doesn't know I'm giving you this, but he gave it to me, so it's technically from him. What is it? This car. Enjoy! I only power walk or take cabs, so I figured I should pass this on to my savior. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Don't mention it. What we've got is worth more than money. Huh? That thing? Our friend did what? 37 and 8? No. <laughs> what about them swingers? How's Marlene? The kids? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Let's shout. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure we could talk, as long as we don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry, the guy with the hat? No, the guy with the, you know, the but a beep and a poop. Yeah, the guy with the... and the... Yeah, that guy. Yeah, I heard. So be cool, Ray. Listen, I need to speak to you alone. 
Yeah, Phil, see, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're going to ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now. Business is really taking off, and I don't want any distractions. Well, as you could see, I got my own issues here. Look, Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours? Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come here. The Triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. Prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street and West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure. But Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. You got it. No problem. Great. Say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so, Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just asking. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time, this motherfucker. Ugh. with that smack. I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present from my nephew, Frank. Take it out to the big house over Beaverhead Avenue. You know the one I mean. They'll be waiting there. Hey, Frank, what the hell are you doing here? Nothing. Frankie, your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we could ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. got this wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully you'll look after it. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line. Though. Go to the payphone. 
on the corner of Betulo and Hardback. He'll call you. Nico, I told Jimmy T about you. He wants to meet you. Has he got work? Yeah. He's got stuff that needs doing. Head over to his house off of Beaverhead in Winston. Thank you, Bryce Dawkins. I hope the cash for this didn't come out of city funds. I'm here to see Mr. Pegorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you're here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him. Or maybe all three. It's okay, Mrs. P. I'll deal with this. Yeah, I'm in a life-threatening situation, and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. Peg. What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends, I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem. And you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me? I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a stoical lion who's going to be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't going to push. Anthony, get in here! Boss? Where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know, get on the commission. Now the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. See, to them and the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak with Pegorino. Hey, what, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. <laughs> oh, boss. Salve. Get up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is gonna talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. 
Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. Nico, right? Skipper said you'd be driving. The sit-down's over at the old refinery in the Actor Industrial Park. What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! Nico, this is Pete and Marco. Guys, Nico. He's the one who's been keeping Ray from drowning in a pile of shit. What the fuck is up with the diamonds? I don't know. I was just doing what Ray told me to. I didn't get where I am by believing what every schmuck told me. You ain't the type of guy to follow orders if they ain't your interest. You're a smart guy, Skipper. Shut up, Pete. I'm surprised he can even speak when your lips are always puckered up kissing my ass. Ray was helping me out with something, so I helped him with the diamonds. I ain't gonna do shit for him no more. I don't like the way he does business. Things got too complicated. Damn right they did. Dad Ice was a real fucker. Ray didn't go through the correct channels. Guy who owned the diamonds, gay Tony, is in with the enchiladas. A lot of people said those diamonds were theirs. Tell me about it. But I don't give a shit about them other people. What I'm worried about is our involvement with getting back to Gay Tony and his connections. We got a lot riding on this meeting with the Pavanos. Want to keep relations sweet with at least one of the families that got a seat on the commission. You're gonna get a seat on that commission real soon, ain't you, boss? About time Alden, you got some representation in the city. Don't tell me what's due to me. I've been waiting for this and working hard for this for years. Alden ain't worth nothing without me. My old man, God rest his soul, didn't have the balls to bring the family to the level I got it to. I'm gonna get that seat because of what I done. Sit down next to John Gravelli if he survives that long, and run all of Liberty City. The whole country, maybe. The Pavanos, are they gonna offer you a seat then? They can't give me a seat, but they can help me get one. Ain't nobody been given a seat since the commission got founded. Shit. The times has changed. Since Rico, the commission ain't the same. They need a family with a new approach to be sitting down with them. I got a nice little offer to the Pavanos that's gonna persuade them to argue my case. Something real classy. Real nice. Can't wait to see the look on their faces. Give him the rifle, Marco! You expect him to start throwing empty cans from up there if this thing kicks off? No way, Skip. Here you go. Nico, go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over to me. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this thing screwing up for no good reason. knew they did this. I'm sure the whole city will be up in arms. The motherfuckers trying to whack me at a sit down. They're trying to make off with my tribute. The fucking nerve. We're gonna ice those fucks, Nico. The 
the fucking Pavanos, if we kill every one of them slime balls, then maybe the other families will give me their seat on the commission. Fucking Liberty City families. Get them, Nico. I'm doing my best. Yeah, well, best ain't good enough. I did my best. Made a name for the Pecoritos. Earned a lot of good money for a lot of bad people. And this happens. They try to fucking kill me! Well, at least they had the respect to do it to the meat. They didn't come to your home while you and your wife were sleeping. Let's make them wish they was never born! You're a good earner, Nico. Take me back to my place. Always I'm getting stuck in this damn truck. I can't believe that Pavanos will treat me like this. The Pegarino name should mean something to them. It means something in Alden, eh? Even if it don't, then Algonquin. They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their shoulders. Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco and Pete? Oh, yeah. Those guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Weren't complaining on the way out, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seemed like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Has to be. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position, either because they know too much in my rat, or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places that didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to be. The only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pegarinos having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus! You did good, kid. Kept your head when everyone else was losing theirs. Sometimes literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci! How's my favorite girl? We need a picture of Grace. Her pa thinks she's holed up with some guy. He don't believe we got her. Will you do it? I'm still upset. So I'm a portrait photographer now, am I? Okay, I'll send you it on my phone. Hey, you been missing me? Look up here. <laughs> Where you been? I've been jonesing for some fries for about five hours. Sorry, your shift ain't over, Gordo. I'm just here for some holiday pics. <laughs> Smile for your daddy, Grace. Fuck you! <laughs> your freedom! Nice one, Nico. Old man Angelotti won't believe his girls hold up with a guy no more. Not unless that guy is into some sick shit. Later on, Peggy. Feds, I think. They always drive past it this time. Does that worry you? When you marry a dragon, you gotta expect a few knights are gonna turn up to try to <laughs> slay him. Jackasses, all of them, all of you. Nice talking with Whatever. you. Whatever. You have fun. 
Pick a swell guy to kill. Hopefully someone with a young family who really miss him. Hey! Hey! Is Mr. Pegorino around? Uh, uh sure. I I'll get him. Boss! Anthony, will you shut up? In fact, will you fuck off? Go on, get out of here. Mm. Don't come back till you get a brain implant or something. I'm sorry. I I'm s nice to see you, Nico. You too. I got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. First up, can you kill this shithead? Sure. <laughs> Second, come in here. Oh, fuck. So, listen, we got a bit of a problem with the Pavanos. Yes, I noticed that, that you're meeting with them. The way they look at us, we're bottom feeders. Always have been. We ain't a real family to them, just a bunch of Guernsey Goombas. When things are cool, we're getting fucked. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, sure. Listen, some of their boys are in town today. Gonna collect their piece of an old and a bookie ring. Where it is, they're at the diner and actor. Find them and follow them to the meet. You disrupt it, and I'll let you keep the money. But make sure you hit the Pavanos real hard, Gabish. Yeah, Gabish. <sighs> Thank you. I think that guy works for the Pegorinos. God, they must be desperate. Let's lose them on the way to the meet. I got that stuff, Jimmy. Well done, my boy. I hope you made him suffer. Teach him that more than he is Tegarino turf. Is there a nice little haul in it for you? All right. Well, maybe you'll give me a little taste of it. Something up the left. Ask how us Italians been doing things for centuries. Good thing I'm not Italian. Malik, I want to introduce you to John Gravelli, head of the Gambetti family. He needs help. I'm already working for a Mafia family. They're scum. The Pegorino? They're not a family. Gravelli is the only man who can get what you need done. He's in Chocla yeah, Medical yeah, Center. Yeah. Tell him he was sent by a mutual friend. He's inspecting you. Hey, Tommy, check this out. Seven horse, seven race, hey, show Phil. show. What? Hey, pal. What's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? Sure. Tommy. Give me a call if my big buddy calls. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous! I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> a friend? No, oh, I do some work for him. <laughs> no, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's a slime ball. But, uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, he's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. That'd be. He's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss, said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit, it's three days early. Man on the meal, what am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico. I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay? Come on, let's go. Okay, listen, there's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there.
scan this thing for bugs? No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to assume we're whacked, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people if you expect them to whack you if you go inside. Where's the trust, Phil? It's about survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization will go down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get ahead? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses covered. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians the enchiladas have been dealing with. You was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle a while back. Since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the dogs was. Exactly. We're taking the sea off the Russians so they can't deliver it to the enchiladas. Sounds straightforward. We take the coke so that the Russians and the enchiladas have a falling go. Then we make some money in the process by selling the stuff. Easy. Shit, you sound like you're saying all this just so it's clear on the wiretap. For the record, I don't know what this man is talking about. We're rehearsing a scene for an act of clears. I work in waste management. Everything we're saying is fiction. It has no bearing in the real world. Watch it, Nico. All right, this is the truck. this truck. It must be a shitload of coke we're taking. It should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the seat. We should be able to turn up and have them load it up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't know if anyone would give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked out. You and me know it ain't gonna work, and that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of it. Because these is the orders, and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't, and I ain't neither. That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. You're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife. There ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there is some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something and make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm given. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. I swear, I'm getting off the streets and onto the beach. <laughs> Hey, buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off! Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Shoot these commies! What?! I'm gonna have to walk away from the fight! Get the one on the left. Come on! We're heading to the docks in North. 
your pilot. Move out. You handled yourself real good back there. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later. So, Nicky, you and the package getting close, they see. He's got to work. He pays. That's about it. Yeah? Well, remember who made the introduction? Remember who brought you in. Don't you forget about me. If you want to pass something up to me, pay me some tribute. Sorry, Ray. I'm freelance. I don't buy into that tribute stuff. This work has many disadvantages, but, uh, hey, at least it's tax-free. What's it to you? It wouldn't be nothing, except I know that Ancelotti ain't gonna pay up. It's her pal, Gay Tony, that's coughing up with my damn ice. The diamonds that got robbed off you and the Libertonian? Well, we took it off Tony in the first place, but it should've ended there. He must have robbed the diamonds off of Isaac. I got the money robbed off of me by a biker, remember? The diamonds were sold. Don't get small with me. Get me them diamonds off Tony. The Irish will be square with that, and you'll be square with me. We're already square. Not you as well. Tell me it ain't you as well, hey, you hey, Slavic hey. fuck! What are you talking about? Speak, you Balkan piece of shit! I'm done with you. Done with everyone. I'll go, but I ain't going quietly! Mr. Pegorino, I don't know what you're talking about. I came as quickly as I could. Fucking Anthony! What about Anthony? He was wearing a fucking wire! <sighs> that is a problem. My personal bodyguard wearing a wire! I raised that kid like he was my own. I beat him like he was my own son. When my son killed himself, Anthony became my son. Now this, the world is a cunt. Where is Anthony? Uh, I heard he's wearing a wire, so I freak out. I call him up. He's such a moron, he leaves his cell phone on. So we speak. After he's gone states, of course. I mean... Jesus, what a chump! <laughs> he freaks out on the phone, and I put the fear of God in him. I think maybe I've talked him out of it. Then, he has a goddamn heart attack on the phone. I'm thinking problem solved. He's dying right in front of my ears. But the asshole lived, and now he's in the Leftwood Hospital under heavy guard! Okay, okay. Of course he's got you on the fucking tape, too! Of course. So you'll do this for me. So you want me to talk to him? I want you to whack him! And after that, I want you to kill all the other rats I surround myself okay. with! Okay, okay. Don't worry. <sighs> Hey, you can't go past here. I need cover! Cover! Get me. out of here! Oh. Oh. Hey, cover! No one likes a rat. I don't think you will be seeing Anthony on the witness stand. I better not be seeing you up there neither. Or anybody else I know for that matter. This fucking bitch. Turning everybody into rats. See you around, Nico. Did you see a fucking helicopter on your way here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Come on, quick. We gotta head towards Port Tudor. The old factory off of Auger Street. The 
fucking Russians have got to Charlie Mateo. They told this top enchilada couple that it was us that took the sugar. Who knows how to fuck me? I didn't tell nobody. It don't matter. What has to happen is that you gotta take out Chubby Charlie before he choppers it into Algonquin to tell the commission that we're knocking off the enchilada's action. So I go into this factory and I ice this fat Charlie? That's right. I'm gonna go make a lot of noise so no one thinks I had anything to do with it. All right. Now, the way I seize it, there's two ways it can go down. You burst in the front and hit them in the face with everything you got. Otherwise, you slip around the back, go into the basement, and fuck them up their asses. Ends. Everyone on the commission is going to watch Jimmy Pink lift after this. You don't need to worry about the fat man singing. He's lost his voice. That's a real shame. How about them swingers, huh? Great work, man. Great work. Hey. Hey. Yeah, so, uh, anyway, a friend of mine in here tells me that a close friend of yours, a girl you've been spending a lot of time with recently, swept a clean off her feet. Okay. Yeah, her old boyfriend wants her back. They always do. Desperately and quickly, and he's looking for her. I think you and her should go out on a glamorous date in Algonquin. Show her a new pad. Then, things will be okay between you two. But move your fucking ass, pal. Women don't like a chump, you get me? You're moving up. Ah! Over at the Bowling Street. Not in the cab of this car, I'm not. After last time, she can ride in the trunk. Fair enough. Ah, bitch just bit me. I think she has something to say. Motherfuckers, when my daddy finds you, he's gonna kill you. He's gonna kill everybody you've Get ever you ever around. Thanks a lot. Nico, my man. Katie's taking over on my duty, so I'll be watching this Guido bitch for you. Where is she? In the trunk. She don't play too nice up front. Gracie, Gracie, act nice now. You motherfuckers, I'll rip your cocks off! Help! Help me! Let me out of here! She's a wild one. I'll try to calm her down. Let me out! See you later, Nico. Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you! Hey. Yeah? What's wrong? There's good news and there's bad news. Good news is, everything's coming together. Bad news? Ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference to me. Uh, what do you mean? Do you want me to spell it out? No, I guess not. Thanks. In fact, he'll give you a call and explain. The ex-boyfriend of your girl is going to agree to the divorce terms. Unfortunately, it turns out he wasn't our only problem. Some other crap has turned up. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. Been a great laugh. 
Look after yourself. That's a fucking tragedy. We should throw her a goodbye party. That's the plan. Hopefully someone might bring a big present for us to this shindig as well. Maybe a big bag of diamonds will help us get over the pain of losing her. We'll wait for you, man. Hey, man. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. It's been too long. We should hang out more often. I'd rather see you hanging from a fucking tree. Hands off my woman, Bellic. Gracie and me is in love. Gonna get itched, white picket fence, and all that shit. Becky, this is great. You finally found a woman that will sit down and listen to your shit. Maybe you should bind and gag all the girls you meet. That might be okay where you're from, Nico, but this is an enlightened society we live in. U.S. of fucking A. Real enlightened. Real civilized. That's the impression I've got so far. An example to the rest of the world. You know you love it, Nico, doesn't he, Gracie? Motherfucker! Maybe Gracie ain't so different. You normally just shove so much coke up a girl's nose, she may as well be tied up. You're in a mood, ain't you, Nico? Is it finally beginning to sink in that my sister's chastity belt don't come off? Fuck you. Fuck you! Fuck the fuck of you! Gracie, you all right? The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down, both of you. Oye, we put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then, to send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Nikabalik. How is it? That whenever something is stolen from me, you are not far away. I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican beach, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves to rob me. Kanchai! you did to that man, but we ain't leaving here without them diamonds. All right, I think I know who's got the ice. Follow me. Stay on me. Give us that fucking ice! You're trapped! We'll let you go if you give them up! <laughs> I'm screwed either way. If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here and you take them. I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later. I don't nobody having them. Screw all of you. Yeba no isto. You selfish piece of cock-sucking shit! So 
selfish, cock-sucking piece of shit. Shit, I don't want to spend another minute in this crap hole. Let's get out of here. Fuck, fuck, fuck! All that trouble for nothing. Kidnapping the bitch, holding on to her, fighting through them damn Russians, all of that for jack shit. Look on the bright side. At least you got to meet Gracie. Screw that. I got close to knocking her teeth out. That was about it. We ain't got shit now. Maybe we was gonna have to give up them diamonds to fucking Ray Bacino, but we would've got a payday. Now we ain't getting shit. Yeah, but there is no guarantee we would've made any money out of those diamonds anyway. I've got the suspicion those were the ones Ray Bacino got me to handle a while back. They're bad luck. Me and some biker had to try to sell them to a diamond dealer, and it turns into a bloodbath. That was when those friends of Gracie's must have gotten them. Stolen from you, did they? No. They stole them from the guys I sold them to. Shit, these diamonds have been trouble since Ray first made me take them out of a trash can for it. It's good they are on their way to a landfill somewhere. Best place for them. The population of Liberty City would have been higher if we had. You might be right, Nico. Whose fucking diamonds were they anyway? They're not Ray's, I can tell you this much. Maybe they belong to this homosexual man, Gracie's friend. Well, I don't know, maybe to Bulgari. Bulgari? He the motherfucker who busted up our peaceful hostage exchange? What in Christ's name went on back there, anyways? Some time ago, I worked for Mr. Bulgarin in Europe, smuggling people across the Adriatic. The ship sunk. The cargo sunk to the bottom of the sea. I had to swim for my life. Bulgarin lost a lot of money that night, and he needed someone to blame. This was one of the reasons I leave Europe and come here to Liberty City. And now he shows up claiming the ice belongs to him. What are the chances? Our paths crossed back when I was living in Hope Beach as well. My cousin and I moved up to Boa to get away from him and another man called the Mitri Rascalov. That's a real shame. I can see you fitting right in down in Hope Beach, Nico. Probably a good thing you got out, though. Wouldn't have met me if you'd stayed, would you? When you put it like this, I'm one lucky motherfucker, Becky. Nico, that was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Becky. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. But you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. Hey, Ray. I got some bad news for you. You weren't the only one who thought they owned those diamonds. Turns out the serious Russian called Bogdan claims ownership as well. Damn it, Nicky, cut the bullshit. You got him? Where are they? Liberty City dump? I don't know. They got thrown into traffic. Come in. You're late. And please calm down out there. Excuse me? I didn't give you a free pass to act like an asshole. You're bringing a lot of heat. Hang out with bad people, doing bad things, making idiot moves. I'm an idiot. I move. True. But the last thing I need is you getting caught. Why? Because I lead them to you in some plea bargain thing? To me? Who am I? There's a hundred guys in this building alone who fit my description. Middle-aged men, paunchy, glasses. You bring them here? What's this? Empty office? Leased to a man who died in the last days of Vietnam? Ooh. Call me up. Huh. My number never existed. No, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I think you'll end up on a flight deck, but that's your business. Then what? Because you're good. Because I need you to keep being good. And you're getting distracted. Oh. Oh. Funny. Oh. Yeah, good. I need someone neutralized. Guy is moving a lot of money for terrorists. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. The guy's gotta go. But I need to know his movements first. How? I've got something that's going to help you. Head over to Albany Avenue in Lancet and give me a call. Go! Can I get paid for this? Can I get a medal? Did you get a medal in your last war? What did you give Michelle? For me? Michelle? Karen? We gave her a life back. We didn't play too rough. We gave her some money. She still works for us. What about me? We'll discuss that later. Nearly there? 
We're about to see a chopper taking off from civilization block. We need to get hold of it. Follow me. Wait until it touches down. Then, when the passengers are out, get in and fly to the airport in Dukes. Okay, then. Okay then, let's fly this thing! We'll take it from here. My men have the chopper. They're going to strip it down and put it back together. It should be ready for you when you need it. Why would I need it? The guy I told you about. The guy you need to eliminate? The only way you'll get to him is in the air. I'll call you when we have a window. Goodbye. Disappointed, you really do. Are you disappointed that I have not found and killed you yet, Dmitri Raskolov? Do not worry, your time will soon come. I went to the sewage works on Charge Island. I picked through the bodies, and yours was not amongst them. Very disappointing. I'm sorry. Or maybe the thugs who failed to kill me should be blamed, though. I cannot believe that you would steal from my friend Ray Bulgarin twice. First in Europe. And then these diamonds in Liberty City. You are in debt to him, Nico. Why don't you just pay him what you owe and we can all get along? I had no debts to Bulgar in Dimitri. And the only thing I owe you is a bullet to the temple. You will be paid in full. Fear not. You have a sharp tongue, Nico. It is only a matter of time before it is cut out of your mouth. Goodbye. I'm here to see Mr. Gavelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Here. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend James Pegorino. I don't know what Spare you're... Spare me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> People are so damn vain. 
Some people. <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, <sighs> you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years! <laughs> you mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally come to an end? <laughs> I know, it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> But if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. Okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping this story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <coughs> He's coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <coughs> Thank you. You guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay in convoy with us all the way to City Hall, all right? Sure. Coming to see you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. Those are the wonders of modern medicine. Oh, I'm gonna bring up everything we discussed. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is gonna be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. No, John, if it's your problem, it's my problem as well. Take a deep breath, John. That's it. I'll talk to you later. Driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm gonna go and move the barrier. Mr. Jefferson, let's get out of here!
You've got to get us to the Civic Citadel. That was a mistake they didn't want to make. If you're gonna try to take out a politician, you better take him out for sure. It looks like these men really want you dead, Mr. Jefferson. American gangsters like John Gravelli understand the way life works. They get the limits of their power. In Europe, the politicians are as crooked as the gangsters. They don't understand that things are different here. Yeah, sure. You are as clean as the driven snow. I'll explain that important cultural difference to one of these Russian gangsters if our paths cross. I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show, some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well. Mr. Grovelli, I took that friend of yours to City Hall. He should be giving a speech any minute. Yeah, Jay, good. Heard you had some trouble along the way. You can always rely on those Russians to try something. How are we supposed to compete with these immigrant criminals when they want it so bad? You're working with me, aren't you, Mr. Grovelli? See you later. Nico, good to see you. You too. How are you, Mr. Gravelli? Good, good. I was just speaking to our mutual friend about you. He said how efficient you were. I like that. Then he mentioned something about a Darko Brevich. What? He did? Yeah. He's located the guy. It seems he wasn't in Switzerland at all, but in Bucharest. He'll be here soon. Good, good. And it seems your Russian friends are getting the message. Some of them. Oh, okay, so... I think it's our turn to do a favor for that mutual friend of ours. Seems some Korean has come into the country and... and is selling money at a discount. You don't need me to tell you that it's all Fugazi. Faker than a pair of vine wood tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Listen, I need you to deal with this. Eliminate the guy. What he's doing is no good for the economy and no good for patriots like you and me. <laughs> so who is he? His name is Kim Young Guk. He'll be very well protected. He eats at Mr. Fook. Fuck. <laughs> Mr. Gravelli, are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm fine. Wait, 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 wait. What was I saying? Kim Young Gook, he eats at. Yeah, right. Right, right. He, he eats at a restaurant called Mr. Fook's Rice Box. Yeah, in Alderney City. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Where is Kim? He's upstairs, speaking with the manager. They don't want to see nobody, though. Kim and I are old friends. Kim got a lot of money. He don't need no friends. Get lost! Well, if you play stupid, you're not going to live very long. Where's Kim? Uh, he heard you come. He ran out back through the kitchen. You must come out now. Fuck you! Reports of shooting 
Bill, Mr. Gravelli. Well done, my boy. This is gonna be a fruitful partnership for us both. Bellick, we need you. Now, the chopper is prepped and waiting off Grummer Road in Northwood. Your sometime accomplice, Jacob, is there. He's riding shotgun on this one. Jacob? The Rasta? Don't ask unnecessary questions. I want you to take out this guy's chopper. He was last spotted in Varsity Heights. No civilian casualties. Yes, here's my man, Nico. Hey, Jacob. Yo, Nico, some serious firepower up in here. Rocket launcher. Boom! Let's find him and get this over with. I don't like being in this man's pocket. Yeah, not but butter, butter. There'll be the other chopper. Stick to him, Nico. We need to take him down there with no people. For a man who has asked me to kill a lot of men, this guy is really safety conscious. Say, we got that government thing about him. I'll be the great and good and thing. I have the feeling he don't want to be responsible for a helicopter crash in Middle Park. Show that. Yo, this be some crazy shit in a nigga. Yo, we on the star trucks in a helicopter. There's some real spy shit that I is doing it up. Shows you that the people who need spy shit done get other people to do their dirty work. Same bridge and everything crash. Shit, Jacob. You really gotta smoke that thing now? The secondary smoke doesn't exactly help my hand-eye coordination. I'm not paranoid enough with U.S. government on my ass. Whatever. They actually just smoke it. He's over the water. No other time. Shut down that chopper for you. You think I don't know that? You think I've been sitting around scratching my balls with my head up my ass? I'd be impressed if you had been. I appreciate your assistance, Pollock. You 
did a good thing today. Now it's my turn. I will try to find the man you're after. I will call when I have something. That one. Good prices, good prices. Thank you very much. Get your hot dogs here! It's all about problems and solutions. Ah, Nico! Of course, you guys already know each other. Nico, good to see you. Interesting friendships you both keep. Yeah, very interesting. The mayor will be here in a minute, and I have two senators dropping by later. Everyone wants to pay homage to a dying legend. Everyone wants the glamour of a bygone age. Everyone. Now that you hear what I said. Yeah, I heard what you said. Nico, our friend here, is telling me that the Ancelotti's are in league with the Russians. Ancelotti's? I know these guys 73 years. In 1972, I should have killed his uncle. But I spared him. And this is how he repays me? Unbelievable! And now he's dealing drugs with Ivan the goddamn terrible! <laughs> So what we're saying is, this is a matter of security, <laughs> national. Normally, I don't care about cocaine. Keeps controllable people in power. But this is no good. All right, what's my role in this? The distribution network is a fleet of vans parked at a grocery warehouse in Alderney City. The product is packed into the frames of the vans, ready to be moved all over the country. Destroy everything, whatever it takes. And for me? For you. I've got a real gift for you. Get this done, then we'll talk. <laughs> I have been working with a tire iron recently. Effective! I have put your competitors out of business. You've given a dying man a few minutes of happiness, Nico. I'm pleased to be helping you out with this thing you need. We'll speak again when Darko Brevich is in the country. I guess we're gonna have us a chance! Fuck, Dard! Put your hands up where you can see us! I need Someone cover me! Now. 
I've been invited to your cousin's wedding. I didn't think you guys knew each other. Nor did I. He called me up and said that you really liked me and wanted me to be there. Is that true, Nico? I guess it is. I'll see you at the wedding then. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. You take care now. I'll see you later. Give me a call. Hey. It's not what it looks like. Okay? It's not like that. We talk, so do us all a favor and keep quiet. Sure, but Phil, and I don't mean to take advantage, but maybe I need help on time. Maybe I can give you a call. What do you mean? <sighs> I mean, I need to find something out about someone. Maybe you can help. Are you fucking blackmailing me? No! I'm asking for a favor. Why do you think I put my neck on the line for you? Because I need help with something. You know, since you don't look like you're full of crap, how could I say no? Enough of this chit-chat. Come on, let's go. We're heading back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue in West Dyke. It's about time to pick up that H that my nephew's been sitting on. It's just been sitting there? Yeah, call it a cooling off period. We took it, but we don't know who was watching it beforehand. So you just left it with Frankie? Yeah, we put it in an isolated place. Hopefully any attention it was getting would be noticed. Frankie's one guy, he can disappear real easy with the Fed show. Plus, he's a smart kid. He's related to my ex-wife, and she was smart enough to ruin my life with one lawsuit. So it's been long enough. You think we're going to be okay to pick it up? No trouble? Look, I don't ever assume something's gonna go down easy without any trouble. That's what keeps me alive and out of the pen. We'll see when we get there. As long as we don't see any helicopters, vans, suspicious gardeners talking into earpieces, if none of that's going on, then we're okay. Yeah, you fucking laugh. Laugh all you want. There you are. Frankie, you've been keeping your eyes open out here. You seen anyone snooping around? I ain't seen a soul, boss. It's a ghost house. I got the horse loaded into two cars for you. I don't know, this don't feel right. Shit, Frankie, you dumb fuck! The Fets have been watching us all along! Nico, get in that car and follow me! <laughs> this out. My ma's kind of sick. I've been looking after her. And my sister? I've been putting her through college. Shut up! These feds are all over. I'm sorry, man. It's just, I only got married the other day. God, I love that kid. You want to see a picture? I don't want to see a fucking picture. I'm trying to get us out of this situation. Maybe then you can spend time with your wife instead of some jailhouse bitch. Oh, God. We're gonna lose the boss. Shit! I don't know how much more of this I can take! Screw you, scumbags! Deal with the feds, Nico! Nico, they're all over us. We're, we're ditching the cars and going on foot. Park up behind me when I stop. All right. Three 
Frankie, Nico, grab the stuff from the trunk and follow me. I got a van we could use. More fucking bacon shit! I see you all. Stop where you are! Subject flat. Drop the pace, Bellic! Up the fucking pace, moron! The friends are learning their lesson! This heat, Nico. Damn, this is a wild ride. I didn't think I was gonna come out of that one. You're fucking lucky that you did. Lucky any of us did. Don't I know it, Phil? I should have seen him. I've been telling Nico I got a lot on my mind. Next time, mind on the job. This ain't a fucking joke. You got a wife, you got a mom, don't play around with your life. Don't play around with other people's lives either. I don't want to take a bullet or a stint in the pen for anyone else's fuck up. All right, guys, shit, I'm sorry. Nico, you done good for me. There's been some fucked up shit going on, but you've been keeping cool. You're a good earner. I got respect for you. Hey, let's see if we get back before you start talking like this, shall we? This ain't over until we got the H in a safe place. You're damn right. Nice driving, Nico. We're gonna be able to shift this H for a lot of money. Might just keep the Begarino family's head above water. See you around. Hey, man, did you just call me? No, man. Must have been someone else. Yeah, yeah, must have been. I was in the shower and I heard the phone ringing, so I thought you might have called or something. My bad. Later. Kate, uh, hey, it's me, Nico. You wanna hang out sometime? Oh, I assumed you must be dead. I'm free now. Come pick me up. See you soon. Hey, you. Shall we go? It's much better. I like that top. Those pants really suit you. Nice shoes, Nico. I'm sorry, Nico. It's nice to have a friend who understands the madness that I've lived through. You're lucky I got you as a little bitch. Like. I do, but I don't think that any life is not mad. You are here in America. You have had opportunities that most of the world could not imagine. An Irish family manages to make it the 18th century when or wherever they are. The men in my family are just highwaymen and moralists, usually both in equal measure. I don't know if I'd agree that Packy was a moralist. He seems like a highwayman through and through. You should see him around me. If a man even looks in my direction, he threatens to rip his heart out. Well, it's a good thing that we are just friends. If this was a date, I'd be scared. It's nice to have a friend, Nico. I feel like you are someone I can speak to. I've been training for this! See you soon!
problem hey, with these guys that can't even think out, straight. Yeah, he's think there he you. is. Welcome to the war council, my boy. Gentlemen, what's going on? Nothing. Discussing pest control. Well, I've given you my advice, Peg. You do what you think is best. I agree. Finally. I mean, I don't agree with what he says. I agree that you know best. Excuse me? Relax. I didn't mean nothing by it. Look, either we make the right call or we all end up in prison anyway. Well, your crap ain't gonna do me no favors. Be careful. I'll see you later. Boss, gentlemen. You're only an associate, Phil. Remember that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tough Boss, guy. I gotta tell you this. He's not straight. Right before I came in here, I saw him talking to Angie again. You better leave. Uh, I need to speak to Nico. Sure, boss. But, uh, think about what I said. I will. You know? Trust me on that. We got real problems. Police are all over us. Maybe you heard. I got served papers today. Phil yesterday. We got a couple of boys in jail. I think they might squeal. Somebody's talking. Wants us out of the picture. Maybe John Gravelli. Or them Ancelotti's. Somebody got to my people. So what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I gotta shut someone up and show people I mean business. I've known Phil a long time. He's straight, more or less. I know him and Angie are friends, but that don't worry me too much. Hmm. Maybe he's too straight. Then there's Ray. Hmm. I don't know. I don't trust him. But he's a good earner. I know he's got his eye on the big prize, but he's no dummy. Him and Phil hate each other. I gotta think about it. Okay. I'll give you a call. Whoever I say to go see, go see him. And shut him up! Nico, I've been thinking about it, and I want you to pay our friend I Ray a visit. Give him a message from me. He's at a sit-down on Todd Row in East Harlem. If that's your decision, Mr. Pegorino, it's done. I see his car. He should be heading over to a chop shop in Boabo. Don't get too comfortable with him, Nico. Like every rat, he's a survivor. He's got good instincts. He has a bad feeling about you in particular. He bought some protection and he ain't gonna hang around and wait for you know what to happen. Then again, I'll get his chump muscle to stop for gas out of the way. It might create a good opportunity for you. Went to plan, Mr. Begorino. Clean it out for the tough job, Bellic. I don't got much left in mind, it's so clean. I'll talk to you soon. Bellic, I have your man. He's been thrown in. We're going to drop him in the airport cargo area for you. No more jobs? Is that it? Am I out? You're out. You've done good things for us, and we are grateful. That said, I'd give you a lot of protection. From here in, you're alone. Goodbye. Brought Darko Brevich into the country for me. This is almost over. 
I'm going to finish it. Nico, you can't do this alone. I'm coming with you. Come collect me from Firefly Island. All right. Wait there for me. They are bringing him to the cargo bay at Francis International. I do not want to be late after I've waited so long. Well, this is the big moment that you've been waiting for for so long. I hope you will not be disappointed. Disappointment is not a consideration. I have not been the same man since the day that Darko betrayed us, since I saw those things. You lost a lot of friends that day, Nico. We both did. In some way, our friends from the village were lucky. I lost myself that day, too. Everything that was good and innocent in me died along with them. If I could live those hours again, I think I would have preferred to be buried in the pit along with everyone else. This is all that is left of me. What am I good at? What is my trade? Deal with that. Because that is all that is open to me. I will tell you what you are good at, Nico. You are a good cousin and a good friend. You still have integrity. No matter what you say, there is humanity in you. You still have the power to be good. It's important that you believe that. Maybe I will start to believe it when Darko is there. That might give me some perspective. This killing must stop sometime, Nico. Once this is done, then you must begin to forgive. Think about your future instead of the horrible things that have happened to you. To us! To all of us! In the past! After this is done, then we can talk about forgiveness and redemption. Now is not the time for such conversation. This is it. This is where it all ends. You remember me? Pusseme, ne pozna yet. I don't know you. Yes, you do. I'm the one who survived. Nico. Hello. Reci mi zašto. Zašto? Zato što smo bili prijatelji. Svi smo odrasli za jedno. Mitar, Dragan, Goran, Mio. Mogu da nastavim. Sfio! Ha? We were friends, but I am not a friend! Friends dead. Goran and his guys killed. My fucking neighbors! Because of what? Because of shit! Lies! Fucking lies! So that makes it okay? To stab your friends in the back? Everything you believe is shown to be shit. You make strange choices. Fuck like you! <laughs> strange choices? How much? <laughs> A thousand. <laughs> you kill my friends for one thousand dollars. How much do you charge to kill someone? You ruined me, you fuck! I needed the money. I had problems. You're a fucking junkie! Kill me, Dan! You fucking hypocrite. Trust me. You'll be doing me a favor! Ah! Nico, come on. Let's go. Let him suffer. He, he knows what he did. <laughs> He doesn't look like he enjoys life too much. Hey, come on. Let's go, cousin. Where am I? What is this place? 
You said I ruined you. You were always a killer. I just have to see that. I'm lost. I'm lost. <laughs> You piece of shit! That was for everyone! That was for me! Okay, Nico, it's over. It's all over now. Leave him there. We should go, before anyone turns up! Take me to Bruce's house. I'm turning this shit off. I can't take listening to those annoying ads and DJs right now. There you go. You got your revenge. How does it feel? I don't know how it feels. I'm trying to take it all in. This is the moment you've been waiting for. For so long, Nico. What do you mean you don't know how you feel? I mean I don't know. I feel empty, okay? I feel empty. That's something, at least. No, Roman. It's nothing. The emptiness is what I was trying to get rid of by finding Darko. I've been empty ever since that day. I thought that revenge, killing Darko, might fill me up a bit. It might give me some substance. And it hasn't? No. It hasn't. Does that make you happy? Of course it doesn't make me happy, but... Maybe this is good for you. Maybe now that you know that revenge is not what you are after, you can look for... Fulfillment in other places. Healthy ones. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Here we are. Do you want to come in and hang with Brucey? No. I need to be alone. Thank you for being with me, cousin. Do not mention it. Call me, Nico. The wedding is soon. I thought you should know. Darko is dead. He's finally paid for his crimes. That's good to know, Nix. You should let go of it now. You have a new life in America. Forget the past. Sometimes I think my past is all I got. So long. You look after yourself. Mr. Pegorino. I'll see you there. Vodka on the rocks. Nico! Uh, good to see you. And you? How are you? Uh-uh. Fucking terrible. We got legal problems, all kinds of crap. You know how things have gone. I've heard some things. You get close to your dream, then something holds you back. No! Well, commission or no commission, I ain't gonna starve. People don't want me around, they don't have to have me. But I know how to earn. I need a favor. Here we go. Fuck you! I looked out for you, and I'll pay good, real good. But I need you to do something. I need you to collect that H. I got some Russians who have a buyer. Russians? Yeah. Dmitry Raskolov. No. We've got the history. I know. But this is real. I need you. Real? What the fuck is real? Real because it's you? Real because it's my last chance! Then good luck. No. I need you to get that H. I need the money. I looked out for you. You know, people wanted to whack you. I said no. 
Now I need you. And I'll pay a lot of money. Listen, Mr. Pegorino. I already told you. I got no, history. No! You listen, you dumb immigrant fuck! I ain't asking you! I'm telling you, do this! Get over your principles. These guys don't hold grudges. Do it or you and me are gonna have a problem. Look, Phil will look after you. You won't even have to deal with the fucking Russians. He's waiting for you, down in Tudor. All right. I knew I could count on you. Hey, how about that drink? In Roman, I have a problem. You got the problem, Nicole. I'm about to get married. I'm about to commit to one woman for the rest of my life. This is serious, Roman. I have been asked to work for Dmitry Reskolov again. There could be a lot of money in it. I heard you two had resolved your differences. He's on some boat in East Hook, right? What? You knew about this? He's on a boat in East Hook? Yeah, I, I heard you had forgiven him and we're working together. You're doing this deal, right? Now that I know where Dmitry is, I might just go there and take him out instead. Have you forgotten that he burned down your apartment and business? That he arranged your kidnapping? Now I have a better apartment, and I'll have an even better one if you work with him again! Promise me you won't do anything hasty, cousin. I have to think about it. Speak to you later. Hey, Kate. I have a decision to make. And I don't know who to talk to about it. What's your choice, Nico? There is a man who betrayed me in the past. I am being asked to work with him. It could be very profitable, but it would mean going back on an oath I swore to myself. You shouldn't work with him, Nico. You don't need money. What is it going to change about your life? I don't know. It will make things easier for me and for Roman. I'm not going to respect you if you compromise what you believe in for money, Nico. Goodbye. for a living really that bad? Запакуйте весь хэроин. Мы сегодня ночью посылаем. Hey, Dimitri, I don't think I'll be doing this deal with you. We have other business to finish. Nico, it's been a long time. I thought your time in America might have calmed you down. America does not change everyone. Look at you. You arrived in this country, a spineless rat who would sell out his friends. That is what you will be when you die here. Zatkni jedva baltijskova huja! Dimitri, 
Shame, that'll be the second last thing that goes into your head. Goodbye. You're the one who's going to learn a lesson. People aren't going to be happy if you kill me. Blood, you opponent! I've never been popular. I don't mean to start now. I didn't mean nothing. Please! I should have put you out of your misery a long time ago. Goodbye, Dimitri. I killed Dimitri. It's over. He was on the platypus, the boat I arrived in Liberty City on. So it seems it ends where it began. I guess you did what you felt you had to do. No deal, no money, no hot tubs and models. But Dimitri will not bother you again. I will see you at the wedding, yes? Remember to wear a suit. I'll be there, Roman. Don't worry. Hey, Phil. I understand why you made the decision you did. But what it's worth, I didn't trust that Dimitri needed. Yeah, well, I did what I had to do. Anyway, you and me can't talk no more. Jimmy's falling apart. The Pegarino ain't nothing no more. I'm out, man. Goodbye. Link out today is going to be the happiest day of my life. I'm getting married to the beautiful Mallory. How is the best man? He's fine. You better be better than fine, cousin. Get to the church for 10 a.m. and remember to wear some nice clothes. I want you looking good for the wedding. Hey, Kate. I took your advice. I cut my connections with that man. I'm really proud of you, Nico. It must have been really hard to turn down the money and stick to your principles. Well, it was the right thing to do. Are you coming to Roman's wedding? Can you pick me up and take me there? I'll be at my ma's. See you soon. service. Shall we go to the church? So, how do sociopaths behave at weddings? Will you fire a gun into the air as your cousin walks down the aisle? No, there won't be any gunfire at this wedding. I might steal the collection box if the boot takes me, though. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll mug any nuns that are hanging around the church as well. You know, it's not that weird to think that there might be some shooting at this wedding. Not only do you seem to attract ultraviolence wherever you go, but this was the church where we had my brother's funeral. You remember how that turned out. Yeah. How are you about that? Do you miss him? I'm okay. He's still in my thoughts, you know. He brought it on himself and he wasn't a good person. When I think about him, I just wish that he'd been happy in his life. What would have made him happy? It's hard to say, but maybe the right person? Yeah? Do you think that that is the answer for everyone then? Maybe. The right person can make your life wonderful in the same way that the wrong one can ruin it. The problem is that it's difficult to tell which one the man you are with is. Huh. I've had some trouble telling right and wrong apart before. After the war, I was involved in a life I felt was not for me. Those decisions became very difficult. You're talking about your criminal exploits as if they're a thing of the past. Well, maybe they are. I don't want to be involved with the men I have been involved with. I want to surround myself with good people, not bad ones. Recently, I have tied up a lot of loose ends in this city. My past does not haunt me in the way that it used to. I've tried to separate myself from it. And I'm ready to try to be good. Are you? Are you prepared to say goodbye to the fast cars, the drugs, the violence, the cheap women? Yes, I am. Do you think that the men you've been dealing with will let you walk off into the sunset? They will have to. I'm not a slave. 
would be easier to be happy if I was with the right person, though. How do I know that you're right for me? How do I know that I won't get hurt? I'll look after you, Kate. I promise I'll protect you. There's nothing else I can say. You don't need to say anything else. Oh, time to preen like a peacock. Look at you in those fancy clothes, Nico. Trying to upstage the groom on his wedding day? <laughs> Let's get me married. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may <laughs> kiss the bride. Mwah! Uh, <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Wonderful! Oh, yay! Yes, I did it! Hey! <laughs> oh, yes! Ah, congratulations, cousin! Thanks for coming, yay! All right, yes, okay. Uh, uh, oh, wow. There we go. Okay, yes, we are married. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Oh, what's going on this broad crowd? Nico. Nico, come on. Oh. Somebody call an ambulance. Call a fucking ambulance! She's dead! What? Oh, shit. Shit, shit! She told me to leave it. I thought I had. I thought it was over. It's never over, Aya. Nico, you can't blame yourself. Of course I can! She's dead! Easy, 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 Aya. Bring her, man. Easy. Calm oh. down, man. Calm down. Nico, you have to get out of here. Yes, go on, man. Go. go on, man. We have to leave, man. Just leave. Get out of here. Don't worry. We'll take care of this, man. Okay, leave. okay. Poor girl. She should never have got close to me. Nico. Iron Roman have found one of that rascal of Pegorino's man, see? He's being on some building in a quarry square. We keep an eye out on him. Wait for me. I'm on my way. What is Roman doing there? This is not the place for him. He backing up, Rasta. I and I both be, see? One love. Get in, Nico. All right, my brother. That blood clot been out of place. And I've been following him for a time, see? Me thinking next up a Pegorino. I go follow him there, see? Thank you, both of you. But I do not think this is the place for you, Roman. This is too dangerous. You are my cousin, Nico, and Kate died at my wedding. I'm helping you. Rot it, see him there? You have to stick to him, my brother. Fuck, we got a tail. Better lose this piece of shit on the way back to the peg. I don't want to be late. Are you sure he's going back to Pegorino? He's not going to go on the land? That's not a possibility, cousin. This man has been picking stuff up for Pegorino since we found him. From what you tell me about Jimmy P, he's too desperate to do without this shit. The man Roman be talking the truth, you know. We're up on the street and that pig ain't got much. We head up somewhere away to forget all that town. The only place Pegorino is going is into a coffin. You have to do what you have to do, cousin. If he tried to kill you then, he will try to kill you again. I'm not doing this to protect myself. I'm doing this because of Kate. I always said you would not escape the past. Well, no matter why you do this, you know, my brother. I ain't I been backing up for whatever. I ain't I in this for as long as you'll be needing us. Motherfucker! Why don't we just stop his car and start cutting off his fingers until he tells us where the fuck Negarino is? He's not Nico. That shit working out of them spy tata type show when you see on TV, see? But that don't work in a real life. Fools just pass away them see them finger cut off. All right. We follow him back to Pegorino. Then we cut his fucking fingers off. Same, my brother. Same. What type of sick bastards have I gotten into a car with? I'm speeding onto oncoming traffic, I'm being shot at, and all I have for company are two gangsters discussing the finer points of torture. This is great. Just great. How's married life, Roman? It's really relaxing. Thanks for asking. At least you're not dead, hunting. Not yet. You asked to be here, Roman. 
Now that you're on board, I don't want these complaints. Okay, cousin, okay. I was just saying, you know, be safe is all. Not crushed by an oncoming truck or something. Dead men can't get revenge! He cannot go much further. We must reach Pegorino soon. At least we're seeing some of Alderney. I don't normally come this side of the West River. See you, Roman. No company is going either, Auntie. It's a different city from the rest of Liberty. True? I am not taking you on some tourist sightseeing tour. We're chasing a scumbag back to his boss. Then we're going to make that shit and pay for what he did to Kate. Understand? Sure, cousin, sure. Eyes to the front, mind on the job at hand and all that shit. He's going for stop swimming on Nico. Me and my sauces at Pegorino, they might be hiding in the north of Ardenne somewhere. Okay. We're making some progress, then. We will keep on this guy, and hopefully he won't fucking kill us or we'll crash before he leads us to Pegorino. I'm about ready to see that particular moron. Yeah, uh, me too! second that this was anyone's fault but your own. You could have worked with me and everything would have been gravy. I wanted out, and you killed someone I cared about. It's over for you now, Jimmy. I still got something left. Shoot that fuck before he kills us all. Jimmy, your time is up. I'm not Take that boy down! I'm gonna plant this sort of thing! Say goodnight for the gorilla! Goodbye! I don't give a shit! I'm sick of killing these lackeys! Where is Pegorino? Fight me like a man, Pegorino! Hide your asses, boys! I got you. I've got nothing left! You'd better kill me! Screw you! Pegorino! Not without 
on me, you're not. Come on, shit! Not thanks to you! You try to ditch me? You know you find a way my bedroom. Take control of this thing, you're better at driving than me. Okay, let's get this guy! I smell his blood! Now it is only a matter of chasing him down! See, Nico! You want to get him now! Yeah, man, we get the I told you to leave me alone. I got the orders here. Me! You're not looking so good there, Jimmy. Screw you. What the fuck did she ever do to you? I wanted you, you immigrant dipshit. Big talk. You want to know something funny? Not really. The commission? The old families? I know some of those guys. And they thought you were a fat fucking joke. Whatever. A joke! <laughs> ah! Cousin! Yeah. You did it. Really? I don't know. What did I do? But we're done. Now we can start making money. Freely. I suppose so. We won, man. We won! There's me man, Nico. Come on. You cool, Nico? Yes. Not bad, you know. I enjoy talking to you, man. Enjoy hanging out. After all the craziness, recently and a long time ago. Good. I also enjoy your friendship. Sorry about the troubles your family experienced. Really, I am. Thank you. No problem. Ah, it's always been weird. It's my dad's fault. He was an asshole. I know. You say... I didn't say everything. 
He molested Jerry and me. Then he killed himself. Nobody speaks much about it. Sorry. I used to think maybe Jerry had killed him, but I think he killed himself. Damn, this is all so embarrassing. Why did I tell you that? I think that's what really destroyed the family. The old man was a sick pervert. Fuck. I never told anyone that before. Hey, Nico, are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. How's married life? It's okay. Hard to be happy when your wedding goes the way ours did. Kate's death was very unfortunate. Nico, don't blame yourself. There's no one else to blame, Roman. It's my fault because I refused to do that deal for Pegorino. It's my fault because I got close to her. I shouldn't get close to anyone. You should, Nico. Stay close to Mallory and me. We are your family. Mallory is pregnant. If it's a girl, we'll call it Kate. Congratulations, Roman. You'll make a good father. See you soon. <laughs>